Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. to be someone else I would and let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious fuck it I'm made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm.
Chateau, it's Tuesday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK, we are once again having two different European finals. First, we have the Europa Conference League final. Can Giamot finally become the first Hungarian side to win the bloody thing as they face off against Roma? Probably a 3 2 incoming. Other than that, of course, there's us in our next final. Will we bugger it all up? All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK. And we're dancing, but slightly less dancing than normal. Because. And this is the most funny part that I bring with you. Um, I pulled a muscle in my back, yes, on Sunday reaching for something. Because he's an idiot. Because he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> so I, I bring that to you. It, it's great because it's like... <laughs> getting old, chat. No, no, no. It's the fact that half marathon, totally fine. Pulled a muscle in my back on Sunday. <laughs> Literally. I was reaching for something on my back went, uh, no, not going to do that today, are we? Oh, Jesus. It's um not ideal. So I've got lots of Volterol on painkillers. Um, weirdly, it doesn't hurt when I run. It's the only time it doesn't hurt is when I'm running, which is just fantastic. Uh, when I'm moving around, it's actually okay. Ah, oh. all right, Leo, calm down, mate. <laughs> it's fine. Pog, yeah, Pog's going to carry the stream for us today, but she did bring me a nice coffee here. Did I reaction? Possibly. It, it could have been. I'm not really sure, honestly. It's weird, though, because it's like, um... It's... Sitting's actually okay. It's the... It's under my left shoulder blade. Um, I don't know what it is, but it, like, really, really hurts when I t sort of sit normally, hilariously. Pika Blue, thank you very much for the two months, my friend. That's really, really kind of you. Yes, Pog. I can't run the stream because I'm broken. Oh, yes. Pog can't run the stream because she's broken a nail. No, I've broken a nail to um, the nail bed, so it's bleeding and it hurts. There you go. To be fair, that does hurt. Like, I've broken a toenail like that, and it fucking kills, to be fair. So, but this is why, this is what you get for having your big silly nails. It really is, yeah. It's like, just... Oh. It's, it's not too bad. When I sit, when I sit like this, back against the chair, it's actually okay. He's broken his spine, chat. <laughs> He's pulled a muscle in his back, chat. Or something like that. We don't really know um, at the moment. Hopefully, it'll be fine in a few days, and it won't be an issue. If not, then it's like, oh, great, you know? Hmm. Oh, look at me. Got myself a little straw. Nice little coffee. It's a good day. Fall out of a loft. I think if I had it done, it probably would have hurt a little bit less. Mm. So I did manage to, uh, because I basically spent the last couple of mornings just laying in bed, <laughs> barely able to move. Back first. Thank you for the 25 months, my I friend. I have a muscle. I'm desolated. Smile. <laughs> Ow. Oh, laughing hurts. That's going to be a great time today. Um, so just don't be yourself, chat, and we'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Do we need God. to give you an injection to get through the stream? Literally, the amount of injections we've been given on stream lately, people are going to start questioning us for doping. Yeah, as for the red card yesterday, so I watched the USA-Sweden game on Sunday morning in bed, and I watched the England game yesterday morning. I've watched the last two games that I've watched. There's not been a single goal in 120 minutes in either game. So what I'm saying is, don't let me watch England women's matches because I make them boring just by existence. But as for the red card, yeah, I saw the moment that I saw the first replay, I was like, that is definitely going to get looked at. There's no way she's staying after that. But what I will say is the England women are now very much in their needless red card era. And, you know, eventually that does lead to good things. If you look at the English men's team, it just takes about 20 years, but it does get there. So we're in the David Beckham, Wayne Rooney lashing out of people era. I like it. It's... <laughs> Just give it another couple of years and someone else will do something stupid. Hmm. Okay, oh, break the record. Well, to be fair, as long as I'm not laughing at AMC, it'll be absolutely fine. 
It was very, oh, very silly. This is yeah. Where I um, my car. I also think that some of the media surrounding it was a little bit silly too. Like, didn't Vegman come out afterwards and say it was? She didn't. I know she's probably just defending her player, but. To say it wasn't on purpose, it's clearly on purpose. There's no way that it wasn't on purpose. I, I just... And to pretend that it wasn't is a bit naive and silly for me. It was clearly on purpose, and it was very silly. And we were extremely lucky. Um... Yeah, I, you know how much I appreciate people going to goalkeepers after penalty shootout, so I had huge respect for Chloe Kelly for that one. Uh, massively. J. Kemps, thank you for the follow. Oh. Nigeria were... They did. England seemed to get like a second wind a little bit when they went down to 10, uh, 10, 10 players. They were controlling the ball a little bit more, which was... Because the weird thing about that game is they kept talking about England having loads of possession, and yet I didn't really see it a lot of the time. It was always very meaningless possession. It reminded me so much of England under, like, Capello, when we'd get the ball into a really advanced position and then pass it all the way back to the goalkeeper. It was like Happy watching Tuesday. the same team. Good luck in finals. Oh, thank you, Fuzzy Buttons, and thank you very much for the 22 months, my friend. I hope you're well today. Don't back down double that. I guess so, yeah. It was... Um, also, I think Nigeria probably could have had a penalty. Uh, there was a push to the back of one of the Nigerian players that was a bit blatant, and it reminded me a lot of the penalty that England got against France in the World Cup last year, where that guy went straight through the back of um, the England player, and it should have absolutely been a penalty for me. Um, and I think that the one we nearly got given would have been really harsh on Nigeria had that been given as well. It was... Um, yeah, we were so damn lucky. I don't think it was the same. I think it was a lot more forceful. I think it was more of a penalty than the uh, than the one we shouldn't, one we didn't have. Morning, Quinn, Matto. thank you Haven't for the been in for ages now with work and school, but finally on oh. holiday now. How's the save been? Love stuff. Lovely to see it. It's going very, very well. Honestly, we are second in the coefficients. We've got. We. I don't know how many European finals we've had Hungarian sides in in this save now. It's well over double digits. Probably getting close to twenty. We've had three Europa leagues. Uh eight conference league finals and i think seven champions league finals so that takes us to 18 finals which is mad by Three the way months Send last as well. for being the inspiration Holy for me shit. building romania oh, nice. you're the only fm youtuber i go out of my way to watch every video thanks Thank you, for being the world's okayest streamer i'll continue my the world's okay shoulder blades today oh dear oh nigeria were really good um who was like uh the player they brought on ashwala oh uh, sorry ashwala why wasn't she starting? Doesn't she be also? I think would I be correct in thinking that the the Nigeria women's team, as far as in relativity to the other women's teams, are much better than the Nigerian men's team. They, they all of their players play for like big sides. That seemed to be the opinion I got. They were not like they're not a muggy side at all. They had some really quality players, particularly um fuck who actually totally off topic of that game specifically. But I watched the USA Sweden game um and thought US were a bit. Nah. Uh, Swedish goalkeeper, though. Fucking hell. What a hero. She was so damn good. Um, but the one player that really stood out to me as being extremely good was Germa, the centre-back for the States, who, to me, looked like she was being played out of position. Like By that, I mean that she looked like she was better than to just be a pure centre-back. She could like do a job as a defensive midfielder and had that kind of quality. Oh, my days. Pete Dave Tenner, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh, my days. Thank you so much, mate. That's so kind. Let's get off of this so I can put presents on you. Presents on you. And there they are. You'd love to see it. Oh, dear. Yeah, the US were not very good. Well, plan for player sales. Uh, basically, Pratzel. That should hopefully cover most of it. Uh, and if we get any other random bids on worse players, we might better get rid of as well. But the plan is also player buys today. Um, now, I did a little bit of uh, searching for a few attribute-based players. I've got a few scout reports out, but we'll do that again afterwards as well. But there's one guy I do want to have... I want to show you that I think could be kind of interesting. Um, obviously, we don't know much about him yet, but we've got a scout report out, I believe. Yeah, so I had a little look through the players just pure, purely on attributes, but players based on, um, like, hang on, how do I explain this? But players that aren't at existing massive sides, because obviously the premium that will come with that will be very difficult uh, for us. So I had a look at teams, players that were playing for teams outside of the established, like, massive teams. Obviously, Leeds guy will still demand an enormous fee because Premier League, but, and that's the guy that we already knew about because our assistants, uh, yeah. I've... I haven't seen enough of it because of the time differences. And the two games I have watched recently have both been 0-0 draws. The Saudi is the one I'm on about. Um, now, obviously early days yet, but the tent poles that I could see when he showed up in the player search made me go, hello. So this is Abdulrahman al Gishayan. He's 29, but he's not the end of the world. But look at that jumping reach. Heading, marking, tackling. Positioning is solid. Six foot six. He wouldn't be superly expensive. Um... I short. Yeah, he's a bit short. I quite like him. 
Now, obviously, we'll get a scout report on him today and we'll figure out what he's actually like. But he, to me, looks like one of the ones we could maybe pick up for under 10 million pounds. His wage demands would be about what we would expect for a starting centre-back, potentially. But the fact is, I'm amazed that he's played for Al Nasser this entire time. It's just kind of interesting to see a player that this... I mean, he's 79 caps for Saudi Arabia. He looks decent. Uh, who else we got in here? There's Tom Bray. Obviously, he's the Leeds guy, who is very good. But the price is just way too much. Uh, other guys... There's Dushan Stepanek, who's not as tall, but he does have good tackling. His positioning is ridiculous, so that kind of makes up for certain things. He's only 25 as well. He's, you know, not awful. Um, we've got this guy here, Ebeling. And again, temp poles look decent. Now, again, we have to get these guys fully scouted, personally. But, you know, there's some interesting players in here. Ooh. The regen faces are the Z-Gen pack. Not Stepanek, I know. I think, like, we scouted him and then kind of ignored it because his name was Stepanek. Literally. <laughs> we are that petty. But also, this guy's exploring his options too. So there's that. Yep. Um, Klaxvik. The fact they beat BK Hecken as well. Good evening. Uh, Jamario too. Uh, six foot one. 15 jumping reach though. 12, 13, 16. Solid positioning again. A little bit more expensive. So there's that as well. And I think there was one other dude. Oh, the familiar cow dude. He's a bit younger. But I felt like with him, there's maybe a bit of room for him to grow into the team a little bit. And he wouldn't be super impressive. So I wouldn't mind a couple of them. I mean, maybe we'll find some more as well. This was just what I was able to ascertain from looking through some uh, player searches, basically. Could be a loan farm. Oh, I don't know if I'd want to put him in the loan farm because he probably would still end up costing us like five or six. Romario's not amazing. Um, I think he's probably one of the weaker options. There's no way this guy's a right back, by the way. This is a full-on centre back. I'd never play him as a right back. He can't cross. He has got 16 pace though, which is kind of nice. I'd say that spending big on the Saudi, I don't think we'd actually have to spend that big. Because he'd only cost us less than 10 million. His wages might be quite high, but he's only on 42k a week in Saudi, which is surprising. Uh, ooh, um, Kim and even... Hang on. Kim, why is this... Why am I struggling here? Kimonomi. Kimonomi. Oh, that's a fun name. Thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate that. So, yeah, a stopgap, because I don't want to bring back one of the other guys if we don't have to. And, you know, particularly, as I'm quite excited as well about Kenyada. Uh, hang on. I was just hanging on. I had this all selected because I was making the thumbnail yesterday. Let's get rid of that. I like Kenyada. I think he is actually, potentially, if he gets that jumping reach up a little bit, I think he could develop in to a starting centre-back for us, potentially. And I want to allow that to be the case by giving him a chance to play in some of the rotated fixtures this year. Uh, he already played seven times this season. I think priority is getting him in those uh, rotated games. So he'll get at least... 15 league appearances probably for us this year. Maybe some cup games too. Just to start developing him and Janos and people like that, really. To start taking over the mantle. That's the idea, anyway. Let's know as Allison. Uh, oh, can it? Exactly. Uh, missed the first final. Absolutely. We've only been live like 10 minutes. Uh, we're not even on the day of the first final yet, actually. He's only 17, exactly. He's only 17. He's already this kind of good. I can't believe we paid 800 grand for him. Madness. Like, fair play. He was a rare player that we were actually able to pick up while he was still on a youth deal. Uh, and didn't he didn't sign an extension at Gladbach. He actually chose to sign for us, which just never happens in FM these days. So we'll definitely take that. Oh, nice one, Norton. Yeah, trail runs are just super fun. I've actually just bought a new running watch because my other one's basically on its last legs and it's now got the courses feature, which means I can actually get the maps on my watch because I want to do start doing some more trail runs. This one was like super trail running. It was great. It was like 400 meters of elevation across the course. Oh, it was so much fun. So much fun. I came 50th out of 71, and I do not care. On his last... Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, he's training really well. He's just... I think he's got all the... And he's got a professional personality as well, which is just perfect. Uh, let's have a look at his development. Because he's been here for like a year and a half now. So, marking has gone up by two already. Decision... Look at his mental increase. Other than his determination dropping, which just happens sometimes. Even his dribbling's improving. Tackling's solid. Heading's really good to begin with. Yeah, first half I've done since Thromsa. And obviously that was just a bit of a strange one in its own way. How'd you get hold of the MTK shirt? That was a long story. So basically they don't ship to the UK. But someone from chat, Gaffer, uh, lived in Hungary. Um, I think he still lives in Hungary actually now. He bought them into the country for me. <laughs> basically he got a lot of stuff from MTK's uh, club shop. And then had them shipped to his house in Hungary. And then he came to the UK because he was visiting family. And I picked them up from him then. Basically that's how I got the shirts. I probably could have arranged it with the club, but we tried emailing them and they didn't respond. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's fantastic. The final, the first final is on the 25th. Uh, R1 is in like a week after that. 
How is the kid doing? Uh, hang on. Wait, which kid? The smug yeah, I've did a bit of smuggling. Just, we, 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 we like to do a little bit of snug. We do a little bit of smuggling, a little bit of snuggling around here. Um, do you mean Janosch? So, Big Jan is... Uh, if you can borrow it within two... Hang on, what do you mean? There he is. In his lovely... I want to check that thing you guys pointed out about his dribbling. Oh, we actually can't see because he's not been here long enough. So the game is implying that his dribbling was always 16. I swear to God, when we first got him, he was he had 14 dribbling. I could have sworn... Oh, hang on, that's Haptree. Hang on. No, that is right. I swear he had less dribbling than that. I distinctly remember seeing it at 15, and I think it was 14 when he came through. I'd have to go back and check the VOD um, or when we look at him, but still. Still sent the wrong one. Yeah, some clubs are pretty good about that sort of stuff. Like, Tromsa were really good. They just sent it straight away no problems at all uh, i guess also speaking of tromsa how good are tromsa doing in real life right now beat lils did they beat lils from the weekend i think they did second in the elite of syrian that's amazing they're on for like conference league or something this season that's incredible for them to be back in europe potentially if they keep this kind of form up they're doing amazingly this year it was brandon silver little brandon silver would have like two-footed someone i feel like 15 dribbling ah there you go yeah yeah, so this is the picture I sent Hadrian when we were setting up the face. And he definitely had 15 there. Now, to be fair, that means he could have gone from 15.4 to 15.5. Because that's how the sent values work. But he's still... Oh, the third one. Oh, did Viking wing later in the day? Crossing also up. Yeah, he's... This is what I'm telling you about this guy. I feel like he's got the composite parts that we need to build a hell of a player. We're just going to get him loads of football true he doesn't yeah but he did have loads of scent um he did have loads of arrows at one point how was it? it was it was fantastic honestly um i came like 35th out of 43 men and 50th out of 71 in total but i couldn't care less i had the blood i was running along the only i feel like it would have been better but my last gel wouldn't open so i timed my fueling strategy perfectly to right within about within about 2k of needing the next set of fuel i had it which meant that i then got the energy boost right when i needed it and then I was supposed to take my last one at 17k. Couldn't get the packet open. Like, I tore the side. It ripped all the way up. And I tore the other side. It ripped all the way up. And I couldn't open it with my teeth because my hands were muddy and wet. So I just had to go without any fuel for the last part of the race. And it, I felt it over the last 2k. It just hit me. Where did it half? Uh, it's called Collingbourne Wood. Um, in Andover. Down in, uh, I think it's Hampshire or Wiltshire. I got a coaster instead of a medal, which I think is much better. Pit stop failure, yeah. But no, it was, it was amazing. Genuinely so fun. I really like the environment around trail runs too. The people are just so chill. Uh, I even tried literally just squeezing it to make see if it would pop like a frube in my mouth. Didn't work. The Ferrari strategy. <laughs> I had Bonotto doing my strategy. I know he's not even there anymore, but he's haunting them from afar. The team principle may change, but the strategies remain the same. Okay, so it's the next day with the actual finalists. <laughs> Context free. A little bit, in it. So, Roma versus Giamot. First final of the day. Also, you know, we've been getting some stuttering at the start of matches lately, Chato. So I figured out why that was. Uh, somehow, my settings in the uh, graphic settings have been turned back up again. So the crowd was on full quality once more. That's why we were constantly getting the stuttering. FM just reset its graphic settings on me. So that was uh, fun. So here we go. Let's get into the match. Aiden, thank you very much for the 22 months, my friend. Hope you're well. Let's get our prediction going as well. Happy 22 beautiful months. All right, Leo. It's fine. It, buddy, it's going to be okay. Just let me run the stream. I can do this. It's fine. You you have the complete capability to stream yourself. That's cool. But I can run this one. Uh, let's see. Will we win the champion? Oh, that's the wrong one. We want... Um, ooh, where is the ECL one? <laughs> I love that I've got will the intro be frozen more here than I do will we win the ECL. Uh, so we're going to do... Do, 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 do Roma. And the well, Jiri boys. Uh, give me two minutes on that one because why the fuck not? There you go. Boom. In we go. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, a couple more years, Michael Crystal Graphical. I'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. Uh, Michael, I hope I've said that correctly. Thank you so much for the follow. Or is that like Michael, but upside down with loads of extra letters? It's like a number plate that I can't read. Ooh. Crowd isn't in 4K. I know. Now they're all going to move at the same beat. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Inferno will be back soon, Hadrian. Don't worry. You got it. Did I get it right? Nice one. So it actually is Michael. That's a really clever way of getting your actual, your, uh, the name you want. 
I still stand by this, Willie. I don't think he's going anywhere. I've been saying this all summer. I think he almost just doesn't want to. It just feels like he has no desire to leave. And they're just like, yeah. Yes! So I should not have done that. So I tell the swamp when I do that, it hurts on this side. It's like a mark of honor, Michael. I'll take it. Mr. Storm Productions. That's a really great name. Lots of good names in chat today. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Mm. Stupidly back, Giamot. I don't know. Now, what I will say is, Giamot did lose one game in the group stages, which was to Roma. Now, that's never a great sign. Uh, oh, wow. Sudiuska. Oh, wow. Ronnie Markardson is a cool name, but not a great player. No Hungary. No, I know. No Hungary side has ever lost the Conference League final. This would only be the seventh. This would be, by the way, this is the eighth time a Hungarian side has reached the Conference League. Any players out? I don't think we can find that out, can we? Uh, let's see. Would it show... Uh, how do we even see that information? Injuries, I guess? Or suspensions? Uh, is that information obvious to us? I don't know if we can see that information about other teams. Not off the top, anyway. Should be okay. Go to schedule. Oh, yes. Good shout. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so, nine players unregistered. Tom Owen is out for, um, for, for, for Roma. Is he important to them? No. He's played three games in four years, so he's not relevant. And then only Claudio, uh, this dude here, is unregistered for Giamot. So it seems like they've got full strength squads both ways. Yeah, I forgot that you can do that for other teams. I'm so used to doing that for ourselves. Lost that one for you. <laughs> there we go. No stuttering. It's perfection. Where's that music? Give me the music. There it is. Elegant. Yeah, nailed it. Commit to England. You hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. Don't let me bring up my Tahitian again. Mm. Full crack, yeah. How's it going, chat? Let me just make sure that this actually shows the correct camera. <laughs> I've no idea why it was defaulted to the other one. It's so very blue. It's because it takes... It, the reason it goes blue originally is because it turns on like every time you trigger it. So it has to like adjust its contrast and stuff. And that and it's just a shit camera. It shows you the difference between a, a 50 quid webcam and these, you know? Particularly as I've got the whole lighting set up for this one anyway. Right, let's move back to the right. Giamot's best player is probably Molina, I would say. This chap here. He's on loan from us. He's a four star current ability centre back at 21. I would say he's probably their best player. Oh, nice one, Zhao. Yeah, I had real trouble with titling and sorting out the other YouTube video because I wanted to talk about the one specific youth player, but we kind of named the video like that last year. And I was like, technically, it is a golden generation for us because I would say that even the players that came third, fourth, like second, third, fourth, and fifth in that youth intake would, would have been the best youth intake players we'd had in a decade if it wasn't for being in this one. Darwin the Lion is definitely the most significant, without a doubt. Uh, amazingly, doesn't have more... Uruguay caps, honestly. He's just a really, really solid striker. You see 100 points. That's that's amazing. That's the big step as well. Ooh, Robo going very... Like, hang on. They got a guy called Mate Feher. Oh, he's Serbian. That's fine. I thought he was going to be a, a Hungarian. So, here's the prediction. You got tickets to the game. Nice. Yeah, I watched the England game yesterday. Um, pretty much the only thing I did yesterday was record the recap video. Yeah, no manager on Roma. Unfortunately, with the league not being switched on. Bear in mind, that's 2.5 stars in our team. And also, the game just is really bad at judging players like that. Right. Off we go. This is uncomprehensive. But, um... So, predictions for me. Roma goal within 15 minutes. Giamot then concede a penalty. They then get one back before half time. Roma then score a third goal, probably from a set piece. And then Giamot will actually play quite well and grab a, a second goal to make it 3-2 to Roma. That's usually how these finals go. I think that same pattern has occurred. Sorry, I have to make sure I sit back in my chair rather than leaning forward like I always do. It's probably part of the reason I have this back problem. Hello, Pog. Hello. How go? Mm. Oh, dear. It's got to have to be 3-2 to Roma. We should have just done a prediction. Um, who wins the ECL? Giamot or 3-2 to Roma? It's a nice football there doing. Oh, sip him in, please. Triffinov? Oh, it's over the bar. That was a good bit of play, though. 
The fact that they've already managed to break through that back five is very intriguing to me. Very rarely do we see teams get through a back five so easily there, but Gilmot have made it happen. Uh-oh, defensive error. Also, this Arche dude, I'm fairly certain, used to play for Kishvada back in the day. Fabri's in. Arche, get a block on. He's offside. It's offside. New United kit. I didn't. Um, no, I don't think I did. Which kit's this? I haven't really been seeing much stuff over the weekend, although I did watch the Charity Shield final, which was about the usual level of quality you'd expect in a Charity Shield final. Ooh, let's have a look. Let that load. Uh, actually, yeah, that's clean. I don't mind a bit of that. That is actually pretty clean. Oh. Pog's laying in the daylight. That can't be done. It must be dark in here. All the vampires will get me. Ah. So, they've made it through the first 15 minutes without conceding. Also, the guy that's got the ball, that just had that ball at the left-back spot, he's the guy that's got that horrendous own goal in Janosch's first game. By the way, Trifonov's got a bit of, um... A bit of pace about him. Oh, slip it across. Fuba! Oh, Cooper, outside, rarely. <laughs> if I can avoid it, I won't. Matty Allen, thank you for the follow. Um, can we talk about how Giamot have actually started this game really well? They look composed on the ball. Roma are giving them space. They're actually letting them play a little bit. This is surprisingly good. Fuber again, slips it around the side. Valis ball in. Oh, it's offside, I think, there. But wow. That's a really strong start. Like 20 minutes in, one shot for Roma. Which means they will score their first shot on target, obviously. Marcelo! Thank two you for finals, the two months. Six donks, six donks. Hell yes. There's a lot of willing runners, too. Cool dude, Daniel. Thank you for the follow as well. A fun fact. Fuba well, is very good. Simple, just two blocks from here. Roma, with their wingbacks, are allowing the fullbacks of Giamot to get really far forward. And it's just out. They're basically doubling up on them. Trifonov. It's a good ball in. Well, actually, it's not that good. But it doesn't matter because Ayala's there now. They're always going to have a spare man. In that fullback spot, Fuba, could he find a good ball? This spot here. Oh my days, real I am saying, what on earth? Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. What on earth is going on lately? But thank you so, I'm so, so thankful. Oh God, please no. Win it back. Right, win it back. Just cannot let them get forward. That's a great ball. Horvath, it's a poor first touch though. And it's a great save from Barry. Ah, it's moments like that where they could get caught out. Oh no, long range are coming in. Bodies, come on, bodies in the way. Yes, Mitic. That was dangerous. Halavash are a decent side. Like, uh, uh, oh, deflected and caught by Barry. It's all good. It's all good. Exactly one hour sleep. That sounds... Carly, <laughs> Carly Ray Jefferson induced astral projection. That might be the first time that sentence has ever been said. Roma are starting to build into the game a little bit more now, unfortunately. Gotta be careful. Good ball in. Oh, don't come back. Oh, okay. It's out for a... They're doing better. They're doing better. Well, now Shanti's Barry. I don't know, actually. Uh, I'm at half time. The Ericsson Carlson trade. I did see. They were talking about it on the DMVR podcast I was listening to this morning, but I haven't seen the specifics. It's like a three way trade, isn't it? I don't actually know the specifics um, for it, though, unfortunately. But no, do tell. I, I, there was, a, there was a, that hockey guy video about it, but I missed it. Trifonov. Trifonov has looked really good today. Space on the edge of the box again. Mitic, go on, buddy. Have a shot. Oh, that is a. There's going to be a chance for that spot. They keep getting into good positions, pushing Roma right back, and they keep getting the likes of Mitic and Edu Fuba. They're actually playing a so good of Alante as well. The one player I think has been a bit quiet in this game so far is Derham. Like, he's usually a very good player for um, for Giamot, but he's not really had enough of the balls yet to really make an impact. Extra time. Interesting. Uh, if a Hungarian side won a final 3-2, it might finally be what it takes to break the curse. I just can't bear the thought of losing an eighth consecutive Conference League final in this save. That's fine. Over the bar. Trifonov looks good. The ability of both Mitic and Fuba to get forward on the edge of the area looks really, really fruitful. It's been a pretty dull game so far, but I would definitely say that they've been the better side. Pittsburgh and San Jose. Wow. So what actually was the... Who else were the components of the trade, or was it for, like, draft picks? Oh. Oh. My back is cracking quite a lot, which is unusual. Right, here we go. Ayala. Find the right pass. Ah. That's fine. Gets it back to Mitic right now. Here we go. Trifonov again. It's a poor ball. He's really played himself into trouble there. It's when Roma break... How is he not offside? How is he not offside? Oh, he is offside. <laughs> and he's missed it anyway. Literally, we are... Hungary is allergic to the... How have Roma had so many... It feels like Roma haven't been that good in this game. They had that one really good chance. Can we see, like, the XG map? Ah, yeah. 
I assume that was the chance there. Zhimov just haven't had the best of quality. They had that one chance with Trifonov. I don't think they've been as bad as the game's making them out to be. I think they're still well in this. They haven't got a lot of the ball yet, though. Pass completion is pretty decent. When they have got it, they've made a decent number of passes. They're just not... I guess they might be just playing at a higher tempo. Their cross completion is better. Just barely, anyway. Just move my giant coffee here. Hmm. Carlson, two depth players to, and a third to Pitt. Sharks got a first. Granlin, Pitlick, and Hoffman. Wow, okay, that is a lot of things. Christ. I'm still getting back up to speed with hockey stuff. <laughs> my knowledge really doesn't extend that much past Colorado at the moment. Ooh. Trifonov has definitely been good. Darren's been quiet. Mitic has been excellent. I've really liked him in this game so far. Fubra, I don't think, has been as bad as that. And I think Valet is getting caught out a little bit down the left-hand side, but there's not much we can do about it. We just have to hope that they sort themselves out in the second half. But the point is, they've got to... Where's that hockey? So much more. It's so fun. Such a... Dr it's the thing, that, for me, that tickles my itch as far as American sports in terms of football. But basketball and hockey kind of tickle that for me with the sort of end-to-end -end action. The, the less stoppages. Oh, Baron Nationality. Shit. Um... Hang on. I can definitely get to him from here, can't I? I'll do valet like that. Then I'll go to Giamot. This is like doing Wikipedia um, quiz, whatever it's called. Uh, Mamadou Barry. So his second nationality is Hungarian. Mamadou Barry sounds Ivorian or maybe Cameroonian. Senegalese. Damn it. Damn, he's good. Actually, his... Yeah, no, aerial reach is very... Six foot six. AFL. I don't know what that is. Rhomboid strain tear. Playing cricket. Single decimal. Interesting. How long does it take to heal? And is there anything I can do to fast track it? Because it's just underneath my left shoulder blade. Like that kind of area. It feels almost like someone's poking me in the back slightly. And it's weird that it doesn't hurt when I'm actually moving about. And like running and stuff. It's only when I'm sort of sat still. Oh, Australian football league. Ah. I mean, I'm not against it, obviously. The wiki game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Don't know why that took me so long to get to. Hmm. Okay, right. I wonder if they will change anything. But they just need to get... De Derham's the one that's been lost. Because of that, the two DMs that Roma are playing in front of their back four as well, it's really meaning that Derham needs to shift positions because he's just getting drowned out. Like, here, that's where he needs to be. Oh, that's much more like it. Just having him slightly deeper means he can actually pick up the ball a little bit more. But what if they've changed, changed their system? Because that's what he wasn't doing in the first half. We were relying on... They were relying on Fuba and Mitic to get into those positions to find those shots. Whereas if Derham can start getting in the ball a little bit more, that's what we need. Yeah, I'll take the opposite of a commentator's curse. Remember very quiet. Oh, Darwin! I don't know if he's got the pace to get through here. He's going to have to shoot. Oh. Tennis ball. Right, I thought about the tennis ball thing. So I actually do have a set of tennis balls that I bought for this exact reason. When I get neck pain, or I used to, I don't really anymore. So I might try that after stream. That's unfortunate. He just didn't have the speed. Oh, that's great from Darwin, though. He's really good at the hold-up play. But Trifonov does have the speed. If anything, they need to almost create a scenario where Trifonov is the one that gets the overlapping run. Because he would have the speed to carry the ball forward. And he's got the dribbling ability, too. Right, that's more like it. Yes, now where's the run? Ayala's in! Ayala's in! Ayala's in! Yes! Roma nil! Giamot won! Angel Ayala on loan from us with the goal. And I think for the first time ever, a Hungarian side leads in the Conference League final. That was beautiful. So damn good. Was that Derek? No, it was Darwin. Dropping deeper, playing the pass. That's what we want. We want the pace running beyond him. Come on! James with our 32 months. How are you, my friend? 32 months later and Emmett Doran is still being blamed. <laughs> he hashtag fully is. forgive Doran, hashtag Duran for Hoyd. Oh. I love how he said forgive Doran and then said Duran for Hoyd. <laughs> Russell's just mixing it all up now. Right, now they have something to hang on to. Right, big head I needed. Or, or just, oh my God. Barry, buddy. Janine's not going to throw you off a cliff this time. It'll be fine. They've come into the second, they've come to play in the second half. I don't know what they've changed, but it's looking much better. Hello. Go on, Darwin. Oh, that's got to be a... Hang on, is he offside? Really? Uh, Doran still, play, uh, still is um, here. He's our assistant in the second team. Oh. Suddenly, Giamot have found something in this second period. First 15 minutes of the second half has been all Giamot. And I'm here for it. Although passes like that are not going to help them. Right, he's gone a bit wide here. That should be fine. Oh. Okay. This has been a much better second half from Giamot. No, he's not. We've got a new guy. We've had a new guy for a while. We've had about five different hoids since Emmett. Uh, our new guy, though, did bring us the wonderful youth intake that we had this year, though. So we'll take that. 
in his first year at the club as well, which is nice. So hopefully he's got a lot to live up to next year, though, is what I will say. Hmm. Roma definitely trying those long balls through the middle, and it does seem to be getting a bit more joy out of it. It's Hartle. There should be bodies in the way here. It should be relatively straightforward. Good save. Right. Matabese is on for Marco Benedetto. I wonder if that's going to mean a formation shift. Nah, technically, Romeo just tells you about it. You, your Hoyd will still bring through the youth intake. I think he was our first model citizen Hoyd. You're right, yeah. Maybe that's what it took off, took all along. Oh, Ayala with the defending. Right, go on, I do. Good pass out here. Oh, Yeah, if we do get another one, that would indicate there's something to that. And I think he's just got all the hallmarks that we want. Notice how all the good players had, like, reasonably high professionalism. Oh, don't get me wrong. There's still a chance for them to lose this 3-2. Um, <laughs> Roma... Sure taking their time about it for a team that are a goal down. I suppose they've got 15 minutes, right? Uh, no, the one we got... The one we... Play, uh, he retired. So we had Jochen Sauer, who was the former Bayern head of youth intake... Ahead of youth development, but he retired at the end of last season. Uh, nothing happens if you don't get a hoid. Someone else will just bring it through. Uh, but there's no benefit to it. Uh, in fact, Max did the test on that. Um, that showed that there was no benefit to not having a hoid, basically. Mm, I'm starting to dislike the way Roma... Are... <gasps> no! Okay, never mind. If he's going to shoot like that, that's fine. But why do you just let that roll through in there? 15 minutes to go. And Giamot are this close. I don't think we've ever had a Hungarian side in the league. Look at Ayala with the speed now. A second wind. Uh, yeah, EBFM. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Another shot. Another save. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire can track and simple. It's just two blocks from... Really short and tight with lots of sitting. Okay. That's interesting, James. I I'm really glad that you... Because I, I was hoping someone in chat might genuinely know something about it. And... Is it just a case of resting and hoping that it will get better? Oh, no. Oh, it's over the bar. Oh, Jordaz, thank you for the follow. Okay. S five minutes to go. Roma nil, Giamot one. Can they do it? Can they become the first Hungarian side in this save after 22 seasons to win the Conference League? The eighth time of asking. Can they finally break the curse? This will also be the first ever building a nation where all three tournaments have been won by hung, uh, by teams from the, the league we're managing in. Dero, just hold the ball up. What are you doing? Um, chat, this is a really long highlight, and that is worrying to me. Because it feels like there's a goal coming on this highlight, because usually when they're this long, something major is about to happen. Although it could be for us. Mitic is through. Yeah, that's it. Head it to the goalkeeper. That might as well have been a back pass. That may as well have been a back pass to the keeper there. Why is he heading it? Oh. Same pass through. Right. Peshke. Don't let him play that ball back inside. Giuliani. Good block. Really good block. Now get to the second ball. Good play. Clear it away. Let's go. Four minutes of stoppage time. Oh my god. 40 seconds. Can Giamot hang on for 40 seconds? Oh, that's a great pass for all of that. No, but he's covering off the pass in the middle. He's offside. He's offside. That's surely it. Just hold on to the ball for a few seconds, lads. They're going to do it. They're going to fucking do it. Eight seconds. Just kill the time, buddy. I, I don't want you touching that ball until it hits four, four minutes. They've done it. Press is just going to hang on for as long as possible. <laughs> yes! Ah! Roma nil. Giamont won. They have won the Conference League. They've only gone and fucking done it. Finally, 22 years of the save. Eight different attempts at winning a conference league. And finally, someone other than... So someone has done it. Oh. And the crowd went mild. Yeah, I'll have to get a new emote for Giamot. Oh, come on. 80 minutes. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not, right? If it means that the game is played fairly, then crack on. I don't understand what people complained about with that. The curse is gone. And it took the Giamot boys to make it happen. get in maxed out crap imagine the scenes <laughs> the scenes imagine how good that look in unity very very tight game but i think we have to argue roma didn't really turn up in the second half basically Giamot found a little something something they made it happen trifonov was great ayala was great darwin did a great job at not scoring man of the match by the way barry mamadou barry man of the match which i think is a bit harsh on some of the forward line yeah roma didn't really have the 3-2 curse is broken. Oh, you'd love to see it. EGP, thank you very much for the follow. Right, let's um, let's get out of this. Get ourselves a cheeky Harrow Bishop Ultras to really celebrate. Get that one on the board. Oh, think of the, the coefficient as well. They got a point for playing in it, and they'll get points for winning too. That surely is going to wrap up second spot. 
Not that we didn't already have it wrapped up. Right. How about your Ultras time? And a one. No, hang on. And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. And go. The minute you get up to it, you're dead. I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, fuck! Goodness sake and shit and balls! The minute you get uptight, you're dead. He hits the Yanos button instead. I would never do such a thing! <laughs> Only an unprofessional streamer would do that. People are going to get sick of that one day. Today is not the day. Ah, uh, do you know what didn't get up tight? My shoulder blade did. I took the pressure off them. That's what it was. Let me just quickly go in the preferences. Um, and we'll, actually, no, before I do that, let me save because I don't think it counts as a, a match played for us to save. So we'll save that there. Bagfus with the gift is sub to Yanos. <laughs> Thank you, Bagfus. That's very kind of you. That was um, the special intro that our brand new anime hero has. Um, you'll see him. Uh, well, actually, you might not. He'll be on the bench for the Champions League final. Who is this Harold fella? No one important. <laughs> no one important. Ask Margot Robbie. She'll tell you all about him. Ah, oh, I'll show you, Janos. That's not his name, Matt. Nope. Okay, no lean you forward, Matt. You've, you've learned. Right, there we go. Uh, there's another Janos Toff in the game, too. You've got to be careful. This is Janos. This is the prime monster from our youth intake this year. Um, the absolute god. We, uh, Janos Chavarie, I believe, has come home, yes. Although, uh, might have been... I don't know. I think we might have... That contract might still be outstanding because we literally finished last stream on the 24th of May, I think. And now it's the 25th, so I don't think any days have even passed. Yeah, look at this value. He's just an absolutely... Bear in mind, he's 16 years old. He's already played nine league games. His IQ, I've said. That's, um, that's on every player. That's It basically just links into their anticipation, composure, and decisions. Yeah, oh, he is injured, isn't he? Yes. True. Mm -hmm. Ah... Yes, you're right. So he won't be in the... Uh... Yeah, he's only just turned uh, 16. All of these games were played when he was 15. He's going to play basically as a backup. There. Yeah, an actual good youth in it. Bear in mind, he, he was five stars. And my guess is he'll end up going back to five stars. You, very rarely do players drop down in star rating like this very quickly. Most of them they actually go up a lot of the time, but we'll see. I, I'm still content that he's phenomenal. He has all the hallmarks of a player that I think could be a star. We just have to nurture him correctly. All right, now what I was going to do is immediately set up the uh, preferences for the... Champions League final. Get that sorted. That's the thing, yeah. If he continues to improve... I did, Mason. That was hilarious. <laughs> but it's totally true. Realist. Um, we're not entirely sure. But what we do know is that unflappable... He's got unflappable media handling. So we put it into the calculator for... Um, uh, oh, what was it? Was it exclamation mark hidden? Let me try it again. We'll just quickly check this. We can, we can do it live. Beetle, Beetle Beano, thank you very much for the six months. That's super duper kind of you, my friend. I hope you're well. Let's do... Uh, yeah, this is the one we want, isn't it? So, let me just check. Determination 17. Uh, oh, wrong button. I just press the wrong menu. So, it's Determination is 17. No. Oh. Personality Realist. Uh, we, can see, we can get an idea of what he might be like. So, media handling is... It was unflappable, media friendly. Leave a mentor. I mean, it seems like a good signing for them. Uh, media handling was unflappable. Oh, there we go. Right. So, what that means basically is that he basically has. Well, his professionalism could actually be anywhere between 1 and 17, in fairness. But. I think he's probably going to be okay. He's got good pressure, good temperament. Uh, and. He's a bit of a dirty bastard, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> He's got very low sportsmanship, which I think actually kind of makes me like him even more, honestly. Point being, I still like him. And I think he, from the way he's developing so far, it would indicate to me that there's some good things there, basically. Sportsmanship matter? Um, well... Tendency of the player to keep sportsmanship... The less will fair... Wait, less fair will want to store and take more cards. Yeah. He's just going to get lots of cards. But I, I don't think it's the same as having dirtiness. 
um, which is really important. You'll notice that he doesn't have high dirtiness because if he did, it would show up as a con here as competitive streak. So that's really what I'm more interested in. That's the problem we have with like Brandon Silver and people like that is that they had high dirtiness. That's what leads to those dodgy red cards. The ones that you just randomly get all the time. Age explains true. That's true. Yeah, he could obviously... I wonder if that does make a difference. I hadn't really thought about that, but it might do. It might make a difference. Right. So we got... Wow, our final's not that far. I was like, oh God, I hope we rested players. Then I realized that uh, Mitic's young player of the season. Good stuff. How's Mitic looking? Because he's on loan from us, obviously. He's a very good player. Just really good player. Atherton, Hyundai, did you make a call? Not really a big surprise there. Send those guys around again. Not really worth looking at there, I don't think. Champions League fever. Okay. Whole team meeting. Absolutely not. Bokshe progress. How's he looking as well? So he was one of the other dudes from the intake. Uh, oh yeah, I'll pin a, I'll pin a message. Um, Roman Neil. Shiamot one. Boom. And then I can't, can't do it from this screen, can I? I have to do it from my other screen. Pin the message for... Manually unpinned. There we go. And PO57 code. Thank you very much for the three months. I hope you're having a lovely day. Ah, yeah. Let me just get that sorted. So, yeah, that'll be pinned at the top now. So, when someone comes in, that will show the final. Oh. Your Hulk to be fair, I could probably do with something like that right about now. Uh, where is the Hulk Kicker button? Hang on. I'll sort the bat out in a second. Oh, this is genuinely helping. For once, Hulk Kruger is not just a side issue. Also, this shirt looks really quite good in blue. Don't mind a bit of this. Oh. Yeah, all those of you that, are that doubted... I mean, I can sort of use deep heat head now. We've got Volta Roll. I'm racking up the Volta Roll on it. Which, admittedly, I can only put on like twice a day. That and the painkillers. It'll be okay. It's, it's mildly uncomfortable at the moment, which is not too bad. It was a lot worse this morning. Oh. Right, um, what was I going to quickly check? Oh yeah, we'll have a look at coefficient. I'm glad to see that he's developing too, though. I don't know if he's ever going to be quite as good, but these star ratings certainly intrigue me. So, what does that do for us coefficient-wise? 21.1, which means there's absolutely zero chance of us getting caught now. We're, we're over a point clear of Italy. So we are going to get eighth spot. So this is the thing. Giamot qualified for the, conf uh, for the Europa League. And they won the Conference League, which means they automatically qualify for the Europa League. So that doesn't actually change anything. What will change, potentially, is us getting second. It means that we... Now, sometimes you get an eighth team. But I've also heard that sometimes you can get weird shuffling with terms of round progression and stuff. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. Snooskin, thank you very much for the follow. And James Spire, or Spear, thank you so much for the prime. That's very, very kind of you, my friend. Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. But that's the situation there. Learn the hard way. Um, I usually do fine with ibuprofen. Fasted. I've never, I've never had a problem with it to this point. Anyway. Get 11 European spaces. Yeah, you can. But we can't get 11 European places this season. Because in order to get 11 European spots, you'd have to come second or first. And have three teams that are outside of the top eight win every single European competition. So that's not going to happen. Because that literally hasn't happened. Well, that's the thing. Because I think Gmot you know, will actually end up in the Champions League, yeah. Oh. Right. Other clubs. That's true, actually, yeah. Um, let me just. Zukovic, you're. Yeah, he's our player, yeah. Um, he's been out on loan for 12 years now and has banged 200 league goals. He He's done all right. Man has done okay in that period. What how many goals he's got in total for Halalash? 300. Bro has 300 goals for Halalash out on loan in 471 games. And he still isn't the highest. Watting has made even more appearances on loan. And he's only been out for 11 years, interestingly. Damn. Stream frozen? Uh, shouldn't be. Um, I've not dropped 20 frames. Thus far, anyway. Anything big happen? Uh, just check the pinned message and you'll have your answer. But yes. Yeah, he's a lone farmer. No, he's not a legend here. We barely have any legends, actually. Uh, so if you look at our legends, we've got Henrique Pereira, Ehring. Oh, Durin's now a legend. That's new. And then there's me, and that's it. Also, our all-time 11 now. Uh, obviously, that doesn't include this season. Dahl has actually played the most games. I thought Montiel would be the winner of that. 
Yeah, he won't ever get Legend at Halilash either because he's a low knee. Huh. Wow. Dala with 629 appearances has played the most games for us. Even Montiel hasn't reached that. He's not even close. So not alone. Uh, that would be a very silly thing to do, Jordas, because they are Wonder Kids, most of them. Also, bringing back a player from loan doesn't mean you can sell them. Uh, you also then wouldn't be able to guarantee that the players you signed would be able to go out on loan because most of the time they wouldn't. Uh, so that would be the worst possible thing you could do in a situation like this. Danny, thank you for the prime. Very kind of you. Very prime of you, you might even say. I have said it. Velasquez not being a legend is actually kind of unfair on him in many ways. He is one of the legends for me. When you look, I love that Malero is still actually in this squad. None of the others have quite made enough of an impact yet. Yeah, Portia, 251 games is quite good. Oh, Ehring's record is so damn good, but he just didn't have the ceiling. Yeah, your Boa. I mean, Terra Nova still in here. Navarro. Oh, God, they played a lot of games. Even people like Navarro. He played 327 games for us. And he left when he was like 28. Oh, yes. Prediction. My apologies. Right, that's what, that's what I was about to do. Uh, ooh, a lot of you did not predict Shearmot, which means enjoy your points. There we go. Sorted. It does show how far along we've got, yeah. Yamin's low amount of matches. Yeah, he's not been at the club as long, but he has still been here 11 years. I think he's maybe had a lot of injuries. I don't know. I would have figured he would have had more games as well, genuinely. But there we go. Maybe he's just one of the first guys that gets dropped whenever this rotation, maybe. Yeah, Bobby Tree's average rating is filthy. And 232 goals is astonishing. Still not the top scorer, though. That is still Castillo with 288. I would say Malero. Yeah, Malero's uh, 40 years old, actually. Um, currently a coach here, of course. Jimmo actually won. 1-0. Ayala got the goal. Brandon Silva's still playing, I think. Yep, still at Chelsea. Doing all right for them, honestly. But, you know. He's got to play for a few years. Uh, who? Matty, thank you for the follow. No, Brandon's still playing. He probably won't be around for much longer, but starts every league game next season. Uh, not every league game. No, he'll start the um, rotated matches. That's the plan. Because obviously he still isn't good. He, I don't want to play him every game because that's just bad for him anyway. Oh, Yavin. He was a squad player for a while. And we nearly, do you remember we nearly sold him for like a really bad bid as well? So glad we didn't do that. That would have been catastrophic in terms of what it meant for us down the line. He's been so good. But yeah, it's going to, Blas isn't even on here yet which is mad. I don't know how many goals Blas has actually got in all comps, but he must be starting to get into that kind of territory in terms of his goal scoring. If we look at his, like... He did actually play for us there. So that season was like five goals. Then he got... So it's 11 goals there. Then, yeah, it's 54. 58, 98 goals. Like 103, 133. He's still into like the one... Damn. Bro still has nearly 170 goals for us in all competitions. I think Blaz does become top scorer in this save. Uh, not the finals, just the first final. We've got our final coming up in a minute. Yeah, Janosch can't play immediately. Basically, the plan for Janosch this season is every single time we rotate the squad, Janosch plays. We are into the 20s. We're actually into the 21s. We're at 21.1 now, which is amazing. And just keeps putting that pressure on England a little bit, if you can do. Twenty, I think it's 21.12 something. Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, right, we'll put the nationality in here now. Oh, hang on, it is on here. It's just hidden. It was actually on the screen. It just um, was ordered badly. Is there anything else up there I'm missing? No. There you go. It just it gets cut off at the end, unfortunately, because the game is a bit weird. If I wanted to, I could get rid of a few of the um, attributes I have there, but I really like being able to spot players or rather have Anorith spot players in the screens when we go to them like that. All oh, right, final time. Also, just occurred to me as well. Remember, we are actually losing, say losing. Uh, Hussein is going to be joining Halalash for 12 million pounds this summer as well. So we actually are going to get another 12 million for that too. It's next year, I think we lose the massive year. So that's definitely something that's going to affect us. But bear in mind, it will only basically bring us back into contention with Spain. It won't get us anywhere near the others. We're like 16 points clear of Germany, Italy, France, all that jazz. We're not even in the same league as them anymore. It's basically England are in their own league. Then it's us and Spain, and then it's everybody else. We're going to be top four for the rest. Probably top three for the rest of the save at this point, if we don't make number one. I don't see us dropping out of there unless something mad happens. Right, final. Okay. 
Uh, no. Durin starts. Raposo, yes. Mihail or Kenny? Kenny starts, surely. Uh, Velazquez, is he suspended? Please don't tell me he's suspended. Oh, no, he's got an injection, doesn't he? Right, that's fine. We did that on purpose. Remember one. Um, three people have now done it using this exact save, so I feel like it's possible. Whether we run out of time or not is a different matter. Patrice and Velomas, I'm happy to do that because Pretzel... We know that Patrice is going to have to carry no matter who we put next to him, and I want Romero left back because he's just better. Uh, seems that else is unavailable. Right, so what's the bench looking like? Let me get rid of the under-21s because we don't really care about those guys right now. Okay, so the bench would be Pretzel, Diabate, and Janosch, who is injured. There's really no point in putting Janosch on the bench for this. Uh, Pretzel instead of Akaveke. Uh, can you... Drissa Diabate. Is anyone I'd rather have him on? Probably not. I think everyone on the pitch has got... They've kind of earned themselves. Roughly, I think we're looking at, yeah, seven or eight potentially. Although it would just depend on how many things go. We, basically, it's four streams per season. So it means we get through three to four per month, essentially, depending on the way that the month staggers out. But obviously, that doesn't factor in, like, random days off I have to take sometimes. Like, for example, that being said, in theory, my next Sunday off won't be till September. Because I'm going to my sister's book launch. Triple Jacobson, thank you for the follow. I'd say eight, isn't it? I think we get to season 30 anyway. Uh, future games. Uh, the plan is the same, as in we will be starting a new save at the start of 24. A as a content creator, carrying across a save from the previous year would be absolutely catastrophic for me in terms of my career. Um, but I'm glad it's in the game. I think it's a great feature, but there'd be no point in me doing that as a content creator. Because then you get no kind of bump from the new game, basically. But I will be putting the save file up if people do want to continue with it. Because I think that would be kind of cool for people to actually be able to continue the save on the new game if they wanted to. Building multi. <laughs> yeah, we really need to have a proper chat about that so we can work out exactly what we want to do. Right. Interesting. Their system isn't that diff different to. Ah, another face in the game player, Tom Pennington. Valier obviously is as well. There's just so many face in the game players that Liverpool have. It's actually crazy. Oh, you figured it out. Nice. New feature of video. Oh, yeah, I could. Uh, I could, but I don't know what I'd be really showing in the video in terms of like. I wouldn't... Uh, there'd be no point in me making a video just to say that this feature exists because everyone knows that, right? YouTube's saying next FM. Uh, no. Well, uh, basically my content will remain like it is this year, i.e. we'll have the stream save, which will then have the recaps on YouTube, the VODs go up on the second channel, and maybe, if I can sort it out, edited VODs as well, like like what Zedan does, um, potentially as well. But as far as like a YouTube Let's Play, absolutely not. Uh, that would be catastrophic again for me. Hey, right, Callum, congratulations, my friend. Um on the insane amount of money that you raised for charity that's was it six grand in the end did i see in discord that is mental my friend um saw you with your egg on your head that's so awesome um super super happy for you and to see it go to such a great cause is just amazing I haven't really worked that one out yet last fandango not yet anyway the multi's brain oh yes no we I, I, what we should do is create like a group chat inferno just so we can discuss stuff like that we we have occasionally had like random mod group chats but it's usually just to do christmas quizzes Yeah, mate, that's fantastic. That, that amount of money is, is so damn cool that you were able to do that. Right. That's... Hang on, Matt, stop leaning forward, you moron. This is how you get back pain in the first place. Right. That's fine. They've got an injured player themselves in there, potentially. So that could help us, maybe. Okay. Christmas quiz. Yes, every year we do a, a big Christmas quiz on the last stream before Christmas. Um, I just said Christmas. Christmas. And it's all like an interactive thing, and they all, all chat, compete against each other for prizes and stuff. It's really fun. Whole squad value that. I don't know. Um, how would you even work that out? Like, I don't really think there's a way of working that out. I mean, obviously you can just turn on the the squad itself like that and look at the um, values of the players, but that doesn't really tell you how much they're actually. Well, the club page shows the value of the team, as in the actual the club itself, but Up that isn't MTK specific to the, quad, the squad MRT. value. Let's go see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he said that was super weird. Thank you, Avon, for the 30 months, my friend. Club value, bank balance. Well, I mean, our bank balance is 55 million pounds. We're not worth 55 million and we're not worth 1.4 billion. The, the estimated value of the club is completely irrelevant to the players. Um, oh, it's not irrelevant to the players, but it isn't completely based on the players. So that's the best I can really do for you. Um, set value instead of a range. I think that's because one of them has like a... Um, that's because he's transfer listed. And I can't take him off the transfer list. So that's what we're going to be dealing with later today. 
How it worked out then? Uh, rep all sorts of things. It's just kind of a number that the game throws up randomly. So there's not really a way I can really tell you how much we're worth. All I can tell you is like the values of the players. Actually, that's not all of them, is it? That's more like it. How many players have we got now? <laughs> it's fine. We, we have 227 players. Squad player. Hang on. Do I really want to click this? All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Squad player. Compa where's, where's the word comparison? Um, am I missing something? Build a region like build a nation. Um, I'd say it would almost be impossible because you'd have to. I don't think you can. It'd be very, very. It's under report. Oh, I see. Uh, right. Average transfer value is 49.5 million. That can't be right. There's no way that's the average transfer value of 227 players. There'd be so many players that are worth nothing that'll be dragging that down. Oh, you can't see. Th there's just no way that that's correct. That, that must be only taken into account first team players and not the rest of the squad. And bear in mind, most of the rest of the squad are in the first the team. Recap. Excellently done, J -O -Mart. Also love the thumbnail. The pose reminds me of Paul Blast. <laughs> Nine, I'll take nine it. Tenths film. <laughs> I'll take it. I had a comment on a video this morning that said that just said, "Did your mum drink while she was pregnant?" So you know, oh, if it's under the first team, then that's pointless to us, unfortunately. League average is very high, though. But by final, no, we've only done the first one. That's a shame. You think there'd be a way that you could work that out? I mean, obviously you could work it out if you went through literally and individually counted up the values, and then it's like which value would you take? Either you'd have to take a an average between the two values here as well. It's just, yeah, it's a bit of a minefield. Uh, let's get rid of that. Nope, stop leaning forward, Matt. Fuck's sake. Hey, Shippy. Zebra Elites is great. FM Girl, Alice, how was stream? We finally won a conference league. You love to see it. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if it just said average transfer value on here and we'd missed it the entire time? So it feels like something Saz could put in the skin. Wait, did Saz? I swear like Saz. Home tab line. Home tab line. What am I looking for? Oh, I thought there might have been a way in there. So I love that you've already won a conference league. It's the eighth time a Hungarian side has been in a conference league final and they finally won one. It is a pleasant day. Uh, oh, we've got a Champions League final now if you're interested. As per. Uh, that'll be fine. Also, I'm very confident now that Liam Cooper's going to come back from his loan. Uh, if you saw him, how he looks in the video, I'll show you him now. If you missed him, because I actually did go into detail with him in the video, but he is looking redonkulously good. Uh, where is he? Oh, Liam, there he is. Boom. Yeah, I'll do the prediction now. Actually, while we're thinking about it. Uh, oh, is that a sub? Who's that? Captain Zeep. Thank you for the twenty-five months. In the you middle. In the middle of what? Better eight than never. Uh, will we win the UCL? Yes and no. Boom. There's your prediction, friendos. Ooh. He's just so good, isn't he? And he's only 21. To me, there's, I think next season, I mean, as you can see here, he would be our best goalkeeper. So he has to, he has to come back. I think he's, no, his loan extent. I'm just going to get that done now. They don't need him anymore. We do. He has another year left on his loan, but I feel like for us right now, we do kind of need him more than they do. They're not going to be in Europe next year either, so we can give him another goalkeeper. Either than that, it's because he's aging. Um, he's just, he's slowly now losing his physical quality, and obviously that means his attributes are dropping, and thus his CA will drop with it. And he's not getting the form that he needs to, essentially. Um, so you can see, obviously, you can see, he's look at the state of him. Still 17 aerial reach, 21 on ones. 17 reflexes. He is mag magnificent. But look at the physicals that have declined. Our budget. Our budget's okay, but we do need to sell play. The budget's not actually the important factor. Like, we have £44 million in transfer budget, but we only have £55 million in the bank. So, yeah. That's the problem. And that's why we're going to have to sell Pratesel. Now, that's going to be our first port of call, probably, is once the window properly opens, is once the bids start coming in for Pratesel. The key thing this is, though, and this was really on our side, 
is the amount of interest that there is in him. Because that means there'll be lots of clubs we can play off against each other. In theory. Where the hell is he? There he is. So he's this kind of quality. Ignore the value. That's absolute bollocks. He's wanted by 13 clubs. So we should be able to drive the price right up. Potentially, anyway. Finals against Liverpool. Which is going to be crazy difficult. And they've already beaten us plenty of times. Double my bank balance. Yeah. And unfortunately, we don't want to put ourselves in a position where we're no longer considered rich. Because that could lead to our board start selling our players. In terms of money, we have no money. Yeah. Valio will do some nonsense. I feel like we've had a bit too many lucky games in the Champions League this year. And I'm worried that it's going to come back around to us in the final. But all we can do is try, right? Let's do this. As the African adventure theme plays in the background. I just want to see the life. What a bop. I might be one of my favorite intro songs we've ever used. Such a vibe. All the face in the game powers definitely could come back to bite us in this game. But I'm just hoping that the likes of Kenny, Mihal, Raposo is a new man for this job. This team is so similar to last year's final. If I think the only player that's made this team from that wasn't in last year's final is probably Raposo, although maybe Tichera wasn't quite starting for us then yet. It limits it. Hang on, you had 250k points, see? My god. Saves them for the rest of us. Right, let's make this happen. Okay, this time I do need to remember to shout. Done it. 291k, god damn. If you weren't already a VIP, you could have been a VIP. Well, you actually couldn't have been because there would be no more spots. So to calculate, I don't know, but it's just weird how often they seem to be so much better than their... And how it's weird how often certain num certain players are regularly way better than the average player. Uh, Kane Fuller Love, for example. Every save I've done this year, even in test saves, I've found his name, and he's always playing for, like, Bayern Munich or something. And obviously, that doesn't mean they're really good, but this is usually later into the saves, when he's, like, 25, 26. And he's always in, like, the Bayern Munich starting 11, or at Spurs, or... It's just always around. Alaku is always decent too. Carpenter has been good in both of our last two saves as well. Although weirdly he was in a different position in this save, which is surprising. It's a nice start from us. Popping the ball around quite nicely. That work rate from Tichera is going to come in real handy here. Oh. Facing it was less than 100 feet. I'd be interested to actually test that. Um, yeah, so this is full match. Actually, that'd be super easy for us to test, wouldn't it? Just start a blank save. Sim five years in. Uh, make a short list of face in the game and then just use like a third party tool. Or not even that. Wouldn't even have to, would you? You could just use the editor. And just take an average. Export it. And then you could just do like a straight comparison. Uh, Velazquez isn't injured. He's had an injection. So he will show up as being injured because he had the injection. But we knew that uh, with there being no more games this season, we could sacrifice a bit of his... Um, <laughs> we could sacrifice a little bit of his summer. Yeah, you can do two predictions in one stream. Um, we already did, technically, because we predicted on the first game. Also, hello, Rob. Uh, I think I did pause it, didn't I? I'm fairly certain it's been paused. Let me check. Uh, manage request queued. Uh, yeah, it, it is paused. It should say out of stock. Ooh. Okay. We've actually started quite nicely. We're popping the ball around quite well. It's just whether we, whether we can actually create something. And you know how often these finals can be a bit dull. Be nice, would be nice to just have a bit of a humdinger of a final for once, as long as we don't lose it. <laughs> I set up for a nice boring final that we win 1-0. It's just our record in Champions League finals lately has been genuinely very poor. Seemingly with no real explanation as to why. We've just got a bit unlucky in some of them. Like the Real Madrid one last time out was supremely unlucky. And then there was the Bayern one as well with the red card, where we were dominating and then the random red. So hopefully today is not going to be like that. Yes, she did account user, but luckily, it's good news. Uh, Roma nil, Giermott won. The Ayala scored the winning goal, and then they held on. Oh, Duran's in. Oh, the keeper's out. Oh. Restock, uh, no. Uh, unless Twitch lets me have any more slots, then no. I might have to just take it away in time. The reason I've kept it is because they may well... There is a way that I can get more VIP slots, but it's not something that's achievable for us, unfortunately. As Duran flicks it down. Raposo, go on. Oh, you should have shot there. Romero, this is nice. It's a good start. So far, enjoying like, we look pretty decent so far. Oh, top to streams, we get this concurrent viewers. It's not actually about the concurrent viewers. It's about the um, concurrent chatters, weirdly. Lepicto, thank you for the 16 months. Hope you're well. To say they just exist. Um, they, obviously, they don't exist. It's just a question. I don't think they've ever acknowledged that they are better. But it's just too many times I see the same faces playing for the massive teams. And it could just be that it's like confirmation, like Bader-Meinhof sort of situation, right? Where 
because there's so many of them, we keep seeing them. We think they're everywhere, but actually it's just that there's so many of them now that there's always bound to be one that's going to be decent. But it's the same set of names that I always see towards the top. Came Full of Love, Irvin Betron Core, um, Alaku, and a few others. Twitch's anti lurker Literally, yeah. Basically, the way I can get more VIP slots is by having a certain number of concurrent... Sorry, chatters within a five-minute period. Um, but it's an absolutely unachievable number for a streamer of my size. The only reason I even hit the one I got before that was because I got raided in a showdown and Zealand's chat did like a copy pasta. That was the only reason we even got that one. So thank you, Zealand. 10k date by 15 years in is a 500. One every 20 play. That's mad. That, this, just make it toggleable. That's all we want. Just make it toggleable. Is the face of the game in the room with us right now? Do you know what it is? Yes. They're everywhere. They're talking to me, Norden. Yeah, no, the shiny Pokemon idea is actually really good. I think that's cool as Helm's in, and it's offside. Whoa. Have a facing out. I do not. Honestly, if they... <laughs> do you know what? If they ever said to me, Matt, do you want to face in the game? I'd be like, how about this? I'll trade you. Uh, I'll have one on the condition <laughs> that we make them toggleable. <laughs> Jace the Ace, thank you very much for the follow. Keep a face in the game that's always good. I think there's multiple ones, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. Oh, God, Higa's got a bit of speed. Uh, basically, Hadrian's idea was that if you got a player who organically ended up with the same name as a face in the game player, it would make that player better and you'd get like a thing about it. But it would only happen if it happened organically, that the, the player's name through the name pool just... Oh, is it Hoyenhol? I had no idea he was a goalkeeper. I actually don't think he's been good in this save. Run up the bots with the mobile capture. It's something like 400. Like... It's actually outrageous. Way to cheat. Oh, uh, no. It's not cheating. It's just... Statistically, I think they're just better, slightly better players. Um, but I'd have to do the, the math. It might be that only a certain few of them are. Yeah, that, that's the thing. So if you got... Um, a fa in the sense that... Um, if you happen to get names that coincided with a face in the game, so you just... Through the name pool, you just happen to get a player who had the same name as a face in the game database player, then you'd get like a thing that would pop up and tell you about it, and then they would be better because of the random chance because it's so low, you know? Apparently Twitch has been a bit shit today. Apparently YouTube was fucking up earlier as well. Like, I was really struggling when I published the video to get any kind of accurate metrics on it. It was very bizarre. So I don't know what's going on with that. It still seems to be a bit fucky, honestly. Um, also, weird news... You know the video I put out last weekend, the reverse, uh, the randomized promotions one that Hadrian and I did? That came in at a 10 out of 10 on the statistics. As of this morning, it was number one. So it just shows you that the first hour views actually don't really matter all that much. It's just been slowly gaining throughout the week. And now it's at number one, which is just mental to me. Oh, go on, Raposo. Wrong pass. Massively the wrong pass. A message for facing the game players. Uh, wait, what do you mean? What message? There isn't a message. Uh... It's an idea that we had that it would be cool if that happened, not something that actually does happen. Scattered. Yeah, it'd be cool like that. Just something like that would be cool. We just buy a face in the game players. Um, no. Because if you play them in a shit tactic, then it wouldn't matter what you do. You could have a team of 200 PA Wonder Kids and it still doesn't guarantee you to win. Oh, thank you, Gavin. Yeah, it was a really fun video to make and people really did seem to enjoy it. I was kind of mad at how it, um... What was your, which one was your comment on that video, Inferno? Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking of someone else. Oh, I thought we had. I was about to get fouled there. Uh, MD Raised. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're well. Well, I think it's because it's a video that's it's, it's evergreen. This is why I started making evergreen content, because it's not just... The market for the video isn't just the first day of its release anymore. It can exist in the algorithm all year, and it will just continue to get... And it's also been a good one for getting new subs, too, which has been really nice. So uh, thank you for your sub to the channel because of that video. <laughs> I know, like, 200 of you did. Metrics and algorithm versus actual content. Um, it's both, because without the actual content, there would be no way to have success in the algorithm. Like, I think people get confused and think that pleasing the algorithm means that people are going to watch the video. If the content's shit, no one will watch it. Um, I should know. <laughs> um, it's... If the content isn't good, there's going to be nothing for the algorithm to push. The algorithm uses metrics that exist on good content. So, higher viewer retention... People are watching it longer. Ergo, it's most likely to be better. Um, factors like that. CTR means that if the thumbnail is good, more people are going to click it. I, yeah, I obviously want to try and make content that... I just decided this year I was going to make content that I wanted to see. 
So, would I watch this video? Yes, then go make it. Doing nothing literally. I suppose, yeah, but I think the FM algorithm is a bit... For the type of content, we make it slightly different. Oh. It certainly feels like that, Mason, but I think it's just, you know, random chance. There's always a load of dice rolls going on that we're not seeing, and essentially the equivalent of dice rolls that we're not seeing. Now we need FM versus Baldur's Gate 3. That's what we truly need. Yeah, well, that's why I, I thought it'd be a cool video. I think that might be why it's helped it, actually, because it's driven the engagement up on the video because people are pointing out their local towns in it. I found out so much cool stuff about people's local towns and local clubs that were in the Premier League or in the Scottish Premier League in that save. I think it was awesome. Next international team vid is Dr. Congo. Um, it had to take a back seat because I was... Um, I was recording it and so it was it was weird. And then I discovered something in the middle of it, which I need to make a video about, basically. A way that you can... Not artificially. You can basically boost a country's regen production in the middle of a save without using any kind of third-party tools or the editor or anything. Just completely at random. And I accidentally did it while I was filming the video. And then, right, we need to kind of stop this. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably worthy of a video by itself. Because I reckon what I might do is I'll, I'll make a video about it, but also... Um, do like a little experiment in the middle of it. It's Durin scores! It's offside, isn't it? It's not. It's it's MTK1, Liverpool nil. We lead in the Champions League final. Blaz Durin with an absolutely big boy goal. It's been a trash first half so far, but this was gorgeous. Teixeira finally showing a bit of quality down this right-hand side. The cross is superb. Blaz scooping it past the keeper, and we lead. Now, the last time we led against Liverpool in the Champions League, we lost in the final. Z Spitfire, thank you very much for the three months. You love to see it. Goal. Goal indeed. You can boost youth reaction. Yes. So, to give you an idea, we're playing That's really weird. Um, I have heard that Twitch is having some problems, though. I've heard a lot of stuttering issues and stuff, but it's not on my end. I've actually not dropped a single frame today. So just to ca cl catch you up on the boosting a youth production thing. Um, so I was obviously doing this with Dr. Congo, but I had Belgium as the base league. Um, or Belgium and France. Surely that's offside. <laughs> and basically what you do, you make a league view only. Then you make it playable. The act of changing it from playable to view only, sorry, view only to playable, for some reason, triggers a part of the game that adds players to playable teams. And it will suddenly, the next youth intake for those teams... They'll all have above average players, well above average. To give you an idea, the first time I noticed this was when I was just messing around with things, trying to generate some players for Belgium and whatnot. And when I made them back to playable, that year I got seven players that number had Dr. Congo's second Christmas nationality. Egg, number 38, we all love stupid, sexy Janosch. It's like he's wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's true. He really, really is. Bearded Child, thank you for the 38 months. That is mental. How are you, my friend? But yeah, I got seven players with Dr. Congo's second nationality that were above 160 PA in the first year of the youth intake. And bear in mind, that was just the Belgian players that had Dr. Congo's second nationality. I didn't even have a look through. And then I did another test save where I was alternating it. So every other year, I turned Belgium from um, playable to view only to playable to view only like that. Went back and forward. After five years of doing that, Anderlecht had 60 players in their under-19 squad. It, like, it forces the... Yeah. It, it's some stuff basically what Hadrian reckons is that it forces the game to use and it gives you more second nationalities as well so I'll, i'm gonna make a video on it because what i might do is i'll make a video talking about it and explaining how it works but then what i might do is do a little experiment bit with it where i try and make a, a sort of lower side in europe win like a european championship just by constantly flicking it on and off again yeah so that's the thing it treats a big side like they're a non-league team and gives them loads of players based on the reputation of the club but they're well above average. Uh, Bill, you guys know Bill Benjamin from chat. I don't know if he's in here today. Uh, the zookeeper, or former zookeeper. He tested this in uh, Serbia on Thursday during a last stream. And his immediate response was, I just found a shitload of Wonder Kids. So try, give it, if you've got time today, literally, run a season, turn a league on that isn't the one you're managing in. Um, then turn it to flip view only. Then turn it back to playable. And the next playable year, watch the youth intakes of the clubs. Do it with the editor on so you can see their PA. And then you'll be amazed. And particularly if it's one of those nations like a Denmark or something, or uh, just, yeah. I think that might be one of the next videos I make. Obviously, the next video I'm making is the one you're going to see on Thursday, which is the score a goal get released, which I actually recorded last Wednesday. Duran has a mohawk. He's an absolute monster. Mihal's ball in. It's going to come back to him, though. Good defending again. Liverpool have had no shots in this game so far. Oh. 
two of them have hang on of the of the 488 players in your save that are facing the game 200 of them have 120 plus pa there you go I, yeah so did i, I accidentally did it to belgium when i was doing doc, when, so basically the way i stumbled on this was because i set my database up with dr congo and you remember i told you i was really excited about it because it was mad and i was like oh, there's so many good players coming through i was really happy with it and so when i got to do the actual video i was messing around with it i thought i got the database set up the exact same way and it was going kind of poorly i was like where are all the good players there was like nothing i didn't get a single player in the first five years that was over like 130 pa so i was wondering what was going on i thought maybe it's just bad luck and i was trying to work out if i did anything different when i was doing the test and i realized in the test that i actually had belgium set to playable rather than view only and i was like oh i know i'll set it to playable see if that helps it and then when i switched them to playable obviously there was then loads of them but then I was like, hang on a minute, why is that the case? And then I tried to repeat it by starting with them playable. And then it didn't work. And I went, hang on a minute. It's the fact that they go from view only to playable that actually seems to trigger the thing rather than just having them as playable. Uh, could you, oh, you know, this is the thing, Hibos. It does give you Giga Chad Belgians, uh, Belgian amateurs because a lot of these players were genning at second or third tier Belgian sites. That's the, the even stranger thing about it. Like you'll get a load of quality players at the big clubs, but you'll also get loads of them at the smaller side. Giamot broke the conference curse. Yes, it's finally happened. And we're now winning the Champions League final as things go as well, which is just a side issue. No, no, it doesn't even matter about the playable league. It's only the nation that's playable. Uh, so, right, I don't know if it changes whether or not you have add players to playable teams, but what I will say is, who doesn't start a save with that ticked on? I can't think of it. I don't know why you wouldn't have that ticked, honestly. Ball is at boom. Almost certainly, Gav, honestly. Like, almost certainly. There was loads of them at um, Dinza. Uh, there was a team called Fuck. There, was <laughs> there wasn't a team called Fuck. There probably is somewhere in Austria. But <laughs> it's like, have you heard of a town called Malice? Now it's a team called Fuck. <laughs> do it with every league event. Well, there's a lot you could do with it. Best striker ever. I think he's got a long way to earn that. I think in terms of pure quality, he might be up there. But, oh, hang on. Speaking of, he's in again. Oh, the, the power there. That was glorious. I think he, um, quality-wise, he's certainly got to be in the conversation. But it's a question of whether he actually get the the plaudits to go with it. Like, he needs to win the Champions League a lot. He needs to beat all scoring records and stuff. You know, he needs to do that kind of thing. What well, matter with turning if you only playable? I don't believe. You're right. I don't think it will, will it? 200 and... That, that's... Yeah, Exactly. Right, they, exactly. That's a small amount of them, but think of how many facing the games will be in there. Unselected rather than view only. No, no. So it has to go from view only to playable. The league has to be selected. As far as I'm aware, just activating a league isn't enough. It has to go from view only to playable. And I suspect that... I say has to go. It's worth a test. I don't know for sure. Confirm that on the same screen you set the playable. No, no, no. So... Right, so I'll run you through the methodology for this. Because, again, this is something I'm still working out the, the creases in. But this is my current understanding. You start a save. And you have this league switched on as view only. Right, so say you turn... You're managing in Belgium. But you turn Serbia onto view only. You then wait a year for it to trigger. And once that league is actually triggered as view only. So you should be able to see the league tables. Then, once that's available, you then switch that to playable. Confirm it again. It will then take a further year. So there's like a certain date that will show up. Once that's then expired, check the youth intakes once the youth intakes for that league happen. And I guarantee you, the players in those youth intakes will be far and away better than what you'd expect to see in that league. Well, actually, it's not pronounced Dr. Congo. They go by Congo MD. That's a show I'd watch. Me hard into the box. Ah, cleared away again. Doing two years without the league loaded. Yeah. Yeah, literally, from the start of your save, you could load it view only, and then the second year, the moment the save's loaded, you could just change it to playable, and then the next year it would trigger it, basically. Democratic Republic of Benji! <laughs> well, I mean, I might start saying that, just to confuse the shit out of him. But yeah, I'm sure some of you might have accidentally done this without even realising it. Uh, Gadgets, I think, has one, yeah. But yeah, if you want to give it a go, it, it's a two-year sim, it would basically take you to test this. Well, two and a half, because you have to get to the youth intakes. But... Yeah, it's certainly a video that I think I'm going to make soon. Because what I would do is I'd have a bit of fun with it. I wouldn't just make it like, oh, this is the thing. I would show you how it works. And then I'd also do an experiment where we go to the future and do it every other year. To see how much I can boost the team. Best yeah, so that's the reason. It's You could do it accidentally. And I mean, I did it accidentally. 
And the only reason I even realized I'd done it was because I got super disappointed when I was trying to record the Dr. Congo video. And why, I was like, why doesn't mine look like that? And then I realized that that's what I'd done in the, uh, the test version. Not on purpose. I was just fiddling around with the database trying to work out what would give me the best combinations of players. Also, you will, you will also get um, more second nationality regens too, for some reason. You'll have a lot more of these players will have second nat. Which I still don't really understand, but hey. Which is actually kind of even more fun for the World Cup videos. I love how this has all come from me talking about the next World Cup video, which is most likely going to be Dr. Congo. Oh yeah, with Germany having so many different options. Yeah, I can only imagine. Democratic Republic of Management. <laughs> Well, there's just so many options for like Belgium and that, isn't there? <laughs> They're just repeatedly turning their own league to view only. No players allowed, just fans. You can look, but you can't touch. <sighs> Do it with all nations. That would be, it would just take too much time to sim. Your for Asia, it'd be Europe because I haven't found an Asian country that unfortunately would make a very good video for it sadly so it will, it's probably not going to be possible in asia so although i might just do nigeria straight after that <sighs> yeah it's so rare that you would switch team from view only to playable the reason i did it is because i was messing around with regens jürgen muller at liverpool born in birmingham no second nationality huh i guess it's possible right New Zealand would be interesting. I don't think it would. Um, there's just not enough good second nationalities that would make it worthwhile. Uh, this is the same with Australia. There's not one nation I can pick out that would generate enough second nationalities for it to be an interesting video. That, and that is the reason I have to pick certain nations for it. It's not about whether New Zealand would be interesting. It's about whether it would make a good video, and it just wouldn't. Um, sadly. England. Yeah, but how many, how many actual New Zealand players come through English clubs every single youth intake? I'd be amazed if it's more than one a season, if not more than that. And remember, that's just one player. It doesn't mean they'd be any good. And that would basically, it wouldn't make their national team any better. It's only when you go from view only to playable, yeah. Australia, Croatia. Uh, I would say it's very unlikely. I, I don't think you get that many. Bear in mind, it's not just a question of whether you get second nationality. It's a question of whether they'd be any good or not. It it's very, very rare. And even if they had a couple of players that would change for in real life, if there's no regens for it, then it wouldn't make sense as a long-term save. Then that's what I'm having to focus on. Uh, oh, uh, number one DJ Skate fan. I must have missed that. My apologies for the follow. My apologies for the follow. My apologies. Thank you for the follow. Well, exactly, Banks. It's why I probably do Scotland at some point. Japan with... Mostly, I think it's mostly, like... African, Caribbean nations, uh, certain European nations. The next one I've got lined up is probably Dr. Congo, which is how I stumbled onto all this. But but that's the logic behind it. It's not just a case of this country would be interesting. The, the vid it has to make a good video. San Marino, um, okay, but where would the players come from? Italy, maybe, but you don't really get that many players coming from Italian clubs with San Marino's second nationality. And when you do, they're usually shit. And I know San Marino would be better anyway with any players, but they wouldn't really do anything anyway. They wouldn't be better enough to the point where it would make a good video. They would maybe get vaguely better and maybe concede six goals instead of nine. But it wouldn't. Wales would be fine. Scotland will do work. Do you know Those will definitely be fine. Z Classy, oh, thank yes, you for the follow. Sure. They are building it now. But like San Marino and Andorra, they wouldn't get any interesting players to start with as well. There's just, yeah. But and San Marino has been done to death, yeah. Here's a fun fact. Luxembourg can have Portugal Pacific and France. Pacific yeah, they can. Um, It'll be on there, but... It's certainly not a priority. Like, with, whereas if you look at Scotland, for example, think of the number of players that come through English sides with Scotland second nationality. You, Ireland already did. Um, that video is, already exists. Um, hence why I did it, because there's so many. Senegal is an option, yeah, because you can use France. Ramari! Thank you for the follow. Uh, Turkey with the Netherlands, uh, with Germany turned on is definitely an option. Cameroon with France, yep. Yeah. There's a lot of African nations you can do, for sure. Uh, you've got Cabo Verde, Cape Verde with Portugal. Cyprus winning in Italy. I think it probably wouldn't just because there wouldn't be enough players. Algeria. Yeah, all of those nations are all possible. Peter Pred, thank you for the 21 months. Did you and Inferno decide which one of you was going to be um, doing a unicycle? Well, uh, what's he you using? Uh, MTK Budapest. Like Martinique. Uh, I mean, you do see the occasional player with Martinique second nationality. It, it does happen, but it's rarer than, say, um, some of the big African nations you see. 
And also, yeah, they don't play in any competition, so they wouldn't really have anything to judge them in. Definitely not me. <laughs> yeah, if they don't play in the World Cup or the World Cup qualifying, it wouldn't really make an interesting video. One player you hate. Uh, what, you mean in real life or in FM? Because I don't really hate people. I, I have no time for that. It takes a long time to be hateful. It's much easier just to, I don't know, have a sausage roll and chill. In FM, um, probably the guy that's going to score against us at some point in this game, actually, Giorgio Valia. Oh, Liverpool have woken up a little bit. Oh, no, they haven't. They really haven't, have they? The board. Brandon Silver, true, yeah. Turkey would be a very interesting one. They would definitely have some good players themselves. The German leagues always produce good Turkish-German players, so Turkey would definitely be very interesting, yeah. Um, it might do, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I was with hate. It's like, hey is a strong word. I just really, really, really don't like you. <laughs> to quote the plain white tees. Go on to share. Have a shot, buddy. Or Velasquez banger. Ah, we're overplaying it a little bit. All right, win that header. Yes. Nicely done. We are. Uh, the Norwich one is an old school reference. Back to the old YouTube days. Um, I can't remember the exact. Oh, it was because we kept drawing Norwich in the cup when I was managing Wimbledon, I think it was. Then there was that whole thing about how Norwich had taken over the Polish FA. Yeah, English... No, England and Nigeria is a combination I will definitely be doing. Trust me, it's the most com the most requested one on every video is Nigeria. But I wanted to do, do Dr. Congo this time because we used England as a base for so many of the recent ones. My voice... I have the ability to talk with a high voice, Rob. Sometimes. Actually, it goes... It's weird when I actually try to do it. It's not great. Oh, thank you. Uh, ready? We're hopefully going to be having edited VODs as well for next year. Um, and I should stress, they will be as well, not solely um that way you know if you can't watch all four hours you can still tune into the edited vod can neighbors cats cry i actually can't remember why we hate porter now maybe you should go off the list content was possessed by mickey mouse maybe in a minute i'm gonna get the shot away god i miss football cliches from this season i don't I genuinely don't know what it was. The list could probably do with an update. Win World Cup? Uh, probably couldn't, no. Uh, because that would require a lot more than just turning on a country. Uh, you'd have to recreate a country. And then the leagues and players within it. And it would just be an absolute nightmare. Then you end up in the geopolitics stuff, which I am not wading into. Uh, Kisana, thank you very much for the follow. Is Klisho's back? It must have been from Tromsø. Yeah, I'm just trying to think why. Oh! I know what it was. You're right. No, it was. It was. It was. Um. It was. It was Tromsø. It was because we used to. We had that weird spell of like a three or four year period where every single year in the Champions League we would get knocked out by Porto in the first knockout round, even though we were really good. And I think it's because we weren't um match fit going into the second games after Christmas because obviously that's in our preseason in Norway. That's what it was. We lost to Porto like three out of four years or something. Dortmund. I have a lot of love for Dortmund in this save because of the amount of players they've taken off of our hands when we really want to get rid. It's been great. Also, we've we've played very, very well in this game. We've given Liverpool virtually nothing. Like they've had one shot on, one shot in the entire game so far. We've been brilliant, just controlling the possession, taking little pot shots here and there. Oh, it's a nice idea again. Dortmund are basically our sugar daddy, yeah. And I'm here for it. This is exactly the kind of performance that we needed. Patrice has been just imperious, although the 6.5 that they've both got is utterly mad. How are they both on 6.5s when we've conceded one shot? What are they doing wrong? It's so unfair. Shout. Uh, no, we're at 1 0. There's no point in shouting. It won't do anything. That's not a bad pass. Actually, Duran's in. Oh! <laughs> what a fucking shot! I think they do need to look at that, yeah. But centre backs, for me, just get punished for match ratings when they're doing nothing wrong. What a strike that was from Durian. On the full volley, dropping over his shoulder. Who does he think he is? Patim Kasami? He's not He's not quite as good as Kasami. Oh, Yamin with the strike. Raposo keeps it in play. Pull it back. Romero. Oh, Diego. If we don't win this match now, livid, mate. Band teams are the best. I would say that this team is certainly the... Possibly the best we've ever had. Just if you look at the... Then again, Treaty did get a lot of finals. Yeah, and if, then, if the team is playing on the floor against them all the time and they're not managing to intercept because they're not needing to, they just need to get punished for it. 
That's a really good pass. He nearly got that. But I feel like, to me, if they're doing nothing wrong, they shouldn't be punished. They shouldn't lose rating for doing nothing wrong. Multi-team against... That would be quite fun to do, actually, yeah. To test. Look at that little touch from Mihai, by the way. He's just absolutely ruined those two defenders. I know, look at us winning one so far and playing well. Like, so far, half-time, we could honestly be good value for even a second goal so far. Yeah, literally, the only time I see you go centre-backs... Good, good, like, they'll get a bump up if we got a clean sheet in him. Where is our left-back gone? Is he just tucked right inside? That's a nice idea again. Having the league format helped. Um, I think having... This is the first one of these Building a Nation ones we've done on stream where it wasn't a summer league. And I do think that's helped us to a certain degree as well. I think Hungary just being a slightly more... Then again, Norway is an established nation. So I think... I think with Norway, maybe we've just learned a lot since then. We weren't... We never really got the loan farm going in the Norway save as much as we have done with Treaty and now in Hungary. Uh, it's just been next level loan farmery. I think that's really what's done it. Getting the loan farm started earlier and expanding it to a much higher level. And having teams like Ferenc Farish as well is really helpful. Even though they've obviously become shit in this save at points. But uh, the transfer preferences has been helpful too. The Norway rules definitely prevented us from doing cool stuff as well. What a first half that is. Eight shots, seven on target. Could have had a second goal. That Liverpool have had two shots, none on target. And only their goalkeeper has really had a good game. That's exactly what we want. We're looking really up for this. Tuchera's had a great game. Velazquez, despite his injury, has been superb. Nobody's looking that bad. And now at halftime, Montiel and uh, Patrice have been... Basically, Norway had a rule where, firstly, you had to register your entire squad at the start of the season. But it meant that you couldn't play youth players because you couldn't register them. And you had a squad size limitation as well. Not only that, you could only have a certain number of foreign players. Uh, sorry, you had to have like eight or nine. I can't remember which one. Maximum non-homegrown players as well. It was a pain in the tits. But honestly, the homegrown thing wasn't that big of a deal. You could circumvent that by bringing in players when they were really young. The problem was the squad registration rules. So at the start of the season, you had to register like a 30-man squad. But it meant that if we signed any young players that we wanted to bring, we couldn't even play them to rotate them into the team because they'd have to be registered at the start of the season. There was no um, exceptions for like players under a certain age or anything like that. It was very, very annoying. And I think that really holds back Norwegian teams and young players especially. I don't know how that's supposed to help them. Next year, next year is 99% Malta. Obscure... Hang on, best way to increase Obscure Nation Nugent. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't think there's any way that you can increase the amount of them. Um, they just they either exist or they don't. Look at Durin again. Oh, Michal made the run. The wrong one. Get game time. I suppose so, but like I still think they'd be better off just getting actual game time in the first team. And I don't know. Yeah, I suppose in FM it doesn't really work because those leagues aren't even switched on a lot of the time. Most of those teams don't exist and the game just doesn't simulate them properly, sadly. But yeah, Malta is looking like the... No, sorry, Malta is almost locked in, I would say at this point. In fact, I'd be willing to say it is locked in. Most likely Sirens as the team, which I think there's a lot we can do with that. Ugh. Uh, why do you do T-Talks defend a track midfield? Is there a reason why you do it in Adwell? Um, There is actually, yes. So the reason is because I've noticed that, you know when you're giving team talks and suddenly a lot of your players get the bright green thing? I noticed that when you did it in the order of like 1, 2, 3 or 3, 2, 1, if you like, from left to right, right to left, when you went to the last one, it would often wipe away a load of the good motivation that you got on some of the players. But doing it that order seems to give you less chance of wiping it away. Now, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't actually affect it. But, yeah, increased chance of this morning. Uh, other than switching on the, the leagues themselves and maybe having the players turned on, not that I know of anyway. It's a shame about the National Alliance situation, but I think if Twitch is not going to let us use the word in chat, then it's basically not going to happen. Basically, the reason we can't do National Alliance is because every time someone uses the word in chat, Twitch blocks it because they're genuinely annoying me. Uh, as you'll notice from the fact that you, any of two, any of you that have just used the word would have had to have just had your um, messages confirmed by Hadrian. It's super dumb, but there's nothing you can do. So, yeah. Which is a shame, but I still like the idea of sirens. I like the, the badge is funny. It'll be fine for a little bit, but then they'll just revert back to it, unfortunately. It, it's very annoying. 
Like, even if we use it in one stream like we have today, we've approved it, you'll be able to use it for a little bit, but then Twitch will just change its mind again. Nah, it's, it's still... So, basically, you can sort of approve it for, like, one stream, but then it will just randomly just block it again. It's too good to use loan farming. Uh, nah, that's... I mean, there is ways to know, but it's more about intuition more than anything else. It's more, um... Careful, Rob. It's more about, like, just a sense I get with certain players. Sometimes it's just, like, their attributes are too good. I feel like this guy... For example, with Kenyatta, the, um, the guy we got from Gladback, I think he's too good for the loan farm. He's a guy I've got sort of earmarked to be our next, um... One of our next big centre-backs, Raposo. Oh, no! Baumeister stopped his run. Next year, when loan farming is impossible with the next rules. Um, so, as far as we're aware, there's been no change. I don't think there's going to be any drastic changes to stuff like that in FM, because otherwise the save carryover part wouldn't work that well. And as a result, I don't think that's going to be a big issue for FM24. If somehow we did find that was a problem, we could potentially actually start the save on FM23 and then transfer it. So, needless to say, I don't think that's going to be an issue for next year's game. Now, FM25 could be a very different story. We're not sure about that yet. Any face in the game, players? Uh, probably, yes. Um, not in this current team, I don't think. Uh, or do we? Mm, not sure. We know, there are definitely plenty of face in the game guys that we currently have under contract. They're just maybe not in the team right now. Next year. Well, it's, the loan rules change slightly. Or have actually already changed, but FM's been slow in implementing them. F24 is the last. The last what? It's not the last game, is it? It's just the last game on the current uh, game engine. Carpenu, yeah. Carpenu, Alaku, those are both facing the games. Oh, yeah. Carpenu actually is at the club, isn't he? Use the current database and not update transfers and ratings, though. Uh... True. The, I mean, that is a factor. Um... Edit the rules in F24 already. Well, we don't know if it's going to be hard-coded. We don't know how the rules are going to be implemented. For example, we can't change the rules of football in the editor, but you can change the rules of certain leagues and things. We, we just don't know. Um, it, but if it's hard-coded into the game, it could be a bit of a problem. It limits the number of players that you can have on loan to certain things. I can't remember the exact specifics, but... Well, this is the, the reason that I think that there's not going to be any drastic changes like that is because I think that would potentially break save transfer. And the fact that they've said that that is going to be the case makes me think that they're not going to mess around with that stuff too much. Multiple. Now we're talking. Well, we've, we've changed a few things that do sort of break the rules a little bit. Like that video I'm going to be doing soon where we've removed the points from the leaks. <laughs> Essentially made them irrelevant. And thus everything else is deciding the league titles and not the points. I'd love a bit of multi-ball. That'd be brilliant. Be like playing um, Peglin all of a sudden. Or oh, Gordon Raposo. Right, drop it off. There we go. We've started the second half just like we did the first. Mihal's into the box. Can he find the right cross this time? No. But we've still got possession. Which he's going to do for now. Just need that one good pass. Just to open them up a little bit. But we're doing really well keeping the ball. Romero whips it through and it's clattered away. But we need this to be one in the air and we don't win it. Should a good tackle on Valia here. I do miss away goals. The altitude was pretty game-breaking. Yeah, I think that's about as close as we come to fully game-breaking things. As Raposo makes that great run again. Could he fire it across for Durin? No, he can't. But there's a man on the edge of the box. It's Velasquez. Gets it out of his feet. It's a drop shot. Raposo is again on the ball. Back for... Oh, we've overplayed it again. Yeah, as long as we can sign Regan Booty, it's all going to be okay. Who's he with now? If we change his woodwork, so... Wow, RDF would win every game. To be fair, max six over 22 loans to foreign clubs would actually be fine. Um, that wouldn't affect us that much because we don't really loan to foreign clubs. But as far as I'm aware, there are other rules in it that affect it to domestic sides too. Uh, World Cup is irrelevant. Uh, we're not trying to win the World Cup. Um, we're trying to rank the Hungarian League. The, the national team is irrelevant to this save, which is just as well. Because <laughs> they're doing poorly. Um, we're currently second, though, in terms of coefficient charts for the league itself, which is the main factor here. Uh, which is bloody good, I'd say. The highest we've ever been in any of these saves is second. Oh, it's a nice idea. But Gateshead, nice. Okay. That's the other thing. Yeah, they're trying to bring that rule in for domestic sides. And, yeah. Points... So no, well, this is the thing. I'm going to be... I've got... Um, the video is going to basically be like, okay, so what if the leagues were actually dictated by card, number of cards you get or goal difference or goals conceded? Stuff like that. I reckon we could get Booty and Malta. 
We got him to Ireland. Didn't take that long. Cost us quite a lot. Yeah, Hungarian insides of... Didn't Keck Schmidt lose to someone quite um, awful as well? General Booty, Rowdy Beers, Peak Cage, De Coldest Crawford. This genuinely sounds like a key, um, a, a key and peel sketch. <laughs> Which is one of my favourites. Uh-oh. How is he in so much space? Oh, that's why, because he's offside. I don't think you can do... Um, basically, anything that exists as a league sorting rule, you could use as a league deciding rule. So all you do is you give the... Same amount of points for wins, draw, draws, and losses. So all teams will end up on the same number of points no matter what happens in there. And that, that therefore, it has to use the secondary sort to decide the league. So there's a lot I can do with that. And I will be. Oh, I'm totally cheering on Klaxvik. I have big... Th I mean, the fact is, they're going to be guaranteed Europe. I hope that the fact that they've guaranteed themselves conference league doesn't let them, like, take their foot off the gas a little bit and think, oh, we're kind of happy with that. I hope they really do go and give, oh, give Mulder a game. It'll be great. 100 million bonus. Damn. Yeah, I think it'll still take quite a while, but Belgium's definitely got the the infrastructure already to make it happen. Christ, my back, bruv. Oh. So I keep fidgeting because I just can't get comfortable with it right now. So. Oh. How are we doing in the second half? I feel like we've still been on top, but not as much. Oh, it went great on Saturday, yeah. No, it went fantastic. We had a great time. Genuinely, it was great. I couldn't think of anything I'd rather be doing that morning. Um, and credit to Pog as well. When she sent me through some of the pictures she took of me coming over the line, she also sent me a video, which I was not expecting. Um, I was like, oh, I'll try and run gracefully. And I saw it and went, wow, you run like a heffalump. Oh, it's Jura. No, what are you doing? Oh my God, what a chance that was again. Hello, Millie. We have been dominating genuinely. This has been a superb performance from us so far. Liverpool have not been up to it today. And if we could win both finals this year, it would really give us a chance of getting close to 22 points on the year. Yamin! Draws it over the crossbar. Video ready for channel. I did think about sorting that out, potentially. But I don't have it to hand right now. TV deals fluid. Uh, not really. And prize money barely changes. Like, we're the second best league in Europe and we get around about a million for winning the league. To give you an idea, anyway. Never seen that video. It's probably for the best, Mike. I can't imagine. You might think you look graceful. You just don't, do you? Jimot won. They did. They beat Roma. By a hat-trick of the manager's son who was playing for the other team. Oh, that's an oofy. Who was the other team? Because I assume they can't have been in the same nation. Flip prize money. Yeah, that... Don't worry about that one immediately, Nate. Um, Adrian, I've got... I'm trying to plan out the rest of the videos for the month. Because I've got maybe three more slots for August to fill. Maybe four if I get one done in one day type of situation. Oh, oh it was FC Copenhagen. I can see why they would lose to FC Copenhagen, though. They are a decent team. I, I like to think my form is good, but it's my upper body that tends to go. Uh, which might be explaining some of the horrendous pain I'm in right now. <laughs> uh, ooh, uh, Wem show. Thank you very much for the follow. Durin's got a chance to score here. Can he make it to Blast Durin? Blast it in. MTK2, Liverpool nil, and the big man does it on the big occasion, and the MTK fans go mental behind the goal. Dreadful from Liverpool. Oh, that is great. They got, look at this, dreadful from Liverpool. Great work from Raposo. And Durin, despite three players closing in on him, right foot, rifle into the top. Oh, gorgeous. Two goals for him in the final. This is, I feel like, the, the making of him. Like, he's done good things for us in finals before. But I don't think he's ever scored in a Champions League final. And if he has, it was certainly only the one. This is definitely his final today. I think this is him stepping up to the plate and becoming the guy. Watch us concede straight from the kickoff. Oh, well played again, Montiel. Despite the um, like lack of speed he's got, that was a great little interception. But yeah, he's still on a 6.5. He's done nothing wrong today. He's been absolutely flawless. Both him and Patrice having probably their finest centre-back pairing performance in a Champions League final. Jurin's got it again. Space. Look at this. The Ballon d'Or was definitely a thing. But for me, that doesn't mean anything to the team. Jurin's it again. The keeper's well out of his role. Wow. That was extremely aggressive from the keeper there. I I'm actually surprised he came for that. I was expecting Jurin to be in again. I think now it is just a case of... I mean, look how dominant we've been. We've... 
was really no excuses for not winning this game from here now. We're totally on top. The defending is perfect so far. Liverpool have had two little half chances that I can't even remember. It's great. Just let him run out of play. I feel like even the rep roll. Montiel is definitely up there as far as a manager goes. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see how Zurin does for the rest of his career at the club. As obviously he's still got a long way to go. Uh, whereas Montiel is kind of on the home stretch now. And obviously there's Janos. You never know. You never know what big Janos can do. He's, hey, you know Yamin might get suspended, chat. If he gets another yellow here. He might be suspended for the... The post-final. I guess that would carry into next season, wouldn't it? Or would it? <sighs> yeah, this game is... Uh, is this game in Cardiff? Suspended for the parade. Not allowed on the bus, mate. <laughs> Patrice has, to be fair, absolutely carried our defensive line this season. Uh, he sort of stopped making the mistakes that he was before. Would be suspended for the first game. Oh, fair one. I mean, not that it would make much difference, but... Yeah, she isn't even allowed to hold the champagne. No, he's not old enough. <laughs> He'll miss the Inter-Ireland final. <gasps> oh, good work from Gacic. Suspended for the Super Cup. Good point. I think we're playing Arsenal in that. It's a shame we can't throw this. I wish the Super Cup had been adap adapted slightly where they're going to need to do this, where the Conference League winner plays the Europa League winner. And Oh, no. Here it is, chat. 66th minute. It begins. Wait for the bullshit. So chair has gone down by himself with no one else near him. Uh, it does feel like that, Jeb. Yeah. In fact, it was two today. Just the two European finals today. We do like a European final. I believe this is the 18th European final of the save. <laughs> 18 European finals in 22 years is not bad. From the new draw. I think the one thing about it is the lack of drop down, I think, is actually helping us slightly because it stops the big ones from dropping down into them. And it means that there's like... I think it's given us more chance to win Europa Leagues. And I think that's why we've seen two Europa League wins in this save. Hey, sure. He's going to have to come off in a minute, um, I assume. Unless... Actually, he's not got an injury icon on him. So maybe it's just a knock, but there was no one near him. Money-wise, yeah, it's definitely helping. It's been like nine years before he signed it. Oh, yeah, that was... um. Oh, Christ. Ah, uh, it was a centre-back who had been on loan, got a red card... And then never served his suspension for the red card. So when I signed him back, like five years later, he was still suspended. And I didn't even realize why he was suspended when we signed him. Yeah, Tichera has he's done himself a mischief there, which is a shame because he's been fantastic. Tripped on a molehill. I actually did fall down a rabbit hole on Saturday. Um, I was overtaking someone and my foot went straight down a rabbit hole. <laughs> it was not very comfortable. Somehow it didn't hurt myself, um, but that could have easily been the end for me there. I mean, Tichero, I think he's getting his... He seems to be okay. He seems to just be running it off. The Wonderland. <laughs> Alice was too busy. What tactic? Uh, exclamation mark tactics, and you will get the whole pack. Did I win? No, I came 50th. Ah, Rabbit can go fuck himself. Build your hole somewhere else, buddy. <laughs> no, no, like an actual, real actual rabbit hole in a field. <laughs> in the middle of Wiltshire or Hampshire. Still haven't quite figured out which county Andover's in. Out of 49. How dare you? It was out of 71. 35... 35th in the men. Experience it. Maybe we're twins, Prince. We're telepathically connected. One person is it? Probably because everyone else was running on the um, the racing line, so to speak. But the guy in front of me was just starting to fade a little bit. And I was like, okay, I need to get past him before we get to this big hill. Because one thing I noticed is that a lot of people were walking the hills, which is fair. But I actually genuinely had the stamina to get up the hills without stopping. And I think it's because I do a decent amount of hill training and it really paid off. So happy with it. Les uh, Cucunot. Thank you very much for the follow. For the follow? For the follow. It's in Wilton, Hampshire. Ah, I knew there was something weird about it. Oh my God, what are Liverpool playing at? They are their own worst enemy here. Ephraim will ever implement it. Um, they shouldn't implement it because that would imply illegal activity. Because as far as I'm aware, you're not allowed to agree terms without a bid. Isn't that the whole point of tapping up? I swear, it's weird how often this seems to happen now, but I swear they weren't allowed to do that, technically. Um, but they just get someone else to do it for them, so it doesn't technically count. 
<laughs> How his entrance kicked in? How do you know? It might have been the back door seat. What am I, his architect? Where's his grand designs? Who am I, a rabbit Kevin McLeod? <laughs> what the hell, dude? I just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Prefer fresh machine. Fresh machine is solid. Solid county. Less rabbit holes there, too many, or so I've heard. Oh. Yeah, it kind of does actually with the chatting to the agent. Yeah, true. One minute to free. <laughs> it's like, hmm, something fishy is going on here. So Jera's actually doing surprisingly well. I think I might still bring him off because he's not got the, the energy levels anymore. And we're going to need that. And I think Romero actually could do with a break too. And Kenny's not been awesome either. I think now might be the time for big game Kevin. I had great fun. No, genuinely, despite how hard it was it was very 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 fun at one point i was just when i got a space when i was just sort of by myself and there was no one else around Howdy me partners. i was running along talking the to myself league final go they won just it just watched the youtube video and him kind of invested they actually won it we finally have a conference league jim beat roma it was great and danny thank you for the 34 months hope you're well and uh, uh daudry thank you for the follow hope you're well but no it was superb Despite the torrential rain, six inches of mud. Ah, oh, it's the best. Plus, I just really quite like the atmosphere around trail running. People are always just... I don't know if they're more friendly. I think it's just more of a kind of zany vibe. I like it. Two, yeah, we're tuning up in the final ourselves. It's, I don't think we've ever had a year. Oh, no, we did have one year with two final wins, didn't we? It was the year when we had the three finals and we managed to win two of them. Ironically, the one we didn't win was the uh, Conference League, as always. But this year, it's not to be. And I don't know what... I think we might get to 21 and a half points, potentially, with a win in this game. Which is the second best season we've ever had in the save in terms of coefficient points. It gaps us comfortably clear of everybody else as it's over the bar from Michal. Shoes, they were disgusting. <laughs> Luckily, pro strap. So, obviously, we were in a travel lodge. We booked an ex uh, like a, a late checkout so that I could come back to the hotel afterwards, grab a shower before we came back, which would have been awful otherwise didn't we didn't stop at fleet on the way back though because uh, we just weren't hungry but we did stop on the way down at fleet england got like 25 or 24 or something because england are england unfortunately but eventually the more hungarian sides we can get in europe to take points off the english side eventually that number will have to start coming down a lot of the points this year have been taken off of spain because they had one less team in europe technically even though they still got the points dilution as if they didn't Matt Bolt. Oh, I was not a Bolt by any means. I was a slow boy. It wasn't even technically a half marathon PB in the end. Uh, my watch said it was because it didn't count the rugby one because of the distance. The, they'd drawn the distance wrong in that one, I think. Oh, that should have been a ball through. Oh, Velasquez has done super well considering the injections, which definitely was only painkillers and was definitely not performance enhancing injections that we gave him. Don't, don't check his blood or anything like that. Tyson Bunny. Oh. No, she's a wrecked. But it's actually okay, because I haven't got a lot of miles on those, thankfully. I was going to buy a new set of road shoes, but I ended up buying a new running watch this morning, so I'll probably have to wait till next month for that. Also, has anyone experienced this? Amazon said I have to give a password to them to deliver the watch. Never had to do that before. Um, so that's a brand new one. Yes, Jimot took out uh, Real Sociedad and got all the way to win it. Lance Velasquez. This is the thing, though, because when I ordered my microphone, this obviously was far more valuable than the watch I just bought, and I didn't have to do that. Which is, unless it's a new policy, because this microphone was like three times the price of that watch. Got a really good deal on the watch, too. It was knocked down from, from like 250 quid. <clears throat> I can understand why it would work, but what if you're not in? <laughs> I guess I guess if they're not in, I kind of wouldn't want them leaving it somewhere, right? No, this just coming direct from Amazon. Um, luckily, Pog's in today, so it's actually going to be all right. It's just very convenient that Pog is actually here today. Asthma. I was going to say, I had a great time with my... Uh, didn't actually have to use my inhaler when I was on the run, thankfully. But I always do find that taking it before I go running definitely helps. Ten minutes to go. We're just absolutely chilling. Liverpool had one shot on target in the game. We've dominated here. Get something to work. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. You have to tell the receptionist or someone... Uh, if that's even someone that... Uh, it depends what you do, I suppose, right? Maybe just don't get that specific thing delivered to work, I guess. 
Is there anyone we could give 10 minutes to? Hmm. I don't want to give Pretzel the pleasure of coming onto the pitch. I don't think he deserves it, but I think, honestly, I think Radicic actually does. Velasquez has done a great, incredible 80 minutes here with his injections. And I think Radicic has proven to me this season that he's got the quality to actually get first team games for us. Yeah, so we're going to hopefully get an extra spot. Top two is definitely on the cards. No, Janos is on the bench. He's injured, unfortunately. Uh, he got an injury in the last game of the season. Here we go. Kevin, go on. Just keep driving. Oh, gorgeous. Durin! Oh, it should have been the Hattie. Uh, no, we only have Hungry loaded. But we do have the players from all the other leagues loaded. So we still have 110,000 players turned on. Brighton and Cube from Chicken Inn. It's the perfect deal. Oh, go on, Yaman. Just have a shot. Oh, okay. That's a, a bold call. Last bit before the season. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. You're right, I think. Because this is definitely going to be um, Gacic's last Champions League final as an MTK player. So I think the pleasure of giving him a, a standing ovation when he's substituted. <laughs> I love that we're that confident here with 10 minutes to go that Liverpool aren't about to screw us. But I, I think we're in that position now. Oh, Radicic now on the ball. Slipping it for goal. Goes for the goal. Flynn, thank you very much for the follow. And uh, uh, Danny Lindstrom, thank you for the follow as well. Flicked on. Oh, Valley is in. That's a great defending from Sogos. Really, really composed on the ball. That's really, really nice. Yeah, Valley a hat trick is definitely incoming. Yeah, we're taking the piss a bit by subbing the keeper off. But, you know, I think he deserves it. I think... A standing ovation from the fans. He'll win another Champions League, hopefully, anyway. And it'll be a nice little send-off for him. You know, he's been a really heroic player for us. Definitely the best goalkeeper we've had in the save since Royal Virginia. And I'm hoping that Liam Cooper can be that for us next season and into the future. Hopefully, he's not an FM bad goalkeeper. It's Bessie. It's Aunt Bessie as well. Wow, he might actually have an Aunt Bessie. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Cooper. Gacic probably will have to be sold, yeah. It'd be silly not to, really, because he's never going to be a backup next season because we've got other players like Akaveke who's happy to be a backup here. And I think Gacic moving on this summer would be for the best. With Cooper coming in, he's going to be the guy. Deluded Guna, thank you very much for the raid. You've joined us just as we're about to win, finally, another Champions League. It's been a long time since we've won one. It's been like a year and a half. No, it hasn't. It's been too long. Too many poor results in finals have happened for us lately. Sogos is just... Liverpool aren't even trying to get back now as Durin nearly gets on the end of it. Go on, Dala. Have a shot, buddy. Oh, he actually did. Okay. You don't actually get much for winning the Champions League. You get a bonus for playing in the game, and then you get the points for winning the match. But as far as I know, you don't get a bonus for winning it. Uh, a second in the season review videos. Oh, this is the um, theme tune from Outcast to Icons. The save I did with like um, on YouTube a couple of years ago. But with the intro I have set up, this was just on there, so I use it for like the brief swipe bit. It's it's loving Calibre again. I think. It's called Fighter. Uh, yeah, Love and Calibre. Of course. Uh, Pox has been messaging me and I've been ignoring her. Bless her. How dare I? How I grew up, especially before I have... Well, I mean, I can't show you them all because we've got 168 players out on loan. So that's not going to happen, unfortunately. We don't really have time to look through all 160-odd players. But they're doing well. And that's what we really need to know. Come on, right, drop it off. There we go. I think a third goal for us feels more likely than another one for Liverpool at this point, right? First was Heaven, Joao Virginia, then to Crazy Uniportia, then Old One, Super Mlad and Gadgets. Now it's time for Super Liam Cooper. True. <gasps> oh, I think he's definitely the one that showed the most out on loan. Although we might actually end up with a Soko back on loan, uh, back from his loan next season too, because he's on loan at Molfehavar, and of course they've been relegated. So I don't know if he's going to want to stay there. Although I think his loan is a two year, so he might not have a choice, which might help us a little bit. Just casually walking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that tackle was so vicious. I'm fairly certain he just split an atom in that guy's foot. Nuclear fusion just happened on that guy's foot right there. Sogos has just decided to murder someone. Oh, he actually could have been killed. I love how the referee's just like, play on, lads. It's fine. He's clearly said something to him. Sogos and I. <laughs> oh dear. That was dope. 
Theory will only take you so far, true. He's all about practice. And here he comes again. Oh, repose. Oh, the keeper's there again. Makes bullshit with us. Second tier side in Australia. He's finally been defeated. It's nice. Watch that be not the actual face in the game version. It's just a player that's gen with the same exact name. Uh, so this is the final. Um, and the other final is at the top of the chat in the pin message. Slip him in. Go on, repose. I want a hat trick for Duran in the final. That's the dream. Champions League hat trick in the final. Oh, that's a dreadful cross. But where are Liverpool? They've got nobody to track Dala. And now he's won us another corner. We're just going to kill this game off. I, I mean, we've never looked in danger. This has been probably the most complete performance we've had in a Champions League final up to this date. Because Liverpool are, I would say, probably the best side in Europe other than us right now. Hence why we're both in the final. But hey, this is a, a massive change up from the last time we played Liverpool in the final. Where we took the lead and they immediately pegged us back. Then again, we have... We knocked Liverpool out of Europe last year as well, I suppose. So we are definitely improving, I think. We're finding a stable setup. Atom splitting tackles. We've just been in total control. We've never looked like conceding. Um, that we don't think we've even had any bookings. We've just... Or have we? Velasquez. No, not even a booking today. Just clean as a whistle. How is Montiel on a 6.3 in an absolutely flawless defensive display? He's been punished so harshly here. It'll probably be his last Champions League final for us as well. Oh, here we go. Breakaway chance. Let's go. Go on, Michal. Blaze, get on your bike, buddy. Come on. You want this? He just doesn't care, does he? He's just like, nah. I'm happy with two. Wins a foul. It's just so perfect. <laughs> yeah, we'll get his determination up right when he's 36 years old. <laughs> He'll just be like, no, boss. Go away. They're just... They've handled this game so calmly. There's just... We've never been in any danger. Duran is still fighting to the end here as well, which is great. It's just, yeah. I think this is a big breakout moment for him in many ways. To proving that he could do it at the very, very top. Oh. Yeah, we, haven't had a, we haven't had a BS red card. Everything's just kind of gone well for us today in both competitions. Neither Hungarian side have even conceded a goal in the finals. And again, Sogos. He's been fantastic since he came off the bench. Having fresh legs in that spot has been superb. Like, we're going to win. We're not going to concede two goals from here. We've got two minutes to go. We can just relax. Might even stick it on be more expressive. I won't. I, I, even I wouldn't risk that at this stage. Just passing the ball around perfectly. Radicic has looked really composed coming off the bench as well. Um, <laughs> You're right there, Emmanuel. Just, just you drop your reading glasses there, bud. <laughs> just ignoring the ball. Yeah, Gacic is on. Uh, Gacic has come off now. Akaveke is on in goal. Mihal's into the box. Drops it across and it's not quite... I was hoping he might win a penalty there. Marsh and the Liverpool players very easy. Patrice dives in, wins the ball again. Glorious. Mihal, look at the touches. Oh, Radicic, slipping through. Oh, no, he went for Mihal instead. He should have gone back for uh, Durin. Dala playing in like his 630th game for the club now. He's just been superb. I think only Montiel could beat him as far as record performances, I think. Miller dropping, but we're just everywhere. Marshing them perfectly. Oh, hang on. Good defending. Even at this point, brilliant defending. He's offside anyway. Oh, superb scenes. Yeah, we took the keeper off. We let him have his standing ovation as he walked off the pitch. It's going to be his last appearance for MTK, most likely. So we figured now is the time. Let him celebrate in the Champions League final and get all those rewards. Kevin battling again. But Patrice is just there. They've been absolutely unstoppable, those two, as a defensive pairing today. And there it is. MTK2, Liverpool nil. We finally grab our fourth Champions League of the save and the 50-50 record is back we've lost three sorry lost four won four what a year for hungry though that was just so, that was almost boring in a different way where we just completely controlled it we never looked in danger and here he is montiel to lift the trophy the last one of his career probably as well come on yeah gadget gets his ovation he can now go celebrate with the lads anyway come on I might have to go grab myself a lemon Fanta to celebrate. Oh, that is gorgeous. Suspended for a year. How is that possible? Did he say something naughty? Ha. Ah. Daring, I know. Mixing things up a little bit. Congratulations. Well done, lads. Montiel does finally finish with a six point... Keeps a clean sheet in his Champions League final. Gets a 6.6 .6 where we don't concede a goal. And he was absolutely flawless the entire game. Madness. He's been... Absolutely done dirty there. Oh.
websites to look at uh, websites to look at i don't know what you mean by websites um as for any gaming pc it depends what you want to get really uh what kind of games you're looking at obviously fm i presume but like you don't really need a high-end gaming pc for that so liam cooper is back he will be our starting goalkeeper for next season he isn't as good technically as gachich but he has the room to grow and his uh physicals are on a different planet compared to gachich now and more importantly he's 14 years younger than him he's a monster um to be honest with you you don't really need that much at that point i don't really know i haven't looked into ga like gaming pcs for a while really since i bought this uh, built this one and that was a while ago like 2019 we're talking right harold bishop time let's we'll do the bin of search in a second although i suspect we won't find any right a big old harold bishop my friends and a three nope and a five and a four and a three and a two and a one and give me them harolds boys the minute you get up like you did <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. You're right. I feel like Harold should be recognized as a club legend, but the game just doesn't value his input. They don't realize what he's done for us. Medals for the Champions League win. Did Janos get one? Yeah. <laughs> Janos just got himself a Champions League winning medal. There you go. First one for Janos for the save. 16 years old. Champions League winner medal. And one for Kenyada. And Radocic definitely deserves it. He played in the final, admittedly. And Janos did technically play as well. He actually did play like 10 minutes in a Champions League game. Janos being mentored. Of course he's not. <laughs> we don't want to ruin him. We want him to be a good player. Ingram Hell's future legend. Nice. It did. We managed to win both finals. We already knew about that. That was fine. Oh, Lopetegui's gone from Wolves. The season hasn't started yet. Wait, has he gone to like Saudi Arabia or something? I'm just assuming at this point. Loads more money there. We're going to have to pay out most of that money to the players, though. Boring. Uh, but we are a little bit better on the finances. We'll get the 50 million in sponsorship, but we are going to need to sell Pretzel still. Okay, right. Let's just go to the next day so we can actually look at things properly. Cool. Right, coefficients. For the year, 21.5 in the end. FFP issues? Uh, no, fine. We're 119 up above. We're all going to be okay. Oh, FFP issues for Wolves. Sorry, I thought you meant us. <laughs> Wait, what happened with Wolves then? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, we'll have to ask Dave. Dave will know. Dave knows everything. Well, when it comes to Wolves anyway. Oh, get in. That's mad. If he's been sat... Ooh. Holy shit. Okay, fair enough then. Wolves are broke. Wow. Hang on. Aren't they owned by like... Or is it... They're not in the situation where they're like broke in terms of what they've got capital-wise, but they can't spend anything. Gary O'Neill. That is extremely under... Uh, I, I liked Gary O'Neill at Bournemouth. I think he did well, but I think that actually I still think Bournemouth have done the right thing. It's harsh but understandable. I don't know if that would be a good signing for them. I, I think that would be an extremely underwhelming... Uh, replacement frankly right okay let me do i'll update the um finals so we do roma nil giamot one and then uh it's a shame i can't do like line breaks in here but we'll just have to accept that mtk two liverpool nil boom right i'll put that in chat and then i will go over to here and now youtube says verify it's you i'm like what do you mean bruv Whatever could you mean? There we go. Get rid of that. Pool. Sorted. We back. Uh, get rid of that. Cool. Now the finals are pinned. It's just a bit confusing, but there's nothing we can do. We did win both. Yes. How many Mitrich? Uh, nothing, currently. Uh, as far as I know, they haven't come back in with another bid yet. Uh, no, I'm not saying they don't do that, Aiden. I just feel like I can. they did still massively overperform under O'Neill. As did Fulham under Marco Silva last season. I just... Mm, get Mick McCarthy. Q Mick McCarthy dot GIF. You all know which GIF I mean. Oh, that's a really good season. 21.5 points. It's still nowhere near on the level of England. The ironic thing about that, by the way, is that it was Italian versus Hungarian side there. H Hungarian versus English side there. And I suppose English versus Dutch side there. But England just do so much better in the groups. Iriolo is a very highly rated manager. I I'm curious to see what he's going to do there. Right. Mick careless with the McCart. Now we're talking. Exactly. 
Mick was doing eyebrows long before Angelotti came near. It's also the first year in like five years that we haven't had uh, Blaz win the golden boot. He's slacking. I mean, he's not. He's still scored a, an obscene amount of goals in the Champions League. But considering he got 16 that year, 16 that year, only 13 this year, and he got 18. That's actually his worst Champions League goal scoring season. Remarkably. And he's worst, nearly his worst for us in the league as well. Mitchell, uh, they didn't get that far. If that's what you mean. Do not hate me. But they, did have, they do have this dude here. Magnus Pettersson. Uh, Sam's AFC. Thank you very much for the follow. Or Sam... SAFC, thank you very much for the follow. I'm guessing that's... Is that Sunderland? Man? I don't know. German Turks from Bayern. I believe Erzturk was, yeah. He's quite a good player, actually. Obviously, we'd not what we'd want to sign, considering he's 30 years old, but... Miko is bored. Fiona! Philip Sassilva, yes, but... I think... I suppose. But the difference is, if... We... They'd be sacking Silver from a position of a top half finish. And I do think it is slightly different, but... And it would depend on the replacement as well. I don't think I'd be happy with that as a replacement. Uh, Durin gets in there. Baumeister, Patrice in there as well. Chichera, Gacic as well. Great to see Wood's goalkeeper of the year. That's really pleasing to see him win goalkeeper of the year. That's nice for him. He does still have the one year left on his deal, which obviously he will sell him this, this window. I don't think we'll get much money for him. Um, but still... He's a phenomenal keeper. Hopefully, we can find a club for him to finish things off. Uh, Kick around today. Shjan in there. Right, okay. So, what I think I want to do first is wait for those scout reports to come through from those centre-backs we already looked at. So, we can take a look at those guys first once we've got them fully scouted. It shouldn't take long. And then, hopefully, the window should open soon and we'll start getting some bids on Pretzel too. We'll also figure out if we did get the where the bonuses lie. Uh, ooh, Harry Devoy. Thank you very much for the follow. B-. minus. It is a shame that the season has ended as the strong run of form. We, we won the Champions League. B minus. B minus. We won the Champions League. B minus. That is mental. And we'll get the points played out as well. There you go, Chatter. Lovely old job. Problem solved. We should have won it twice, to be fair. You see, oh, does it? Oh, nice. Invincible, yeah. We've done... Uh, well, it depends on what you mean. Like, because we think of Invincible as being perfect season, but we've done, like, an unbeaten season several times, yeah. Drew Madrid. Ah, true, yeah. B minus. <laughs> we are the B minus champions of Europe. Exactly. Uh, right, let's just get rid of that. Let's just see. Yep. No, there it is. You're right. Giamot now added to the... So we got eight teams in Europe next season. For the first time ever, we get eight teams in Europe. Five in the Champions League. And Giamot... They're no mugs. They are really no mugs. Ferenc Varos from Budapest Honvéd in the conference uh, in the Europa League, and then Kekschmet. Hmm. Kekschmet are decent, but now we have just taken their goalkeeper, which is concerning. Um, I wonder if we get another boot bump on rep. That's still dope, though. Yeah, Uipest have just been shit, basically. Uh, not as shit as Malfair, of course. We'll take that. Most we sold a player for, uh, I think it's 106 million, which was Bobby. Now, that might change this summer if we get lucky because we are looking at a big sale. Oh, let's see. Hey, we got up in followers this time. Give them a new goalkeeper. I mean, we can try, but only if they want one. We might be... The best case scenario is that we can get Soko back from Molfehavar and then loan him maybe to them. Potentially. Well, the big achievements today is we've got to get Pratesel sold. We also need to find his replacement. Uh, which is what's coming up next. We'll do that as well. Prioritize fun. Well, we can't loan them Gacic because he'll never go on loan to them and they'll never actually bid on him. That's the problem. If only it was that easy. Uh, we always have to say that, don't we? Yeah, that'll be fine. No promises. All good lads. Lovely old job. Best kit. Thank you for the follow. And Blazed Vine as well. Sorry, the Blazed Vine. Blazed Vine. What am I saying? Uh, we did that one. Right, let's do Binner. There won't be anyone for that. Presumably. Anyway. Oh, that's the club, isn't it? They do actually have players, to be fair. We'll leave for big clubs. Um, The best thing you can do is... Bear in mind, what's my Discord? It's just exclamation mark Discord. Um, that's the Discord. We've got... Hang on. 
you can't always stop players from leaving. Well, I mean, you if you have control of their contracts, you could, you don't have to sell them. Um, don't be afraid to upset a player sometimes. They will just get pissed at you for a month or two, and then once the drop, once the interest is dropped, they'll be happy again. It, it's not as simple as you have to sell them every single time. Um, always try to have a senior member of the team talk to them. Doesn't always work, but, you know, can't go wrong. Um, if they've got any kind of influence in your team, tell them that they're an influential player. That usually works as well. Uh, uh, what's going on, Noodle Soup? I'm a bit confused. Um then binner change card they might they were definitely blue last year weren't they this is a different binner one other thing you can do is if you get a player that you know that you're always going to be able to keep so someone that you can say they're an influential player then when they do stay when those players then come to you if they're in the same social group as that player tell them that that player was happy to stay and that often will actually appease them as well until they actually get offered. Yeah, I, I find it's not that difficult to hang on to players if you don't want to. Generally speaking, we've been okay. There's very few scenarios where we've lost players that we didn't want to lose. It does happen occasionally. Um, yeah, let's go to South Korea. Chelsea seat Pretzel. 49 million is never happening, but it's good that they're interested to start with because with the fact that there's 13 clubs interested, 14 clubs now, we can play them off against each other. Hopefully bump up the price to where we want to be. Now, it might not be as much as 100 million since uh, he's only got one year left on his deal, but we definitely need to get rid. Uh, so, Aston Villa. Um... We have sold them a few players in the past. Don't think they've still got any. They do have a guy called Wilson Maguangi, though, which is a cool name. Dean Street. Uh, let me find you. Let's find a guy who's been here for a while so we can see how their path has been. That'll do, 11 years. So we can see what they've been in the last 11 years, which is just straight up Premier League. I think they have played in the Conference League. They're Montez Allen. Oh, yeah. They do have Montez Allen. Good for him. Yeah, it's much harder to sell for players a lot of the time, I think. Just help you a bit. Yeah. I mean, we've done that. I mean, to be fair, look at the amount of players we sold to Manchester United that never really played for them. Dylan Chambers, Tex-Mex. Oh, I do like a bit of Montez Allen just because he's half, Sal half Salvadoran and half South Korean. What a pairing. That's why his name is Montez Allen and not Alan Montez. It's so cool. Conference League final. Uh, that's the final. Uh, it, the, the result is pinned to the top of the screen. Wow, three different guys tying on 12 goals. Really more, actually. Oh, close. Yeah, we finally got a Conference League under our belt, which is nice, which means extra points and extra all sorts next year. Salvadoran spies. They're everywhere. Or so I'm told. Oh, two-year loan extension date's coming up. So we'll have to get that sorted. There shouldn't be that many this year. I don't think. Facilities downgraded. Oh, really? Okay, this should be fun. Watch the board say no. We just won a Champions League. Watch the board say no to us upgrading the facilities. Because they just will. Next year, I mean, I think it's just such a fun save to do. If you've got the time and want to invest in a long-term save, wow. Wait, are we actually going to get... Wait, are we actually going to get taken over? Surely not. That never happens. Right, anyone interesting? Oh, that's this year, isn't it? I'll try one more time. Just have a look at Yokotake. Probably not. I think with the players we're going to look at, I think we'll probably be okay letting Yokotake go. And the rest of them mostly are meme signings or players that have just never quite lived up to it. Let's just uh, offer them out one more time, just in case. Someone might want to buy them right at the end. Staff contracts, uh, they're already being offered. Youth contracts, those guys aren't that good, Barnett or La. Actually, uh, we'll get Doff to handle him. Because I think like, he should be good enough. Oh, Bodder. Right, go on. Now, oh. actually surprising. Mm, I'm starting to like Freddie Pedersen more and more. Particularly, as I swear other teams have bid on him and he's not moved. Unflappable as well. It's a very broken clock. I'm suddenly like, try something. Mm. Yeah, model citizen as well. Unflappable personality. He might be one to look into. Now, obviously, the money situation in the summer is going to be a bit fucky until we get the pretzel deal under our belt. Right, let's see if any of these guys are in this report. The Cooper, take off I want to make the sure. Wow, really? Okay. Maybe he's not actually as good as I thought. Uh, Rami Aura, thank you for the follow. Uh, so we did Aston Villa. Right, okay, let's uh, 
First, first things first, let's just sort by reasonable. Actually, no. If there's any like, genuine... Wow. Hang on. I just... I, I want a second opinion, and I want it from Gonzalo now. Maybe he's just on the massively low end of all of these, but I simply don't believe that. What about Ebeling? He's quite expensive. Nah, I'm sorry. I want a second opinion on you as well. They look too good from what I can see here. For me to do that. Surya, we, we can get rid of now. He's the guy with the really high tackling, but nothing else. These guys are really quite expensive and not that good. I think this is a lot of players that we... Oh my god, wa look how much Wangser's dropped off. Like a serious amount. McGregor, he's already joining us. So we can remove him from the shortlist. Uh, Gualampur, was we were interested in him because cheap and Iranian. I say cheap. Yeah, he's quite cheap. Right, what about the other top? This guy here. Krijanovic. I do like him a lot. But maybe just shortlist for the moment. Until we get the money situation sorted a bit better. Dylan Galev? What about PSG? He's got good mentors, I suppose. I just want to see if there's anyone I want to get rid of. Sturmgratz have definitely produced some good players, and he's already joining us as well, so I'll get rid of him. He's fine. Absolute beat of a badge. Oh, I missed one. It, it's just... It's just the football. It's... Presumably, they call it the Nivea for men. And then they have Nivea for women, which is the women's team, right? Hello, Pog. How go, Chief? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's Tom Bray as well, but he's just so expensive. That's the problem with him. I'll shortlist him, but he's so expensive. PNG has to look in it, yeah. What in the graphic design is my passion is going on here? Uh, I'm not super convinced by him, although it might. Golden Generation, actually decent user. I know. It's, it's all gone wrong in, in the best possible way, Harv. Things are happening to us that are correct. Stolen. Whoa. Hang on. It, oh, it's reasonable. Why, why didn't... Oh, loads of these guys are still reasonable. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize we were still scouting these guys. Right. Let's get that sorted. Now we can deal with the two that are left. Galev does look quite good, actually. I think you might be the problem, Harv. It was your fault all along. Uh, Jerry, I think we've already kind of decided he was not good enough. Nope. No more uh, chicken nugget situations. We went to McDonald's the other day and there was the correct amount in the packet, was there not? Mm. Terrible times. You've got stuff all over your glasses. Oh, no, Looks like foundation or something. Oh, Real Madrid admire Juran Show. They can continue to admire him from a distance where you will remain. Uh, oh, my Lord. Oh, there's just all of these. I assume none of them said yes. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, financial update is still not great. We'll get the uh, sponsorship money and it'll all be okay. Nobody wants Holly. Right. That's the next day. Prince will set for a move to PSG. Okay, that's less money, lads. Or is it? No, that is less money. Saga de set to develop. That's all we want. Best player in Europe as well for Blaz. 38 and 33 will do that. Yeah, they can look, but they can't touch. Right, so we want 2nd of June for the loans. That's the key part. We can't forget to do that. Don't let me get distracted. I must get to the 2nd of June and sort the loans. Then hopefully the bids will start coming in. Yeah, it's, it's annoying that we didn't get a boy, but Man United paid over 100 million for him, and there's no way we were going to do that. Right, we're still on June 1st. Okay. Oh, bot go on, bother. You've always got some... There we go. Oh, they've got a Somali dude. And he's actually kind of good. Check out the club badge. Oh, is there another one? <laughs> nah, I'm going frog. Looks froggy to me. I love it. It's like Soviet Union era froggery. Big fan. I know Janos is not going to be loaned out. He'll get enough football here for us to develop him. And I just don't trust the loan system with him. But yeah, look at that. Omar Mukhtar. Somalian. If he doesn't end up being like a Somali international for a long time, I don't know who is. So I like him. Bodo never let us down. Norway never lets us down with these loan reports, uh, these reports ever. Crazy bizarre. I feel like they'll have to improve that, right? The biggest front. Oh, yeah, he will have a Norwegian. And that's the worst thing. They always do. Like, stay. Be interesting, Omar. Come on. Represent the homeland or something. Take over on the rock. Oh, my Lord. Ah. We're never going to have a takeover, are we? It's just going to be the same shit every single year. Oh, my God. It's the 2nd of June. 
Christ. I nearly progressed through the 2nd of June, chat. But I didn't. Now, it might not say that they're going to be two-year loan extensions on the screen, but I promise you they will be. Right. How many of these have we got? <laughs> okay. So, first things first, I'm going to have a quick wee break so I can go grab myself a lemon Fanta and prepare myself for what's about to happen. Uh, which is that. That is about to happen. All of that. Now, obviously, not all of them will be extendable. Most of them will be, though. So, P break for me, Whiz Quiz for you, and Lemon Fanta for me as well. Back in a sec, friendos, and back pain. Most importantly, back pain. I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat. Yeah, so Bro didn't play a lot. Uh, it was Adrian Lopez. Um, 100 appearances in his career. How I find this guy... Oh, that's simple. He was on that wonderful list I always worked down, which is foreign-born Premier League players. Adrian Lopez. Oh. Right. It's time to grim... Oh. Grimace through the pain. And get going on these. We should be able to offer these extensions out now. Yep, we can. Okay, cool. But luckily, Spacebar is our best friend here. So you're facing the game in real life. It does feel a bit like that, doesn't it? David Lazar. Probably if I was more sensible, I would have filtered this by um, the players that some of them can't be extended because obviously their contracts are going to be up this summer as well. Fine, fine, fine. No, it's a Phantom Lemon. It's really quite nice, actually. It's decent. Boris players. Like I said, you can see the progress here if you want to, but I'm not going to show them all individually. There is 166 of them. That would be ridiculous. Um, but you're more than welcome to look at the things as I go through them right now so you can actually see that exact thing on this screen. Who has mid-journey? Um, well, I have mid-journey, and Hadrian definitely has mid-journey. We could do some mid-journey prompts while I extend these loans. Jeremy Pino? Ah, uh, it depends. Don't they play in very different positions? Isn't also, I'm surprised that not... Like, Leeds, um seem to have kept their squad together quite well. Or maybe that's just me. But when I was looking at... I watched the highlights of the Leeds-Cardiff game and I was surprised to see a lot of that squad was just the same squad. I'd like to try Tango at the Pepsi Max flavours, but unfortunately they don't do them in caffeine-free, so I can't. Because I... Trust me, right? I had a... Um, one of the gels I used on Saturday was um, a special, like, one I'd saved specifically for that. And it's... Um, 
It has 300 milligrams of caffeine in it, which is a fair amount. And particularly when you're not used to drinking caffeine, I was having like heart palpitations for the rest of the day. I regret it. Although I don't because it helped, but bugger me. It wasn't a great feeling for the rest of the day. Oh, no, 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 no. Not to clubs. Feel alone. Oh, did they really? Because I saw they had like Nonto. I saw like the usual suspects I would expect to see. I saw Melier still there, although that's not really a surprise. I think his stock has fallen a fair amount over the last few, well, over the last season especially, right? Picked up the day. Ah, I see. Now for the full one. Yeah, not going to do that anytime soon. I kind of want to do some 10Ks just because they're fun. And I want to get faster at those before I go back to them. I am going to do some more trail running because I actually really do enjoy just going out on the trails. Hence why I bought that watch that actually has maps available on it. Will Cock Ringling go out once more? I hope he does. Highlight multiple. Nope. You have to do it one by one. Because obviously, it would be silly if the game had um, the ability to uh, extend multiple players' contracts. But no. Uh, trust me. Everything you could say about what could be extended here, trust me. We've looked at every possible outcome. The only way to do this is one by one. It is absolutely mad. There isn't just an extend all loans button, but here we are. Uh, hopefully these guys at Halalash don't say no. That could be a problem. I think we'll be fine because... Now, what I will say is I have sent this to the right people. And I, it's been run up the chain as far as I'm aware. So you never know. FM24 might actually have this feature. Who knows? We, I know people have seen it. And that's that's helpful. Yeah, Ang Angal Ayala, what a hero he is. Although to my oh I don't know Mike is Mike is extremely good at his job I'll have you know man's always asking me whenever we find bugs he's like have you got save file for this save file for that man's on it trust me I miss that man I haven't seen him in ages uh, a bit of that too we're getting there the other reason I have to keep I always actually select the play wait oh his contract's expired fair enough the reason I always select the player I'm talking about uh, doing is well because sometimes this screen will just randomly reset yeah last week standing I can but not right now. Um, we won the league, if that helps. As we have done every year for the past 20 years. Um, but I can't leave this screen at this point. Not while I'm extending these loans. It could be a while. But like, how hard is it to just have a, a, an option? Particularly as the screens clearly have the functionality to allow you to select multiple things and perform an action. As we see from multiple, all the screens that let you do that. So the fact that you can't do it with loans does seem kind of strange to me. Because all you need... Or failing that just the option to select multiple players and propose loan extension should that be available to them right it seems mad to me that you can't so, so for example both of these dude here oh wait, sorry, sorry i forgot you can't even select multiple players on this screen anyway so even if i wanted to i couldn't because it blocks it actively blocks you from doing it because reasons i just i don't understand it but yeah, the reason I select players is in case I click the wrong button and it takes you off of this. Sometimes this screen will resort itself. Or not even resort, but it will like reshuffle. To the point where you're all over the screen, you forget which player you're on. Uh, Hussein is joining them on a permanent, so that's fine. So well, the squad screen. You can, but the loan uh, proposed loan extension doesn't show up there. Oh, sorry. It doesn't show up consistently. But yes, you can. But we tried that and it doesn't work. Um, essentially. So the moment you select multiple players, it removes the option to propose loan extension, even if both players are eligible for a loan extension to be proposed. Don't ask me why. It's just automatic. I'll tell you what, right? If Wilson Roberto comes back from his loan at Uipest, it might solve a lot of problems. I'm not saying I want him to come back, but I do think he's an absolutely phenomenal cent... Phenomenal? <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal centre back. What do you get out of loan farm? You get the league better. You get the league to improve, which is the whole point of the save. So if they've got good players, they get better. They also sign better players because they have better players. So if their squad has better quality players in it, it makes them be able to sign better players as well because those players... You know, like when you're trying to sign a player and the, the player goes, oh, your squad isn't good enough. This prevents that from happening to the AI teams in your league, essentially. And they then they know what to get better teams together, which means that they don't have to rely on your loans as much in theory. Although, frankly, they do seem to no matter what you do. That's the whole purpose behind it. And I think that's the best way to build a nation because it's definitely been the most successful in this save. Although there's a lot of loan extensions to come today and I'm super worried that a lot of them might say no. But I don't think we've got much to worry about with a lot of the guys that are in the Champions League, especially now the Giermott players that are in the Champions League as well. I think all the guys that are in Europe should be okay. Players in the league. Yeah, so we have the league set up in a way that means that we can't... Because um, you know in a normal save, players that play 
are on loan, can't play against your parent club. So we've enforced a rule in the league that means that they have to be able to play against you, like they do in Norway, because otherwise it would make the league too easy. So in la last year's save, we did the same thing in Ireland, but we had we didn't have that enforced because we didn't know how you could do that. And it meant that whenever we played against our other, our other teams in the league, half the time they couldn't even field a proper squad because they had so many loanies and we play we'd be playing against like grayed out players and stuff it wasn't very fun it was a bit too much of a walkover uh so this year we switched things up a little bit these two can't be extended and now we've enforced the situation from norway into our league and i think it works really well uh he's got one year left on this deal he's got one year left on this deal god jan elshik i remember when he was really highly rated but now that they're in europe he should be okay to go back out on loan maurice Berger, that's the canadian dude Ah, so this is the guy I was on about. Uh, Tiamoko Asoko, the goalkeeper at Molfeva. I don't think he gets an extension there. But that could be ideal. So if he does come back, we could try and get him a loan to Kekschmet. Because that would be really, really good business for us anyway. Since we've taken their goalkeeper back from them. Who was absolutely a worldie. But clearly wasn't a worldie enough for them to do any better than coming eighth in the league. So maybe they're not up to scratch. We're actually getting pretty close here. Uh, Karamoko. Radovanovic is another one, by the way. Look at the state of Radovanovic. Four and a half stars now in this team. He might actually require a new actual contact soon. Oh, I can't wait to look through some of these uh, mid-journey prompts now. Roberto Lara. God, he's been here for a, a long time. I do wonder who our longest serving loanee is. It has to be one of the guys from like Halibas, surely. But I do wonder if we're going to have any other players that are just hanging around in the second tier vibing. Tell you what, Kesh may have got Manier uh, or Manier as well. We've got some okay players here. Mid journey having a moment. Oh god, I hate when it does that. The worst one is it when it does the waiting to start thing for bloody ages. Uh, Abdullah eBay. Wow, he plays for Spartacus. No wonder though. He's worth 43 million at Spartacus. Bloody hell. Hot damn. Bit that as well. Zhivkovic, right, that's a key one. Also, we've got to extend to Dick for two years. Always important. Lovely. Uh Ajayi. We must be getting pretty close. Has he retired? Uh, yes. Uh, well, not retired. He's going to be leaving this season um, because he's losing his... Basically, his physicals have declined to such a point now where he's just... Well, we're a bit concerned. Plus, we've got a player that we want to start playing. Liam Cooper is a phenomenal keeper and he's only 21 years old and I wanted to start giving him some football, basically. The last version doesn't need to work. Uh, what was the method from last version? Um, I'm sure we can definitely come to a solution for you because it, it definitely does work because we're doing it right now. Um, but there's a reason why we're doing this on the 2nd of June as well. You can um, get more success with extending loans on the 2nd of June for some reason. It doesn't, sorry, it's not always the 2nd of June. It's whatever the 2nd of June is compared to your loan contracts. So if the loans expire on the 30th of June like ours do, then the 2nd of June, so essentially 28 days beforehand, you can get... Also, it will allow you to get two-year loans instead of one. We don't know why that happens. We think it's a bug. We don't care, though, because it's working. All of these loans should be two years for some reason. But it's the only day that you can apply these and it will trigger a two-year loan extension rather than a one. But it's so damn good. Oh, we're nearly done. I say nearly done. We've still got to go through the point of accepting all of these and hoping that they don't turn them down, but I think we should be okay. I'm worried about the ones that like Molfeheva and Uipesh, but other than that, I don't think we'll have much problem. Watch all the Haladash players just come back out of nowhere. And one more. Slobodan Kovacevic. Done. The rest of these guys are all for... Or hang on. Yeah, they're all for next year. But next year will be a nice easy year for us. Oh, it, it could happen, James. It absolutely could. That's interesting because someone else I know did it in Finland, I believe. And that's a summer league, I think. And they managed to have success with it. So there must be other factors that are involved in it too. And they've said, no, we've literally just won the Champions League and you don't want to... Thank you, morons. Uh, so Dan Singh's not got any interest. Jakob's not got any interest. Palacios, okay, no one important so far. Liao, that's fine. I think these guys are on loan at teams that just got relegated from the second tier. So getting Liao back is not the end of the world because I want him to play for a better side anyway because I think he's really good. Uh, so that's fine. St. Pierre Coppolani didn't get any. Dick Sucks didn't get any either. Plan view facilities work. Okay, cool. Now we have to make sure that hopefully these actually get extended. This is the fun part. Because there's always going to be some players that randomly turn down the loan extension for literally 122. And you'll see, end of next season. So it does still work as long as you do it on the second. Okay. I hope that Yao does better with Vashash next time. 
because I think he's the right place for him. But I don't know. Uh, usually these are okay. It's, it's the problem is when we get the the next screen once we've accepted all of these offers, and we start seeing the whole. I love how some of them are actually paying as well. I think there's a few of these contracts that are end of this season because I think that's where their contracts expire. Uh, 850 players on low. I wish it was 800. That'd be great. It's not quite as much as 800. It is, uh, it's, I think, 167 at the moment. I think that's the number we're up to. Uh, let's try to offer loads. Uh, that does still work. That's the method we've used in this safe. So I can assure you it does work because this is how we got these players out on loan. So nothing has changed there. Um, the thing where you offer them up for loan... They all say no, and then they should have a wanted symbol. That definitely does still work. And I'll show you, in fact, later in the stream when we um, get to the 15th, because we'll have some new players joining us that are young and will be going out alone. <gasps> you got a... Basil, it's a birthday. It's a birthday, Basil. Hit me with some H -H 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 -B 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 -B's chat over Basil's birthday. Things you'd love to see. Uh, bit of these. Got it. it does take a while. To... The reason I'm not just, like, spamming this is because just in case there's a cheeky little... Um, other news article that sometimes sneaks itself in. Also, sometimes the randomly, the accept button will, like, move around a little bit. Last thing was to accidentally do the wrong thing. V free loans a small club. Uh, no, I don't think there is, because you don't know how much they want until you bid. The only way to get those free loans, really, sometimes you just get them, is... <laughs> Us watching Matt do his loans. In it, though. Oh. But yeah, the only way you can really guarantee they're going to be free is if they're from a parent club. So say you get a, like, a, say how we had Liverpool at the start of this save as our like uh, daddy club. That was fine because we were able to get those for free pretty much guaranteed. Some clubs will just let you have the players for free, but it doesn't happen very often. And more often than not, they actually want things that are entirely unrealistic. As you notice, whenever we went hunting for any lone players. Do you sure you want to extend dick loan? Good stuff. Hunger Rose is out. Um... The Europa Conference League was a bit close. Could have gone either way. I still think they were the better side and created better chances, but it was quite close in XG. We absolutely deserved our win. Uh, we played Liverpool off the park. They had one shot on target in 90 minutes. I think for an XG of like 0.3, whereas we had like 2.5. We've so far designed... We've got past June, June Tooth. No, you want my players, even if they're decent and good. Um, but there's other factors that go into it. It's not just a question of the day you're doing it. It can be down to... So, hang on. What season you're in, what league you're in, which players you have loaded as far as that goes. Um, what are the quality of the players you're loaning out? Do you have any existing players on loans with those clubs? Uh, I think one of the mistakes people make is that they started too late. They wait until they have good players that they want to loan, and then they can't get loans for them because they have no existing relationships. That's, yeah, in the Champions League final, that's actually a pretty stonking result. I think it was quite 2.5. Uh, no, I tell a lie, it was actually 2.74. Absolutely half, yeah, for sure. Because we've got four Champions Leagues, two Europa Leagues, and a Conference League. So that's seven titles and 18 finals. Due to that, we finally got to it, Inferno. After all these months. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty comprehensive final. We just destroyed them. And all these players on loan. Um, well, the same way you send another player on loan. There isn't like a... You just send them out for loan. Like, you apply, um, offer them out. Just offer them out. You can select multiple players and offer them out for loan, bear in mind. You don't have to do it one by one. Once they're on the, the loan list and they're on the dev list with the correct settings that you want, then you can just offer them out as a group. It's much easier. You'll sometimes get bids from other clubs that you don't want to loan them to, but then you can either cancel them or if they're on the dev list, it will just cancel them for you, which is kind of cool. The buzzer! Thank you for the follow. Oh, sorry, is the... Right, my, my, I misread your message, Sildani. Um, the play in a building a nation save is definitely to send as many young players out alone as you physically can, yes. Note on Lubin. Yeah, we had a note on Lubin. It was to, The note on Lubin is the one that reminds us to do the loan thing every year. Ah, Mr. Whose Name Isn't Actually Sunscreen uh, has just turned pro, so that means to the dev list. I'll offer him out here, but it won't work, obviously, but it might still drum up the interest in him. But I don't think it works when they're not in a window. So now we get to start seeing, hopefully, these players uh, agreeing to these loans. There's definitely going to be a few holdouts. There always is. No clubs want him, but... And boom, suddenly he is now wanted. So just to clarify, that's how it works. And you can see, once again, it does work. I don't think I can offer him... The winner's not open yet, so I don't think that would make any difference. But we now have the interest in him. It really is as simple as that. Ooh, 
Oh, yes, Santiago. Ah, this is the first team, isn't it? Speaking of um, Santiago, I, when I was basically laying in bed all of Sunday recovering, um, watched the movie Goal because I just felt like it. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Mr. Munoz. Uh, into show. Okay, well then that's good. Ola turns professional, so that means, wait, he's 19 and only just turning professional? I think I've already proposed it. Oh no, hang on, now he can propose the extension because he uh, didn't have a contract before. It is, it's just a proper good film. Plus Anna Friel during that Geordie accent. It does things to me, chat. It does things to me. Failed to attract interest. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate for him. Name is that? Too fair? I, I'm on board with that. I totally support that endeavour. It's a fun, even the second one isn't too awful. The third one is genuinely one of the worst films that ever existed. Which team report was it? Oh, you're right, I didn't, did I? This is probably why it's slightly... At one point, I might have to go through and have a little look and see if I've just re-add a few team reports. Right, Jack, I'm so glad you said that. My least favourite line in the entire movie. My dad saw the game against Fulham! It makes me actually want to curl up. It's horrible. I hate it so much the way he says Fulham. It's the fact that he's yelling it at Glenn as well. It just... It, Fulham! It just... Ugh. He went full... Never go Fulham. It's the last thing you want to do. Antonio Costa with quite decent... Uh, no. They are full of ham. It's true. And cake. Don't forget your Victoria sponge. Only that because of his name. That sounds about right. Oh. Despise the walk into the tune. Where's the tune? Is where the Geordies live. Uh, in the tune, it's it's great. I, I therefore love it. They are in a cottage. They love a bit of cottaging. Right here we go. Wait, what? So Yarimio's going back out. There's key names I want to make sure. So Darwin the Lion's gone. Good. Cardoso has rejected a loan offer from Haladash. I guess he just didn't play enough this season, but he is going to make a stonkingly good striker for another team when he comes back. I mean, heck, he could even do backup for us, quite frankly. As a wide player, Cardoso could actually do a job. Like, if he doesn't want to go back out on loan again, I think we could definitely find a spot in the squad or a sale. Yeah. Either we find a spot in the squad for him or a sale. There's options for us there. McCabe is going to go back. If he's stuck behind Zivkovic, they only play one striker. So, yeah, it makes sense. Though Bohat's going back is great news. Fat on cake. What if there are any... There's Canon Coke. Oh, I wonder who it was Canon. There's also Jason... Oh, I thought it said James James. Canon Coke is pretty close. Well, it's not really close at all. It was, Bermud it was Bermudan too. Are there, are there any players with cake in the name? There's Dennis... I thought Pancake Lady is great. We've got Dennis Cake. Boulevard Blazers is good. <sighs> Bit of Dennis cake. Can't go wrong with a bit of Dennis cake. We all love a bit of Dennis cake. So Kubo... Oh, right. Sorry, I was thinking of Kuba. Right. Extension's happening there too. Nah rejects a loan from Budafor. Okay, good. Herlan Pedersen extending his contract is great. Uh, Felicita... He played 35 games last season and scored a load of goals. Surprising, actually. But all right, whatever. Stoinich is going back. Good. Mendes, really good news. Don't know who that is. Zarita, don't know who you are. La Vega's that goalkeeper. Radovanovic agrees to go back out on loan. God, look at the state of him. So bloody hell, he's good. But it's great that Halalash have a keeper like that, right? Any waffles? I doubt it, but you never know. There's Wafula. There's a couple of Wafula. And also Kwame Bafo, who just, yeah. Lots of waf Wafula, but no waffles. There's Buffles and Raffles. Good ones. I don't know what that is, so no. I don't keep it like that. Yeah. Just. That's all. More extensions happening. Round of entries done. Juan Felipe. Pancake Lane is definitely a very solid name. Zarate goes back out. Zhao goes back out, which is good news. There's just certain names I want to see. Oh, no. Right. So, I just saw one I don't like the look of. You all know what one it is. David Tennant. Oh, never seen it. Never heard of it, in fact. It's probably not my... Well, I don't, I don't really watch a lot of TV. And when I do, it's not normally new stuff for the most part. Uh, Manier. 
has rejected his loan from Keck Schmidt. Wait, he's a centre back. I totally forgot that he was a centre back. Maurice, my friend, welcome back to our loving bosom. So Maurice will certainly be a helpful option for us next year. Just to give us, even if he's not the guy, we can still sign a guy. Big wage up. Uh, we're still within our wage budget. It's about three and a half million a year, I think. Sorry, a week. Three and a half million a week. We could have a Patrice Maurice team. Ben Salah, good news. It's Zivkovic is the one I'm concerned about. He has to go back out on loan. He's so important to that team. Oh, God. I think the one above it's a cancel. Oh, God. Oh, the so oh no. That's really not good. What? Port Hill Shrew, thank you very much for the nine months. Um, I just saw a really hey, bad one. Chateau. Hope your day is going a lot better than mine. It, it was, but that's not good. Nah, I think I gave him a new contract. He's one of those players. He's one of the best guys out on loan. So Pavic is not going back. Pavoni's not going back. You're going back. Uh, you're not relevant. Wilson Roberto is weirdly going back. Okay. Uh, Berger. Yeah. Silver rejects. Ah, now that makes sense because they've been relegated. So that's fu fucking hell. There's going to be some serious quality in this squad next year, even if, if we can't find these guys loaned. CUFC for life. Thank you for the follow. Orman rejecting the loan from Kishvada. They He didn't play. God almighty. It's fine. We'll do a reshuffle. This one is frustrating to me, though. He's got three years left on his deal. Oh, I gave him a brand new contract last hard. summer, which has probably been part of the problem. So annoyingly, we're going to get Edvaldo back, which is not what we want. Uh, Zitroni Hunvuk. Thank you very much for the follow. I mean, we now get better, but unfortunately, Halabash are going to suffer without Edvaldo. That's just a fact. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to get some quality players, I guess. Ah, oh, there you go. That's just, that's happened. So we, we figured that one would happen. With Phil Molfa Havar getting relegated, they're definitely going to... There's a lot of money in Havala, but I don't want that... Yeah, so we're going to get Asoko back next season too. But Cooper's going to be the starting goalkeeper. Asoko, I will try to loan out again. Because he would do a great job for maybe someone like Kexmet, actually. Be kind of perfect for him there. Okay. No. Yeah, Gacic, we decided this is going to be his last year. He's just losing too much now in terms of his qualities, particularly his physicals are just dropping so bad. We we feel like now is the time for Cooper to make it. Oh, new kit sponsor, which is worth, wow, 250 grand more. Holy shit. How will we cope? New scouting budget. Good stuff cash injection we just got all right i love it when they do it oh that we're always failing that at the start yeah okay we're back up to 140 million in the bank now how bad are we failing ffp 73 million that's not ideal but we are due to some big sales so it's gonna be okay we're always failing it right at the start of the year ringling okay that's surprising i don't know why he wouldn't want to go back out on loan so, Ringerling, despite scoring 185 in 240... Okay, so Cox come home. That's a shame. So, I was hungry. Uh, because the league was perfect for what we wanted to do. It um, has 11-month loan for Benitez. Oh, he's th wow, he's 35. He's been alone for 12 years. I didn't realize he was as old as that. They probably need a new goalkeeper, actually, at some point. Oh. Wait, is he... Oh, that's a bit for that. Um, yeah, we started with Hungary because the league was perfectly set up. There's just no rules on things like foreign players, and we kind of needed that. Because obviously, with all the players we're going to bring in to build the other teams up, it has to be a league that's going to allow that to happen. Uh, Ofdrak, Salai, Ajayi's rejected one as well. Koda's gone back out. God, Every time I think we're done with the loans, there's just a whole load more of them. Okay, so there's a few... We are going to get a few players back. Kovacevic, Diaz, No! Zivkovic loan to be confirmed. Get in. Ayala as well. Afferton. Budayev. Okay, this is a really important set of players, these ones. Yeah, I've heard on it. Which nation did he choose? Gaida as well. Cool. Oh, you're from Hungary. Nice. You're not the only one. There's quite a lot of Hungarians in the chat these days, obviously. Uh, okay. Main thing is Halash getting Zivkovic. Why is it only a one-year extension? Oh, his contract. Okay, we'll have to extend his contract. We'll make that work. That's fine. We'll get the notification through soon. I'll sort that out off stream, though, because that'll take a, an absolute decade. It should be okay. Oh, Romania. Nice. I just said, oh, God. Making me peckish now. I don't know what Pogger I do for dinner later. Since I'm going on my 
my, my mandate later this week. Pokemon's for coming, but that, that's a side issue. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, cool. We're nearly done extending these, I think. Uh, right. So, so far, it feels like we're getting back. We're getting back that winger, a uh, Cardoso, Edvaldo, and Manye, which is not great. Um, I'm happy that we're getting Maurice back, honestly. But then again, the fact that he was... It's weird that he'd want to come back now after they just got into Europe. Getting Sexy back. Hell yes. Sexy was sexy never left. Ooh. What have I done here? There we go. Screw the coefficients. Uh, we got 21.5, I think, Mr. Progger. Patrick's face instead. In it. A few more of these. Marcelo as well. Manicharian. Reba as well. He's developing quite well, actually. Bless him. Hang on, has he got hungry caps? Fair play. Gabriel Madeline. We used to listen to a lot of Gabriel. Uh, Gabrielle Applin on streams back in the day. Right, I think that's maybe all of them. No, there's still more. Telescu. Alaku. God, Alaku. He's still only 27. I forget how little time he's actually spent at this club. Did make a few first team appearances in that brief period, but yeah, 10 years out alone for him now. Ooh, Pedro Machenga. Something about to look right. It's the bop of a song. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, actually, this was the theme tune for Outcast to Icons, wasn't it? Not the other one. I think the fighter might have been the one I used for survival specialists, maybe? I definitely have used it. YouTube one, yeah. See, please. Um, Yes, I suppose. Um, But I'm not sure what you're going to really, like, acetate. Bear in mind, these are all regen players, so looking at this isn't really going to tell you much. No, it definitely wasn't Wesker. <laughs> As you say. Hey, FM Stag loved it. When I met him, he ran up to me and went, Wesker! At me, and I was like, yes. So, one person out there enjoyed that series. I'm telling you, I've met him. <laughs> oh, God. How are Hungarians? Uh, we do have a few. Uh, one of them, in fact, is Janos. Who's obviously our brand new youth prospect. Mm, extraordinary. His value's gone up again, you know. Uh, it was 2 hours 32, I think. Roughly, Basil. But bear in mind, this was a trail race. And it was conditions were trash. Gadget replacement. Yes, he's already here. Uh, because he was never not here. He was just a lone e that we're bringing back. Uh, Liam Cooper's going to do the role. Kalinich as well. Nice. Cool. Oh, God. What did it make? I asked... For Patrick Star on a muscle car in the style of the crop. Oh my god. Right, I'm ready. My body is ready. Which team report was it? Ah, fuck. I can't bloody find which one it was. I'm sure I remember. I, I don't know what's going on in any of them, to be fair. This one is particularly disturbing, but they're all especially awful. Uh, I'm in a fever dream. I need to calm down. Uh, Passos? Oh, Passos. Oh, this is their youth team. God damn. Maybe we haven't been to Portugal for a while because their squads are looking poggy. Bit of that. Oh, it was Passos. Oh, in that case... Oh, we've done it then. Yeah, it's like Cars Rule 34 or something. That's what it's feeling like anyway. Right, there's the window opening for those guys. Capture new deal. You... Alexandria Pop, cool name. Probably not going to bother extending that one. Right, okay. This is more like it. Ooh, okay. Oh, let me guess. No more information. God damn it. Scout him further, please. I, I, w I want to know if he's good or not. And this, I mean, looks good, but I don't want to take the risk and find that he's actually on the lowest end of all of these things. But I do like him, particularly as 8.2 million is actually... Uh, do I just... Do we punt? No, that seems like a dreadful idea. We could at least ask his agent, I suppose, just in case we can't get him. I 
It's that jumping reach. The six foot sixness of him is intriguing. Oh. No, no. I I'll resist. Send all the reasonables round again. Oh, it's barely any of them. Against Maurice. Ah, well, we don't know because we can't see him. That's the problem. I think I'd still like to make an addition. What have you missed? Uh, you missed us. Both finals were being won, which is a rarity on the around these parts. Uh, you are not very good. You are... Wait. Why are you so cheap? Oh. That makes sense, right? Freebie from Manchester City. No compensation. Andre Sena. Get him, right? Get him and flip him. He'll have high rep. I just, take, I just give him what he wants. Honestly, if Real Madrid are interested, they'll put a bid in anyway. So we'll probably lose him to them too. But like, I think it's always worthwhile. Uh, right. You, I think I've decided I'm not interested anymore. Stolnik. Ah, it's a tough one with him. I might shortlist him too, actually. I feel like our Bando looks like he's going to be... Oh, mm. yeah, he's quite good too. But I feel like the stars are still quite far apart on him. Uh, you're at Liverpool and we're never going to sign you. Why are we even getting this report? You're a bit... He's got good jumping reach, but he's not great. Oh, yeah, it's Jaidiva, isn't it? And you're... Wow, you're so cheap. Wait, is he exploring his options again? Oh, no, I already tried this guy. So this was the other player I found that was exploring his options. The problem is he wants ludicrous money because Spain. He's on half a mil a week at Bilbao. So unfortunately, we can't afford to sign him because I, I did definitely try this, I think. He wanted like 300k, I think. <gasps> he dropped his demands. Oh, my God. Hang on a minute, Chateau. Wait a... Wait a second. I tried to get this guy back in January and he wanted like 300 grand a week and I was obviously not doing that. But at that sort of price, he's a flip guy. For sure. In fact, I have a better idea. I reckon we actually try and buy him. Because it will hopefully stop the other sides from trying to give him on a free con on a main contract. They might be more likely to give him to us if we pay the £2 million. Which is barely anything at this stage, right? Uh, and Obando, I want to shortlist you because we're definitely interested. Oh, I definitely should have scouted him further though. Fuck. Okay. So Nieto has less interest in joining Paris Saint-Germain and less interest in joining... You can tell we've come a long way in the world, haven't we? Right. So we want to get rid of that. Squad player is fine. Your wage demands are a little on the high. Oh, right. Well, that's fine. We'll get him down a bit, though. I want to pay you 90 grand a week, but I am going to do the same thing we did with Baumeister, where I bump your appearance fee up. Okay. You've, you've not understood what I'm doing here. And that's fine. We get it. What about a goal bonus? That's also good. Spain caps. Uh, you must do. Yeah, 14 caps for Spain. I'll also bump this up a little bit more, too. Okay, buddy. You don't understand how negotiation works, do you? Right, okay. Signing on fee. Five million. For fuck's sake. Like, why are they not even, like, negotiate? What is the point of this menu? Um, it's just nine, 69 grand. Fucking Jesus Christ. Right. All right, 96,000. All right, 95,000. It's still a lot, but with the flip on him, it's going to earn us so much money. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire the art of the deal going horribly wrong. Lost. Russ, thank you for the follow. I think if we get him, he's just going to be so valuable in terms of actual value. So now they're offering him contracts. In fact, they're both offering... So remember, he was less interested in joining PSG. So let's wait until he all of a sudden isn't less interested. Because one thing I've noticed in FM is if a player is more interested in joining someone else than you and you offer them more money they will still join the other club because they're more interested in joining them for the most part. But if a club, a player is more interested in joining you than the other club and they offer more money, they join the other club. It, it seems to always work the way that it doesn't work in your favor with those kind of players for the most part. Uh, I don't think their first team is that great either. Yeah, I'll probably join them on like 300k a week or something. Stupid. I mean, if they offer him that, then they offer him that, right? But... 
it's always worth putting in an offer on players like this just in case it's how we ended up with kenny because he's just such a flippable asset baumeister oh well well this is the perfect start right okay cool that's fucking nothing but it's fine we'll get things going with a bit of pretzel business right ready chato so first things first we'll try 30 million in there taking us to 51 okay so they've, they've so we got up to 51 million to start with okay it, it's we've immediately hit 51 million pounds to start we probably could have gone further but don't worry there's another 13 sides that are interested in him that i'm sure we can play off against each other for, my, for maximum impact here okay so we'll accept that one and then we'll offer him out for 60 particularly he won't have clauses in either Right, 60 million pounds. Out you go. You offer more to the player who wants to go for it. I don't know. Does it become salted? I, to be fair, we have upset Pretzel. Um, so I guess we're about to find out. Also, if United take a bid on Baumeister, that would be gorgeous. Because um, as good as he is, I tell you what, I think one more season out of Kenny wouldn't be the worst idea. But, but especially if we're going to have Edvaldo back this season... Because there's no way he gets another loan. Right, okay, they've all accepted. <laughs> Milan just want to be involved. They just want you to remember that they exist. 60 million, 60 million, 60 million. How about 34 million? <laughs> They're trying, right? They just want to be in the memes. Okay, so in that case, um, the best thing we can do in this situation is pick one club at random i.e. in this case we're going to accept Juventus because it's the least offensive of the three sides to sell him to. Because I would accept all of them, but that means that they won't be able to put another bid in when we inevitably want to sell him for 70. So we need to make sure there's only one club on the table at any one time. So now we go to 70 million. And then we cancel the United deal. Which was actually pretty derisory in the grand scheme of things. I might have to do that again. Now, I don't think we're going to get up to maybe 100 million, which is what he was worth last year, particularly as um, he's got one year left, one less year on his deal. So I think it's unlikely that we get him up as high as that. But I think if we can get to like mid-70s, I'd be pretty pleased. It's a shame because he's clearly a quality player. And there we go, more bids. And Mario Madrid have gone 70. They've weirdly dropped their bids because I guess they don't understand how this works. So Real Madrid. We won't do the ultimatums because that can actually put them off. So we just do that. Reject these. Milan actually did up their bid this time, to be fair to them. So I'll give them credit for that. They at least got back in the game. I, d I think if they were structured, it would say so, wouldn't it? Um, oh, it doesn't there, does it? No, right. Okay, so we're up to 70 million now, which is, I think, where he wanted to go in the first place. We'll now try 80 million. But I think we're starting to get to the point where we might have to start doing smaller jumps. But hey, we'll see. They might do. Yeah, that could be it, actually. Uh, Milan chase pretzel. Lads, you're chasing them very poorly. I'd still be happy to sell Kenny this summer, provided we can um, play them off against each other and presumably take Manchester United for a right ride. Who else is Kenny wanted by? Okay, three teams involved. So first things first, let's just see if we can get a nice deal on the table. Okay, that was bad. But that's fine, we've still got one on the table, which is Chelsea. So I'll just accept the Chelsea. The reason I did that is because they had more up front. So we'll accept Chelsea's deal. And now we'll offer him out for like, I don't know, 10 mil to get us going. I do like mugging Man United, yeah. Plus, Edvaldo can replace Kenny, exactly. And Kenny's wages are actually not as high as they used to be, to be fair. Right, Nosh. And. Da -da 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 -da. We also might be able to leverage this conversation with Kenny, too. Uh, finances weren't right. Ah, shit. I hate it when they come in with a stupidly low bid here. Like, as if. Go on, 10 million. Right. Then we have to go back in. Make that back to unspecified. Otherwise, it means that... Why are we selling Kenny? Uh, because clubs are interested in him and he's 34 years old now. Uh, back feeling it better. Nope, not at all. It's got worse throughout the stream as I've been sat here. You know, Non-negotiable, 47, 47 million. Uh, how about new? 45. Juve at 45. Real Madrid is still on the table with 70. Uh, so we'll reject one of these. And then we'll try again at a slightly lower number. Sli slightly closer. 
to 70. One of the other things that you can do as well is um, if it fails and we can't get him past 70, one of the things I did with Schwieder last summer was I actually got multiple clubs to then agree to the same price and then I cancelled them all at different times to see if anyone would go higher. Because I think Real Madrid might even go higher. So if we can get someone else to agree on 70, we can use that to leverage Real Madrid. So United have now agreed 10 million pounds. Gorgeous. For Kenny. So we'll cancel Kenny. Sorry, not cancel Kenny. We'll, we'll offer that one out. Now, we can go for like 12.5, maybe. We'll do 12 million pounds. Bear in mind, we paid nothing for Kenny as well. Remaining budgets. Uh, good point. Yeah, Barcelona's budget is zero but that i don't know if that information is that correct for leagues that aren't switched on honestly it feels like that's a little bit buggy so i don't think we're gonna get accurate if you issue that oh reject chelsea's offer for kenny yes good point uh i always forget to do that so we've got is that the same ones as before i think it is isn't it i don't think that's new uh so we'll reject chelsea bars are coming with six again so they're now starting to get a little bit dodgy on these ones same bid. But when they start putting in the same bids like that every time you offer them out, the next best thing is you firstly just start dropping this down just to try and find a little bit, see if there is any more. Uh... Imagine the default skin. No. Um, This isn't the default skin. Right, so that's interesting. Barcelona will only go to 6.5, but that's okay. We'll cancel that as well. So now what we'll try and do is go to like 11. Reject the highest bidder. Almost never. Um, in fact, I'm trying to think if that's ever happened. It has happened to me. Not this year, though. Not since we've been doing it quite as um, aggressively as we have been this time around. So I think with um, Pretzel, this time I'm going to offer him out of 70 again. See if I can entice someone else to bid 70. And then we can have we can cancel Real Madrid and see if they'll go higher. Because originally, with the guy I sold to Porto, PSG were bidding on him. But Porto were the ones that really wanted him. So I eventually managed to get into a situation where Porto would pay more. Yeah, ten, if we get 10 million for... for Kenny, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I don't think we're getting 11 million for Kenny. Oh, hang on, I've got to cancel this first. But I might be able to entice someone else to pay 10 million as well, and we can figure out how much United actually do want him. So I'll offer him out for 10 again, see if anyone else bites. Yeah, they're not having it. I think we're probably going to have to accept 70 million for Pretzel. Unless we can get anyone else to bid... 70 million as well, which doesn't look to be the case as they're not going anywhere near that kind of amount. I think we're going to have to settle for 70. Which is not bad for a player with one year left on his contract. We'll try one more time. But that'd be a combined 80 million for the two of them. FIFA Pepsi Max, thank you for the follow. Uh, in fact, they're actually bidding less now on Kenny, oddly. I don't really know why. But they are. Yeah, they're bidding less this time. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to reject all offers just in case that might cancel the other man the, the uh, Real Madrid one. I don't think it would, but. I think they're getting a bit bored of that now. We'll try one more time. Ooh, Ajax offered to save you. Goblin. Ajax are always one of the teams that pick up a lot of our, like, former players. Hey, Ollie. Yeah, they're only going to bid £5 million pounds now. United have clearly put their stall out. I think we're going to have to take 80 million for the two of them. But when you think about it, we've got Manier coming in. We've got other plans for centre-backs potentially. Also, the World Cup's going on. Oh, sorry. the Oh, it's the European Championship. Nice. Yeah, that's not happening. That's fine. We'll take 80 million for the pair. Like, particularly with Kenny. Yeah, we've got Maurice. Um, and then maybe one other dude. And that will also sort us out from our kind of... Um, financial perspective. We can maybe go pick up a couple of the other players that we've had a little look at too once we've got this money in. Okay. So Radicic now got his first cap. And to be fair, he's developing so well. As much as he's on the dev list, he's genuinely excellent. Hang on. Why is Durin now worth £98 million? They were just saying they were going to bid £168 million and now he's worth ninety-eight. He just won the Champions League. Our player values have dropped again. How long's left on this deal? Three years. That's mad. Fiona! Crazy. Uh, Joey Gibson, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, that ticking to the new season thing is very annoying. It's really good. Play. Bear in mind, this guy's coming back as well. I mean, small number of teams. Um, 
I don't know, actually. So I tell the swamp donkey to sack I, it before but, I give uh, it a One thing I would say is, is in a league with more teams, you'd actually have more yeah, teams to loan players to. And potentially, you wouldn't end up with the situation that we've had sometimes where there's too many good players at one club where they're not playing. And they might have more of an impact if they were at a different side. So it's a bit of both, I suppose. JJ Long, thank you for the follow. Static transfer values in Malta. Yeah. You need a much bigger loan farm, true. But I think the more teams, the better, right? Uh, oh, he got his first cap. He's only 18. God damn. But if we get him a loan, that'd be dope. Who's he wanted by? Please tell me it's a uh, domestic side for a loan. Yes. Great news. The back is coping appallingly, but we're getting there. Uh, now, Zurich has got a cap for Croatia. Oh, my Lord. There's going to be a lot of wage rises here, isn't there? How many have we got? Oh, they're minimal. Thank God. Loan system would cost a lot more. True. But the loan system costs so much money anyway. It's one of those things. Don't take any really good loans. They won't join them. Yeah. I, I actually don't know. I don't know what the, the ultimate thing would be. Certainly not towards the... That could have been what it is, actually, Tom. You're right. The tick... I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, that might be what it is. Why all of a sudden our player values dropped and that's why they wouldn't be any more. Just what we did when we did, right? Make the most of the money while it's hot. But like 80 million is a good amount for those two, I think. Yeah, we could have had 100 from Pretzel last year. But I think he's contributed to us getting to the final this year. At least in some way. Watch Kenny turn down the contract from Man United now. I mean, if he knows what's good for him, he will. But I think it'd be okay for us to sell Kenny. To let Kenny go, to actually get 10 million for him at this point, I think is really good business. We've got a great deal out of him. Liverpool. Oh, hang on a minute. Player two has entered the game chat. Liverpool are in for Brakesville at 70 million pounds. Okay, this might be what takes it further. Alze, thank you very much for the follow. Takeover could be close. Oh, really? Wait, please don't tell me that puts us under like a transfer embargo because that could break all of our transfers. Well, it could just be Liverpool being silly, Tom. I think you're still definitely on the right track, but it might be that then their interest now is going to build them back up again, potentially. 10 is the perfect set. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many teams are in the top flight in Malta, but I think it's more than 10. Well, actually, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, be, I suspect that might happen to Malfair at this rate, particularly as their um, team is going to be decimated by the lack of players and Liverpool have not even bid on him. <laughs> <laughs> after all that, Liverpool didn't even bid on him. Takeover's on the rocks again, just one day after it being off the rocks. It's back on the rocks. Have they considered moving the rocks out of the way? So he's wanted by 14 sides. Uh, but they just won't bid on him. Wait, transfer value. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me get rid of that. Oh, no, wait. That's just because that's that, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Hmm. Off to Liverpool specifically. I mean, we could try it. Let me try one more time without doing that. But I find that the offer to the club specifically doesn't work. But hey, maybe this is the one time it does work. Vostovac. Ooh. Gligic. Good name. Uh, yeah. Romano got bored. Just ah. Anyone interesting in here? There's loads of reasonable still, including that... Um... Oh, he's still minimal. Come on, man. Maybe they're just out of season right now. We won't be able to find out. Uh, part of me might end up just getting frustrated and buying him anyway, which might be a dreadful decision. Uh, I think actually for the moment, while we're dealing with these outs, we're not going to be able to action any of these transfers yet anyway. We'll keep them going around. Right, they're back in at the same prices. Okay, that's fine. So let's just try specifically offering him to Liverpool. Just be like, lads, we've got a special deal just for you. Like, you're not going to believe it. It's the same as I've offered to everyone else. But this time, I've put it in like a Liverpool-shaped envelope. So you get the pleasure of maybe bidding on our player. See if they fancy it. Not one to make an offer. But it just... All right. There's no way that they're going to actually do it. City also want... Yeah, loads of teams want him, but they're not bidding on him. They'll just say the same thing, won't they, if I do Manchester City? Just signed AAG. I don't know who AAG is. Uh, take him. Wait till it's past June 20th. Why? What's June 20th? But I, I think he might end up signing 
Ah, true. My concern is that he might be... I, I probably will end up just signing him. You're right, yeah. I'm going to keep offering him out in the meantime anyway. Just for the funnies. But yeah, I'm concerned that he might end up signing for Real Madrid in the meantime. Because Vardo won Akaveke. That could be really good. Right, new signings. Let's go. I'll show you the loan system, the, the loan thing again, if you, if you haven't already seen how to make that work, because we should be able to get these guys out on loan almost immediately. Well, some of them anyway. I can't remember who's joining us this window. Oh, we've got that guy from the next gen list, haven't we? Kudabali, I think his name is. And the free dude we found at Ross County, who was literally under no contract there, despite, I think, playing in the top flight. Right, what we got? So, Tokpo was just a guy I took on a bit of a whim. Actually, wise, he's okay. He only costs us five grand, though, so to the loan farm with you. Ooh. So we offer out. Targets. Hungry. Boom. Yeah, we're good for the farm. We got Clark McGrath. Oh, hello. That's the Ross County dude. I mean, I don't know why he's such... He's not bad, actually. He's got cap for Scotland as well. Guffin, thank you for the follow. Get you on there as well. So, Dav, Devlis as well. Hey, Oni. How are you, my friend? We are doing fantastically today. Won both finals. It's good. Uh, right, Kulabal is the one I was more excited about. Do you know what? For 900 grand... He is sensational. As a roaming playmaker, or in the advanced role, but I th and we've got the finishing too. He is just a bit of everything. My giddy aunt. I will put him in the dev list and put him in the loan farm, but he's probably one that won't stay there very long. I really like him. I'm tempted. I want to see if he could get a loan. Uh, Baldes, Guinea, and who I think I signed because he had Guinea caps at a young age. Yep. I, yeah, I think he could do a job for them. We actually do have quite a lot of AMs now. Uh, so we'll send you to Hungary. And Gora Diao was the guy we from Generation Foot who has tent poles for days, despite maybe the lack of potential ceiling, but he's got the potential poles, which is the key. I'm the Pope. Bit of him as well. Cool. Take and, ooh, B. Nice. Uh, the Jomio. Thank you for the follow. Cyprian Redu... Bloody hell. No tackling ability, so he will have to be retrained to play as an, AP an AM. Get that... Get him working on some of these more forward attributes. Hey, hamburger. Yeah, he'll be good as an AMC, but he can't tackle, so there's no point in putting him further back. Um, but, my God, in the lone farm. He could flop... Wow, he he's five stars. He only costs us like three million quid. I like him. ha. <laughs> I did indeed call. Oh, you're right. Get someone position area is going to be super helpful. So that's those guys. Nice. Kishvada liking Akaveke is superb. And they're going to pay us. That's over a million quid. All right. They're actually going to... Who's their current goalkeeper? Wasn't it Ramirez or did they sell him? Then again, he did put in an absolutely shocking performance in last year's uh, Conference League final. Uh, Europa League final. So they've got Ramirez, who's 35 now, to be fair. So they're obviously looking for their next uh, replacement goalkeeper. Cool. None of the clubs want them, but that's fine. They never do when they first come. Oh, okay. There is actually bits for pretzel. Nah, same old thing. I'll just keep doing it until either he agrees to sign for Real Madrid or it ticks over. God, I nearly sent him out for loan then. There we go. With those guys now, though the Bolde has actually got offers on the table. And yeah, both of those are fine. But wow, that's very rare that they get offers straight off the bat. Right, let's uh, get this back. Switch over to the other view for loan farm. Sort by loan status. Select everybody, except for those that are already under bids or people I don't want to leave. Uh, and Liam Cooper, who I need to remove from that. I think Radicic probably end up staying anyway, but that'll be fine. Right, so now we will... Oh, now Lamini's no longer wanted by this place. Then we're off for loan. See if we get any bites. We should do. Even Sonflor is interested. Oh. Democratic Republic of attacking midfielder central is very true. You said Pretzel into the... To be fair, Pretzel was from the loan farm. The only reason he's even here is because of... um, He decided to come back from his loan. Pretzel bids again. Yeah, same old... Same spiel. Right, just out of interest. See if he's... Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> it was worth a go. Removal and keep from the loan players, yeah. Sometimes they weirdly still show up there even when they're not. I mean, he isn't set for loan now, so that should be fine. Cool. Not stopping from showing up there. Uh, Sonfloor. Oh my lord, that's everybody. Right. 
all of you lots that want to give him regular starter, you're up. That's mostly second tier, I'm guessing. In fact, it's all second tier, which makes sense. Uh, Torres, nope. Balde, oh, loads more for Balde. Uh, regular starter, please. Torkelson, nope. McGregor, oh, wow, okay. Uh, a couple of regular starters in there. The more football, the better. Lamini. Ah, oh, Zalaga saying. That's going to be good. He'll be top flight. Tokpa. Wow. I'm surprised, but he does have quite good attributes. Uh, Osei. Yep. Oh, uh, I remained fourth on that one. We didn't manage to um, increase our reputation ranking anyway. <gasps> We're getting the Eto. He chose us. That's big news because he is going to be worth. He's still only 29, remember? That's really good news. He might honestly be an immediate flip for a tent. The, the Lecoq has improved the most. Which club was... Which even league is that? Getting our grandson. Yeah, we've still got a while to catch Italy. It's weird that we're not catching it. I think it we still get into third. In Could be a keeper. Winter, <sighs> I don't know. It can get very depressing. Wages and loan fees. Very rarely because we have the loan system set up so that it doesn't ask for uh, wages and loan fees because we want to make it as easy for the other clubs to take the players on as possible. So the more you're trying to ask of them, the less likely they are to put bids in. Sometimes they will just try to pay you. I don't know why. Just, it's kind of like the granddad that's trying to slip money into your pocket. It's like, oh, just take it. I'm like, no. Like, that's basically what those clubs sometimes do. Did the second tier improve? Good question. No, they actually didn't. They've managed to maintain in 34th. We're taking a hit for the good of the league. Exactly, yeah. That, that pretty much sums up this safe perfectly, Arctic Lizard. We're just taking a hit for the good of the league. Uh, I quick scram. Thank you for the follow. So... We're first on that. We've been first on this for ages. But one thing I will say, though, get ready for this. Halalash, 19th. Kishvada, 21st. Ferenc Varos, 26th. Uipesh, 35th. And frankly, we're going to start seeing some other Hungarian sides creeping up this list as well. But they haven't played enough seasons in Europe to make it work. But look how far clear we are. Like, we've got such a huge gap over everybody else. Giamat must have made some ground. Um, but they haven't got enough seasons in Europe yet for it to matter. So they've gone to 57th with that. And Honvid's still 115th, because obviously that was Honvid's first season in Europe at the save. And Giamat have only done two. But look, in a couple of years, I mean, they're not that far off. One more good season for them, and they'll be right back up into the top 20 nearly. It's that easy. Like, yeah, that season's going to be a tough one, because we're going to lose 35 points this season, which actually is still not as much as we've had in other ones. With a handicap. Yeah, literally. We're doing it for the sake of Hungary. And there we go! Jimot get into the Champions League via the coefficient. The first time in this save we've come second. Uh, wait. Hang on. That's not true. We must have come... Oh, no, we did, but we didn't... We were outside of the top seven. Uh, we didn't have seven teams in Europe the last time we came second. Or first, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what it was. So we didn't get the, we didn't get the benefit of the extra Champions League team that season. We got some other thingy because we had the weirdness going on. They weren't... Uh, Inferno, it's it's a strange one. Sometimes teams just show up like that, and I don't really know why. Who fills their spot? Um, Ferenc Faros and Honvid go into the conference, which is the same exact teams that were in the Europa League last year. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, Kekschmet will be the uh, conference league team this season, which is the best of the bunch. I think they're the ones I want in there. Yeah, we did. We won. We had a, an ECL winner, finally. Giamma actually won the uh, conference league. First time in the save after eight attempts. Homegrown players, right. Nieto. I think Josiba... For, for £2.7 million, him at 29 is an absolute monster. So I'm very excited to see how much he's going to be worth when he joins us. The Basque Ward Prowse, yes. Hammers Ward Prowse. Obviously, there's a signing on feed in there as well. Lovely stuff. Fraj with the 14 months. How are you, my friend? Ooh. Sparta is playing Copenhagen tonight in the CL qualifiers, and I'm shitting bricks. That it's is just dope. like Chateau Sicard. I'm, I'm more on the clanks of extra train tonight, I'm afraid. Not that they're playing you, I suppose. Just save a war. Wow. Four star quality player for 2.7 million quid. <laughs> He's an elite attacking midfielder. Bugger me. The question then becomes, chat um, how much do you think he's worth? Uh, you could do it in the editor, but you can't do it in the game. So it's irrelevant. Um, you could make the editor bigger. Uh, sorry, the game, this the league bigger using the pre-game editor, but not anything else after that. £30 million. 
he's not bad. I honestly kind of want to keep him around for a little bit. Considering he's only 29, I actually think he might be a not an immediate flip. He is a flip still, but I think he's a keep for a season and see what he can do for us type of player, honestly. Give us a bit of competition with Raposo and Nunez. Maybe even sell someone like Nunez. Replaces Kenny. Nah, wrong position, isn't it? Um, Nunez is 32, you know. Could maybe even get Nunez out of the way and have um, Raposo and Nieto instead. You can even play backup striker. Yeah, but we already have Sen for that. But that being said, he does have... He's even speedy. Damn. He's fucking absurd. Love that for him. j -Dubs Gaming. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, he's a great set piece taker, which is going to really help us. Do we sell him? I mean, Nunes is worth a decent chunk. We still, I know that we still haven't sold Pretzel or Kenny. Th those bids are just there. Yeah, so I love how Nunes is very similar. Traits on a player? Sure. The fact that he only has 15, it shows you how strong the Spanish team is. Maybe it's because he never left Athletic Club, but still. So, Nunez, yeah, we might have to. Um, now, with him, this is going to be a bit of a difficult one, because if I offer it's him out, he's only got one year left, well, actually. I waste him, honestly. Nah, I think we'll try it. I reckon we could draw up some interest in Nunez. He's only got one year left anyway, so this should actually be the perfect time to sell Nunez. How is he worth so much with one year left? Yeah, he clearly didn't play too much, did he? Right, we'll get Montiel to welcome him in. Damn, that was a really... Could pick up. If we get the other guy as well, hang on. Offered made. Oh, yeah. The, the usual suspects. Uh, right, we'll get him back out again. Hey, Benzema. Right, offer you back out. Just see if we can eventually get to the 20th. Cauliflower and milk and acre. Thank you very much for the follows. We're getting Andre Sene as well. Or oh, the other reason that I thought it was beneficial for us to sign Nieto was to, one, it would make, we'd have more chance of actually getting him, but two, we'd get him slightly sooner. Albeit only by, like, two weeks. But it looks like we're going to get Sene. He, for me, is an instant flip, hopefully. I think... I think we can still get, like, 10 mil for Sene. And that's still been the same. I think I should... I, I, I don't want to take the risk of rejecting all offers in case it rejects the one that we actually want to accept that's already there. Yeah, I like just even Ward Prowse. Also, notice how no one's bid for Nunez. I don't think. Or has that not gone through yet? That's a little bit concerning. I figured someone would have bid. At least would have driven up some interest. Pretzel off. Wow, did no one? Okay, what I might do is actually wait a day to do it. Big Manovic. I'm not going to sell Big Manovic. He's still only 26. Got a contract left. He's such a useful player to have around the squad. There's no point there. Frantichas, thank you for the follow. Uh, right. Plus, he actually scored a decent amount of goals this season. The tempos are insane. He just can't seem to do it in the matches we watch for whatever reason. England struggling in the Euros there, by the way. Right. I'll offer the pre I'll offer pretzel out once per day. That should be enough. That, I hadn't even considered that, Rob. I thought it would only let you do that once a day, but they're just being very quick about it. Um, right, okay. No offers for 15 players. Well, that took long enough. First round, hang on, didn't I offer you... I swear I offered these guys out for loan, not... No clubs were interested at all. That's bizarre to me. These wage demands even that, aren't even that high, are they? Wait. Liverpool just signed Stevenson Farin. God, that's a blast from the past. Which might also mean they might be dropping their interest potentially in Traits, or even though they're not technically in the same position. What traits did I put on him? I don't tend to put traits on players at all. My God. Round goalkeeper, maybe? Shoots with power? I'm not a big fan of traits for the most part. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, Farin was really good for a while. He must be asking for a lot. I mean, yeah. Actually, what I've, we could probably get an idea of what he's looking for in wages just by asking him for a new contract. Uh, looks like we're going to get a few loanies, but not too many. Oh, thank you, Colifar. I will have another one probably before the end of the cycle. Just working on some different stuff at the moment. Van Damme, two goals at the Euros now for Belgium. Doing a stonkingly good job there. Lovely to see. Also, Cyprus took a draw with Scotland at the Euros. Oh, God, Scotland, come on. 
Question is Durin have? Uh, none that I gave him. He'll have some traits maybe that he just had. Uh, yes, yeah, try his first time shots. Wait, did Ward, did Joseba Ward Prowse get a free kick? Oh, Ferenc Farrell signed McFarlane on a free transfer. Okay, oh, he's a Scottish international. That wouldn't surprise me, Laszlo. Uh, the amount of subs that were given on that last stream was actually insane. So I'm surprised that you didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised that anyone around didn't get one, honestly. When is the next station video? Um, Probably either later this month or early September. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it yet. And unless I have a concrete idea in my mind, I don't want to just rush a video to get it out for no reason, I guess. Mario, thank you for the follow. Other Hungarian teams? I don't think so yet. Bear in mind, the window's only been open for two days, and they don't tend to, like, pre-sign players the same way that we do. Uh, yeah, so this is the day. In fact, I don't think anyone signed anyone. Other than Molfe have our sending a guy to uh, Teshkand for free, and obviously McFarlane there. So, yeah, there's no signings. I probably would like to do another collaborative one, actually. Um, maybe to finish off the cycle. Like, I do have that other one I wanted to do, but that might have to wait till next year. And I do want to do another one versus Chateau next year as well. That's definitely in the plan. No offers for Nunez. Wow. Might transfer list him. That might... Wait, what? How much make Pedersen offer? Oh, yes! This was the guy that we were looking at signing. If he goes to Haladash, that would be even better. Save us doing the business, and he'd be their player. He's quality. Like, he's a model citizen... 21-year-old Norwegian international defensive midfielder. If he signs for Halalash for £7 million, that is perfect. Because we were only going to sign him and then loan him to them anyway. So at least now they'd actually have control of his contract and the value that would come with it. Terry Fluers. Uh, I've no idea who that is. Um, I've also heard we've been linked with De Ketelare, which surprises me. Because uh, I thought he was very highly... I know he hasn't had the best time at Milan, but still. Could be close. No way. Perhaps we'll set to sign for Real Madrid. £70 million. I'd say that's okay. I'd say... It's the best we were going to get. And that does at least alleviate some of our financial worries. Having another £70 million in the bank. Yeah, and we've obviously got the Kenny money. The Kenny money as well. Which will help the finances. We'll check the FFP. The FFP should be okay. It just takes a little while for it to sort of wean its way down. Although we have had a few quite poor seasons financially. So that probably hasn't helped. Uh, England, oh, bloody hell, not having a great time of it. As Israel sneak through that group too. The Kenny Cash will help too. Yeah, exactly. FC 20. Uh, whoa. Hello. Giuliano Danielli. Who's German? Of course he's German. Obviously he's German. With a name like Giuliano Danielli playing for FC 20, how could he not be German? Second nationality Italian, surely? Yes, but he was born in Cleve and that's where Anne is from. Or well, so I'm told, anyway. Hungry in the world rankings? Oh, I've no idea. Um, not very high up, I wouldn't imagine. They were like 40th at one point. I mean, where are we now? We are... <laughs> nice. Stephen Bradley's not doing a fine job here. Uh, I love how... Both of these two have come through. Our... Well, Pushkash sort of didn't come through here. They, they are tanking it right now. 69th in the world. It was a Henry VIII joke. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad someone got that joke. Sometimes I just make them for me. I just dangle them out there. So I tell the swamp donkey, a sake, uh, 56. A the sponsorship is getting slightly better, but not really. Andre, Andre. Thank you for the follow. So good they named you twice. Oh, oh no, I got it. It just wasn't very good. Is that what you're saying? Statue grew, did it? I guess we won the Champions League. That'll do that, right? Uh, so we got a bump. Giamot should have got a bump. Oh, Pog. I don't have a password. Oh, hang on. Uh, right. One time password. Okay, cool. Uh, Pog? You, I can't read it out loud because I'm on screen. Did you just memorize that? Bloody hell. She's a she's a beast, chat. What can I say? The password is password. My friend's password once was password lol. Um, he once accidentally typed it in the wrong box when we were in an IT room. So that was something we found out. And I've dusted off. Yeah, it's just not the same, is it? Because you've four and a half stars. Wait, what? Are they? Hang on, where am I missing? Kishvada are... No, they're four stars. Um, Kishvada's four stars. So is Halash, because they've won European competition, so they pretty much got 
that. Uh, Debretsen are also four stars, weirdly. I'm looking for Giermott. They should have had a big bump this year. Let's just do that. Get rid of that. Eee. My new watch hath arrived. Well, yeah, I'm surprised you managed to... I wouldn't be able to memorize that. Yeah. I can barely I'm even... Good at remembering numbers. Apparently so. Can you remember the number of times I said I love you? <laughs> Stone cold pog. Uh, yeah, so Giamot have gone up from... Oh, they've actually gone from three and a half stars to three and a half stars. Winning it didn't seem to do much for them. I guess that's because they've got to win a... They've got to win a Europa League to get the true success there. Get it wrong at least. Yeah, it's true. Stone Cold Steve Pogston. Where did the Pog nickname come from? Um, I don't really know. Someone just started, I think someone in the chat just started calling me Pog. And well, it's just obviously, the word Pog is big on Twitch. And I think I just started randomly calling you Pog big, as well. Like randomly, so you said Big Pog, you mean like the Big Good? The Big Good. Yes, that's probably what it was. The Big Good, like the Big Pog. And then Pog changed her Twitch name to Big Pog M because of it. Because she used to just be called like Queen Bot M or something. Um, and then, yeah, so we just call her Pog. Even some of my friends call her Pog now. Yeah, Sammy did. <laughs> during the Cara days. No, this is, pro uh, yeah, this was during the Cara days. Um, it was, yeah. It was when Pog was um, on furlough, so it was during the Cara days, yeah. For those of you that don't understand what that means, um, the NHS genuinely thought Pog was my carer. That isn't like I know chat like to joke about how Pog's my carer. At one point, they actually thought she was. Um, she ended up getting a COVID vaccine super early, and we didn't really understand why, considering I hadn't got it and my two elderly parents hadn't they got it either. They, the NHS thought I was a carer. But they thought she was a carer somehow. <laughs> so that's why she got it really. They put me down as a carer, <laughs> and I have no clue. Yeah. So that's fun. Um, reputation boost for us there. Akaveke is going to go on loan. The, uh, the disavowal. Um, well, so we have like a player lookup for stuff like that. Just to keep us going. No, it's all like, clearly they don't. Because they're wrong. <laughs> I know why it's done. Why is it, Rob? Go on. Light enlighten us, my friend. Fraud is allowed here. It's, to be fair, I've been a fraud the entire time, Call of Flower. So yes, you're right. Fraud is very much allowed here. They've been in the streams. Have you met you? <laughs> we interact occasionally. Right. It's fine. So Kenny is going to United. Um, or he won't be immediately, but it's another 10 million. God, I just realised that. Uh, so like I said, Andre, um, play lookups for that. Also, Nicola Scarpa, another Italian-sounding dude playing for FC Twente. Ha! Wearing a Plymouth Thug Arlto. I am not. Um, this is just a standard t-shirt I bought off of Sheen for like three pounds. Although I do like Plymouth Thug Arlto shirts. And did I tell you about the time that I ran into them in Costa last year? <laughs> Speaking of which, I really do need to do my tax return. I've still got a bit more time, but uh, facing the game. Uh, well, there's loads, isn't there? Uh, but they're not going to be funny ones because they're just going to be the same as they always are. Annoying the shit out of me in their existence. Just German Italian news. Maybe. So there's our 683 of them. Hiding the double next to the... How dare you. Yeah, the thing about the face of the games is that there just aren't... 600 too many indeed, yeah. I'd be fine if it was like 50. But... It's just... I don't know. Yeah, Phil Neville's in there. I'm half expecting to see some of our random players. Obviously, Luke, um, Mihai Aliku in there. Oh, Limoero is one as well. Of course he fucking is. Gulenbeck, that's another one that's notoriously excellent. Even here, he's still quite decent. Is Kevin, of course he is. Mihai, obviously. Oh, it's a different Mihai. Uh, we always see Laskovsky. He was a ridiculous Chelsea centre-back. Tom O'Malley as well, that guy at Leeds that I didn't sign in the end. Uh, oh, no way. Well, would you look at that? That really highly rated Romanian. Another one of the... The only good Romanians we found in this entire save have all been facing the game players. Come on. Like, really? Mark Vaughan, he always used to end up for Barca in my other saves. Uh, he's at Palace in this one, but still a solid Premier League player. Farkashan. Farkashan wasn't that good, but he probably was as well, let's be honest. Joseph Bull, we already know about him. Tom Pennington, of course, plays for Liverpool. 
I'm not going to scroll through the entire list because it is massive, but it's just annoying how many of these just become really good players. It's silly. Hey, Chuck. I just have a cap. Honestly, Viva, I'm glad you at least let me find out for myself so I could believe for a little bit longer, you know? <laughs> you gave me a little bit more hope. Okay, so now it's tick over point for us, weirdly. Sorry, I thought we'd already done that. God, I'm going to have a lot of work to do off stream at this rate. What even the face of the game? Basically, it's like competition winners, developers and stuff like that that get regens that are guaranteed to have those names and certain uh, characteristics. I find them a little bit annoying because there's too many of them in the save. Do you spot? I'm a Fulham fan. Uh, we request another affiliate club, but like it's the same shit every year, isn't it? The cancel a new one. We then get another one. I eventually convinced the board to let us have another one. God, this screen is so laggy. We lost our Hyundai. I know. Now how will we get to work? Uh, wait, are they actually not going to let me do it? Oh, okay. So not only have we cancelled the loan, uh, the affiliate agreement, I'm not even allowed a new one. Just won the Champions League. Why would we want a new affiliate club? That'd be silly. Oh. New attendance record. Youth players promoted. Halash made pedestal. Oh, they're making another offer. Do you guys, you hang on in there, lads. See, we shouldn't be getting two million a year in TV money at this point. Got a ghost on the blanket. I always have the fan pointed at the blanket. But yes, the ghost is uh, currently wriggling itself. You know, having a lovely old time. How many caps has Patrice got now? 107. Just what a player. He's probably the best player at the club other than maybe Velazquez and Blas. Yeah, I want to get him. Don't make me have to step in. The, the hidden hand of the market, i.e. myself. But the fact that he's very strong on both feet as well is also exciting. Okay, so that's... Finances should be better now, right? FFP is still failing at the moment, but that's... Yeah. That takes time. Watch us now fail FFP out of complete randomness. Even though we just sold a dude for 70 million quid. Uh, more wage rises. Ouchie. Feyenoord. Wow, that's quite... Movonk is a great name, though. Hmm... Both feet very. I know. I just. It doesn't feel right, right? I just couldn't imagine having my left foot being as confident as my right at the exact same thing. Stream appropriate way of failing to build the nation. What we we end up getting banned from Europe for a season, so we lose it all. That that would be the most us thing ever, and then we get sacked because of it or something. Well, usually we've been okay with FFP in this save, just by maintaining sensible bank balances, and we've got our bank balance back up again now. To like a hundred. Like, we started the stream at 55 million. We've gained 70 million, and now we're failing FFP. Yeah, maybe we sold Pretzel too early. Maybe that counts in the, the, the wrong year or some shit. Or there's a player that needs to come off the bill. I think the prize money is, again, not being taken into account, and it should be okay. But that is always the problem. Noah Verheigen. From the Herrenvinis. The Herrenvini babies. Kenny's wages, although Kenny's wages aren't as good as aren't as big as they were before, like because I've signed two extensions with him since he joined us, and each one brought his wages down from the hundred k to like seventy k, and he was actually only on forty five k when he. I know, love their hearts, great hearts. What a nice bunch. Yeah, it's all over the shop. It's actually worse, I think, FFP than it was even last time. The man has a long neck. Who might you be talking about? Are you talking about Scouty Scouty neck neck by any chance? What have I missed? Nothing, Rob. Just just the duvet. Fiona! The duvet is the real star. Fuzi, thank you for the follow. Oh. Right. Wow. That was actually fine. Okay, so financially we're looking good. What I'll probably do after stream is I'll look at that shortlist and just try and pick up a couple of those guys. Yeah, that's another offer. My God. Wait, what? Depending takeover. Wait, is that our takeover or their takeover? So I oh, as if that deal's going to go through. Before yeah, you're right. I probably should do some friendly, shouldn't I? Hennazinho! Thank you for the follow. You should know a dude called Hennaz. Obviously, it was, his name wasn't Hen That'd be strange if it was just a full-on name. Uh, right. Baumeister Grant, his work permit. Kenny, you, my friend, have been an extremely worthwhile servant. Didn't expect you to last as long as you did here, honestly. But what a hero you've been. Thank you for your service. Enjoy my £10 million. Tycoon de Vegprem. Oh, imagine. It'll be like an internal board takeover, won't it? Can we even get any information? Yeah, that says board takeover no matter what, doesn't it? Um, 
I feel like if there was a tycoon takeover coming along, we'd see it in the news, wouldn't we, right? Unless because they're second tier, it won't show it. We'll wait till it's done. I wish if they got a uh, tycoon. They couldn't handle it any worse. Oh, I should probably do friendly, shouldn't I? I don't think we can actually play a friendly yet. Oh, what the fuck have I done there? No, we can't, any, we can't actually play any friendlies until the 4th of July, but that's fine. We'll set them up for Wednesday, Saturday, like we always do. Takeover, actually, yeah. Our takeover is still sort of up in the air. It seems to do this every year, but I must say this is the most it's done it in terms of silly bollocks, anyway. Uh, we'll play under 19, so we'll play against the... Oh, no, we can't play against them. Let's play... Oh, because we're in Korea. We can't bring the under 19s with us, apparently. Imagine that. We go to Korea for our tour, and then we just play against our under 19 side repeatedly. <laughs> Just ignoring the locals the entire time. Sounds like a very us thing to do. Uh, we'll play against uh, very small reputation teams. We'll play against Moon Hill. Which just sounds like someone saying Moon Hill. And I'm here for it. Play against the 19 squad as well. We're just going to rock up at a random South Korean high school. Just play against our reserve team. Yeah, it certainly is teasing the takeover a lot more than normal. Usually either... Like, it will say it's progressing. And then it will say it's on the rocks. And then it just ends. But this time around, it actually hasn't. I thought I said Eric Sandberg for a second there. But exciting times for him. Are we still not got any knowledge of... Oh, hang on. No, no. Reasonable. Right. At least let me see his attributes now. I'm still kind of tempted. Honestly, I'm still kind of tempted on um, AAG. But I don't know how. Ah, that tackling is the disappointing thing. Yeah, I might just get him fully scoured since we might as well. Although those guys from Bodder are intriguing the shit out of me. Very good mentals. 19 jumping reaches are let down as well. Like, come on, get with the program. Ah, we've got more information on Bjorn Ebling as well. If anything, he's actually got better pure attributes. No, not the jumping reach, and he's actually... He's free. He might be worth picking up at the end of his contract anyway. Just as a, a fun flip, maybe. But I don't think he's worth spending £8 million on now. Uh, Hamruni? You're a lot for £7 million. Or rather, you are a lot at £7 million. I don't think that's worth it, even though he's wanted by some quite big sides. Uh, lots of Portuguese dudes here. Oh, this was the other guy, wasn't it? I swear I remember looking at him too as... Tempo's a decent positioning. is very good. High consistency as well for a youngster. Only 13 jumping reach, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how much we actually need to now that we've got Maurice back. Because Vala wants it. Oh! I'll shoot for uh, till uh, 3 o'clock, which is in about 3 minutes' time. Because Pog and I have to go do shopping. How tall is Maurice? I think he's 6'2", or is he 6'1"? Maurice isn't the tallest either. Did I just set that to literally the one it was already on? Because I'm a moron. Manye is 6 foot, but 13 jumping reach. But he does have 16 heading as well. To be fair, Patrice will kind of do the big lump job. Like, he's six, he is only 6'3", but he has 18 jumping reach. So Patrice is very much the lump that we need for that. Crispo, thank you for the 24, two years. Here's to another two years. Thank you, friend. Is it just me or our percentage of next sales bug? Been offered 700k for a guy worth 130 million. Yes, they are. Um, we had a guy at Manchester United that we left. We sold into Manchester United with a 50% of next sale fee clause. He was worth 230 million at United. And they offered me, what was it, chat? Um, was it 600k? Or was it 300k? It was under a million pounds. Eventually, we did actually get the clause to go up, and we managed to sell it for 16 million yes pog. Found you found your switch? Nice. You can finally play Bear and Breakfast. Was it 600k? Yeah, it was mad. Santi Munoz. It's Samu Munoz, a grayed out player. Oh. And Doran Goal. <laughs> What's the Andorran equivalent of Newcastle? Do they have a tune, Adrian? Would you say they have a tune? I feel like they do. Um, any surprises here? Serbia going out there is actually quite surprising. Slovakia, fair play to them getting through. Ukraine getting through a group with Czech Republic and Greece in it. Um, the rest of them are not... Th oh, Belgium are just killing it at the moment. Swedish dude here, Ramadan. Ooh. Oh, it's Dortmund. Oh, no, Leipzig. Damn it. l -tune. Shit, there's a lot of contracts going up there. But that will also clear up some money from the, the wage bill. Lamini's going to Zalaga's thing. I like that for him. 
Particularly as they're newly promoted. He'll get football there, hopefully. Although that's a lot. If he can actually get game time there, he could develop into an absolute star as well, I feel like. Clark McGregor's gone to Mezhkovich. Torkelson's had... Oh, my days. So, oh, so now some floor's gone to Ica. But just out of interest, I want to just check in on Vezprem. See if they've completed their board takeover. No, they haven't. Okay. Someone should do Scotland. They really should. Tell you what, if, if we find out, perhaps, that they've fixed international management on FM24 or something, maybe we could do a national team save at the beta. But it wouldn't be Scotland because we've already done that one. That would be unfair to Scotland as, in general. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's Those are all done now. So let's see what other group stage finished like in the Euros. So England did get through in a group. Portugal, Wales, and Turkey go through their group. Also, Serbia did qualify in the end, as did the Czech Republic because of the third place thingy. France go out. Also, can we talk about that group? Belgium, Germany, France, and Sweden in a single group in the Euros, and France went out. <laughs> That's great news. They beat Belgium 2-0, who won the group, but it wasn't enough as they come bottom on... Presumably because they lost to Sweden. Yep, Sweden beat France. So despite Sweden having a worse goal difference than them as well, they still went out and Sweden progress. Oh dear. Sorry, Zut Dalor. We could do Hungary actually for the base. That'd be quite fun, to be fair. S did Cyprus finish above Scotland? Of course they did. Oh, Vitesse, go on. What have you got for us this time, lads? They've got Art Langendonk and Jabu Mathethwa. But Art Langendonk is a great name. Yeah, Sweden must have just been like full-on Ralph Wiggum about that one. I'm in danger. But they, they progressed, to give them their credit. They did do well there. So fair play to Sweden. Hey, Sveria. I'm the Pope. Oh. Leechy, thank you for the follow. Uh, so United got Bauer. I wonder how much he's worth at United now. He's worth, he's worth everything to them. To be fair, he's just actually doubled his weight. Oh, no. Quadrupled his wages again. So, just when he thought his career was winding down, he's like, no, no, I'm going to go to Man United for a little bit. He probably won't play. They probably don't even play a system that he can fit into. If they're still playing a back five with wing backs. Though we can play centrally, can't he, I suppose. Right, we probably should save that there. Oh. Was Kenny... Oh, of course he was from Sturmgratz. Sturmgratz have been phenomenal in this save. Then again, they were kind of good in the last save, too. Uh, they, there was an insanely good player that came through at Sturmgratz that stayed there forever during the last save. He never, uh, he ended up leaving in the end, but I can't remember who it was too. It was outrageousness. Uh, right, let's find a Ray. Oh, is Callum streaming again? He is. Well, it's only fair at this point. They have been sensational. It's almost like, it feels like if, obviously if you knew, if you didn't know otherwise, you'd think I was doing the thing with the playable view only thing because that's sort of how it would manifest essentially. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me today, my friends. Um, expect a new video on Thursday, which will be the score and get released one, which will be cool. That will come out for uh, the start of stream as always. We'll be back for the Champions League stuff and to catch you up in all the goodness that's about to happen over the next few hours. Although I may have to take a lie down for a little bit first, honestly, because my back is absolutely killing me. I'm sorry, I'm all... Maybe I haven't been at my best today, but you know how it can be with like pain like that. So... Um, I'll see you guys very, very soon. We've won two trophies. What a perfect season that has been for us. Next year, though, I want three. And we've got eight teams. So there's an even better chance of us maybe making that happen. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being lovely, as always. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hold your gun, Capybara. And let's go see Mr. Y. Kakum. And yes, you are required to call him that, unfortunately, if you come from me. It's just the rules. I don't make them up. I rate now.